Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Remy's World. We're, um, we're gonna be playing as some um, more um, road ragers, you know, cannibalistic fire worshipping, traveling <laughs> road ragers, you know. It's quite a mouthful, but that's what we're playing as, you see. How are you all doing, guys? Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the points, guys. We're like 85% there. <laughs> it's pretty impressive considering I thought I I wouldn't be able, you know, to set a realistic goal considering how um, Twitch kind of shafted me in terms of like, hey, only 2,000 points per stream per person, okay? You, as the creator who set that goal, will not be able to change the amount of, of points people can give nor will you be able to change, to, like, retroactive, retroactively change the goal. All you can do is change how long it'll take to fill up. <laughs> you know? I just joined Hurt Shafted. Damn right, and we're gonna be shafting some people. That's right. How are you doing, Crowbar? Yeah. <laughs> also, wait. I, I, I need to double check something. Hold on. I, you know... Speaking about Twitch just made me fired up, you know. I want to know if they still have that. Yeah, they, they still have that feature. They didn't remove it. Uh, like, <laughs> if you go to Rimworld right now, you can go to the IGDB page, which is definitely a useful feature. Thank you, Twitch. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's it's totally useful. Like, I can now see the game's rating. No, not like, <laughs> if I watch the stream, I can tell if I like the game or not. Just saying. Oh, well. Oh, well. Do they... I wonder, do they have it for Battlespire? Battlespire. Do they have the IGDB page for Battlespire? They do. They do. <laughs> User score, 51. Average. Critic score, not available. You know why? Because probably no fucking critic played this game. <laughs> Alrighty, well that's good to know. It's good to know. Um, yeah, yeah, very, very lovely IGDB page we can access, you know. Uh, speaking of... Accessing things. Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow. See? Uh, schedule uh, changed slightly. I still need to uh, adjust it on Twitch itself. Because I haven't done that yet. But um, tomorrow we'll be playing Lethal Company. Uh, I'm looking forward to it again. Again, friend recommended it to me. And it actually was a lot of fun when I played it for like an hour or two. And... Um, yeah, there's gonna be some tomorrow, so I'll be playing with some friends, sleep for company tomorrow. It's not gonna be a solo stream, by the way. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's like a TV breaking news. Yeah, it is. I mean, let's read it some, right? My schedule being like, changing up this week. On the 23rd uh, 3rd, uh, of October, I'll be meeting certain examiner. Next day, I'll be working like clockwork and cogmind. Then, following on Thursday, more hardcore hyper action in Kenshi. And today, on Friday, we'll be air frying people in Rimworld Life. 28th tent, uh, doing a little bit of a weekend while with the lads. However, breaking news. Yeah, this just came in nice and hot. It actually turns out that Saturday is gonna be a lethal company stream. Then WA has been postponed to Monday. Repeat, WA has been postponed to Monday, everyone. <laughs> This episode's been sponsored by the Anarcho Gritters. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gotta, like, uh, ev every time we, we, like, start a stream, I wanna, like, play the CNN intro or BBC if, if, if you're into that stuff, you know. Beft up. So, no, we don't talk about him. <laughs> Screw that guy, man. He made my Beft up all dirty. He doesn't leave it, by the way. He doesn't leave the bathtub. Bathtub John doesn't leave the bathtub. You can guess what that all implies, okay? It's not sanitary. That's why I don't like it, okay? It just doesn't leave, man. Man, it's a fine bathtub. Yeah, it is a fine bathtub. But tell it to John. He lives in that thing, man. It's not good. It's not healthy. It's, isn't it? It's a sick obsession, man, okay? It's a foggy tub. We call it muddy. But yeah. Yeah, I hope, hope, hope everyone's doing fine, though. Um, we. How do we go into the game now? <laughs> Ew! Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's a bit of an ear moment now, isn't it, huh? Okay, here we go. I play music. So. 
what we're looking at right now, this thing, it's next cage, the Wicker Man, because I made it, <laughs> I also made a bit of, uh, I mean, look, we had so much iron, you know, or steel, so I went ahead and made a bunch of barricades around the place, just so we can fight off any savages, excluding ourselves a little easier, you know, so we got, you know, some you know, simple places to take cover behind. And now we got, we got storage room. I kind of opened this up, made a battery chamber, cover. And got a high-tech research bench going because we found uh, eh, some components there. Oh yeah, we also have another Bunsen. I call it Brenner um, because of the name. You see, Bunsen Brenner. Some people will get it. Um... We do have two dirt bikes as well. And kind of started making a bit of a additional space back here. Because let's face it, we'll need some more space. <laughs> All right, we're kind of running low on it. And I didn't know how to expand upon it without going in here. So it was like, yeah, let's do some up here. We also have an additional steam thing. So surely we should be good on power, you know? So that's about the things that happened. We also have a bunch of Neanderthal corpses and skeletons littered everywhere in the place, you know? We got corpses everywhere. So, current research is going into fabrication. Because then we can make some armored things. We can make the uh, fabricator, being kind of a big deal to me. Uh, we can also make crow sleep caskets now, so, you know, that's pretty neat if... The need ever arises for that, that is. You know, some gun things, which is fine. Uh, that, that, that's if we re really want to go into the whole sci-fi-ness of it. You see? RQ genetics. Yeah, that's that's another thing I, I didn't even bother with. Yeah, there, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff, as one can see, right? Technically, there's also deep drilling, which um, allows us to find resources underground. However... It also will pass off any hives nearby. Let's see. Uh, under the surface, uh, ground penetrating scanner to detect the resources. This drill will yield stone chunks if no resources are present. Can be uh, repositioned freely. Again, keep in mind, it will, it will pass off any insects around town. So, it's gonna be quite something if we actually do go with that. But yeah, other than that, you know... Everyone's doing fine, uh, with that said, portal spaghetti. <laughs> What's that quest? Tell me about it. Um, the Mecha Chief is looking for a safe settlement to take care of his pet rat fox spaghetti. <laughs> However, spaghetti will also be uh, attempted to be murdered by a bunch of mercs, apparently. Healer Max Serum. Okay, Uranium. Another one of those weird things I don't know what to do with. And some goodwill. Um I I don't I don't think this place is first safe. And uh, second, um No, it's not worth it. It's it's not worth it. But yeah. We still have Clank, Biker, Roadhog, Dams. As three characters, if anyone would like to join as a character. We also have some human meat, by the way. Quite a lot, actually. We had a lot of people to slaughter. And some rice, too. I did pause the rice production for a little. Uh, or rather, the fuel production, because we used the rice to do that. Um, so we actually will have some food, you know. Marriage is on! Yo? Paco getting married? Dude, we're getting married! Why do you siege me? <laughs> what the fuck? That's fucked up. No, I mean, it's, it's, again, like, it's, we don't have an actual prison. We can use it as a prison, um, but, um, we don't have a true prison, so to speak. So we're being besieged right now. Everyone, get up, get up. Who are these people? They have some quirky looking gas masks. What's that? Enclave? Enclave, huh? Let's see. 
We're not to deal with damn fools, just well enough. Was well, switching himself? Wait, what? Where? Am I? Am I evil? <laughs> am I here to to? Oh my god, it's me. <laughs> am I good? I'm pretty. Um, I'm a good miner. Um, though I'm also unwaveringly loyal, so I guess I guess I won't be recruited myself anytime soon. We also got crowbar up here. That's right. I didn't know I was part of the enclave, you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I, re I really didn't realize that, you know. The, the double power armor? Ah, uh, well, they don't have it. But we do. We also have a few miniguns. However, uh, that's, that's not uh, the main thing right now, you see. Uh, we... We're gonna be doing a little something else, you see. Like, yeah, yeah, sir, sir, I, I, I will place me people in here. But that's not really the main plan of attack here. See, the main plan of attack is... Burning them down. That's right. Here we go. Send them out, boys. Got a road crew going. I'll lock the Archeo Nexus. <laughs> Just in time, huh? Get him, boys. They never expect the heat killer combat, you see. Look at those two beauties. My two APCs basically going out there. Now, they do they do have plasma weapons. <laughs> and a rocket launcher. Uh, ironically, it's being wielded by rocket men. So, I, I mean, it's only fitting to be fair, you know? <laughs> Imagine if they have a fat man. It's not impossible. They have a lot of those very nasty plasma casters, though. Yeah, a lot of them, a lot of them. Obviously, the majority is just bio-coded, too. Well. Hey, you two. Keep going. It's time! Yeah, they're building in our area, I know. It's, it's fucking rude. If anything else. Well, let's see how well this is gonna go, shall we? <laughs> yeah, they're trying to make a mortar thing, you know? But again, I, I don't know if they expected uh, vehicles, you know? Glory to the Enclave, you, you would say that, man, you would. You would. Okay, guys, just just keep 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 going, keep going, everyone, you're doing well. You're doing well, probably. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a nice beam of flame right there. Got that one on fire, that's right, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Again, beautiful vehicular manslaughter right there. What's the health report like? Mm, took some damage there. It seems like, um, Bunza number A. <laughs> Suffered critical damage. Uh, obviously, uh, struggling. Explosive. Set off. Blame him. That's right, set him on fire. Beautiful, beautiful flames. I know what I should do. By the way, the other one's completely out of fuel right now. It's, uh, it's, it's been severely damaged in the process, you see. My long, long twig, no. Okay, we fought him back, we fought him back. Some explosive has, uh, have been had. Let's see if I can kill myself. Okay, please, please stop. S stop doing this. Okay, it seems like both Bunsen have ran out of ammo, so... We're gonna unload the pawns real quick, you see? Combat mode, though, as well. Yeah, see, they're, they're, they're focusing the vehicles right there. Alright. Okay, we killed everyone. Good job. <laughs> and there goes the Enclave. See? Simple ass. Simple ass. Okay, let's allow it all, shall we? 
vehicle took a lot of damage from it, though. A lot of it. But, um, you know, we're gonna get there. Most of plants, you think you can uh, pick up all six components real quick for no particular reason? Uh, the same as, uh, maybe, say, Biker will go ahead and start haunting the unguided 120-pound bombs in the napalm as well. Same way Dams is gonna go ahead and pick up the reinforced barrel for no particular reason at all. Yeah, then that should do, and that should do. We also got a bunch of cloth from those fools now. So, uh, let's get deconstructing, I suppose. Hey, yeah, just pick it up. You don't need to kill the fire. It's gonna make you depressed, don't forget that. You're gonna go super depressed, okay, man? Uh, now, what I would like to do as well is kind of have Biker repair this bad boy, you know? Biker and maybe Clank, wherever Clank is right now, there, there we go. Yeah, we need we need to repair uh, these things a little. I also can't tell. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like people and weapons being on fire. It's not the actual vehicle that's on fire, you know? Oh, speaking of plasma... Um, Plas, how about you equip the plasma pistol as your weapon? I think, again, it's only fitting if we do. <laughs> oh, some composite. It's very lovely. Nice. Nice indeed. Yeah, you pick up the, the bombs and all that. Okay, yeah, can we, uh... Well, you can't repair these. Bit of a shame. But yeah... Yeah, that's a bit of a siege, you know, again, vehicular combat, alright? And those are the weak vehicles, by the way. I, I kind of would wish that the enemies would also start using vehicles, you know? I, I, I think it would add a certain coolness to it, to it you know, like so, something we don't see right now. But, um, dreams be dreams, I don't think it's a thing, you see? I kind of doubt it. Okay, getting the tracks repaired. Basically what happened is they shot the fuel tanks. And we basically lost the fuel. So we couldn't move anymore. And I believe with this one they also got the engine down so we couldn't shoot with the turret. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it kind of went there. Was it coming Zeppelins? Well, Zeppelins would be different. They're not like... Vehicles like these. Zeppelins would be like the, um, uh, like the, the, the thing you send people across countries, basically, you know? If, if that makes sense. Speaking of, how much for a Zeppelin again? Helicopters, aircrafts, vehicles, where the fuck was the Zeppelin? I know we have a Zeppelin. Ah, oh, ship. Zeppelin. All we need is some cloth. How about, how about, guys, what if we make a blimp? You know? Um, shoot, let's, let's make, let's make a casual Zeppelin in here, alright? Let's just gonna, gonna slam one right in there, you know? Yeah, the, 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 fuck it, man, let's go, let's make a Zeppelin, alright? Okay, everyone's sleeping. I also made some double sleeping bags for some people that, uh, don't want to sleep alone. Because we had, like, a poor biker over here. Uh, he was like, um... Slept alone. <laughs> and like, cries me a river because of that. Biker, could you go... Never mind. Mike, could you go ahead and uh, refuel uh, both of these, actually? That'd be very nice of you. But we just had a raid. But we, well, we just had a raid. Come on, man. It's the Enclave again! And they're picking more rocket launchers this time! Shit! That's <laughs> kinda annoying, not gonna lie. It's... It's, it's low-key kinda annoying, you know? Um... Stupid... Stupid sexy Enclave, dude. Man, they're just going in, huh? They're like, nah. 
Those guys won't get prep time, okay? And we're gonna do the single smartest thing, which is, um, you know, group up big down here. Okay, Clank, you, you, ta you take cover, you take cover. Move in, move in. They're try they're, they're seriously trying flamethrowers against me here, huh? What happened to you, man? Did they shoot you in the head? Not the left arm. It'll be fine. And that's like the easy part, huh? Uh, how, about, how about we kind of, you know, rocket launcher guy? Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is fine. This is fine, you know? This is perfectly fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure those guys got d these here under control, you see? That's right. I haven't expected that many, uh, like, enclave raids, so, so, it's such a quick succession, you know? I, I don't like these two <laughs> guys with the rocket launchers aiming at me like this, you know? Uh, some, something about it makes me kinda uncomfortable, not gonna, not gonna lie, you see, not, not, not gonna lie there. Yeah, can we... Can we do something about that? Yeah, maybe... Maybe don't stay in the open either. Yeah, Lu Lu Luna has a few hours there. Where'd the rocket go? I just saw a rocket. Okay, it only shredded... His toes. He, 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 he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Um, I, 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 I know I might be asking for a lot back there. Okay, they're running off. They're running away. Can you also equip gun? To stop blasting people? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Randy, please give me a break. Randy, you, you, please, I, 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 I require to have a wee bit of a break, you see, man? Like, I, you, you got, you gotta calm down, Randy, you, you, Randy, you got, you gotta chill, dude. Randy, please. You fall down, I know, I know. Some people got it slightly worse than others currently. You rescue this one, you tend to yourself, you'll be fine, you rescue this guy. And you're already on rescue duty. Good grief, dude! Oh, Selt. Um... Uh... When, when, whenever one of you is done, um... We, um... We need... We need to do something about... You know... Like... Surely they won't attack me, like, immediately, right? They're just an infestation. They're just gonna be there for a little. Okay, so so one one of you has to, you know, go go ahead and... Like, the man's being, like, cook, cooked alive right now. Um, okay, there we go. Yeah, you go you go rescue him, okay? You go rescue him. Uh, bi biker on the floor? He'll, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be just fine. So, uh, again, after um, fighting off multiple, my minigun, uh, you know, big bazooka, yeah, I'm gonna take a big bazooka, alright? Yeah, we, we, we get shot with rocket launchers and all that, too, so it's quite something, you see? I'll take their skills. Allow machine gun, allow, allow, allow. After all of this hours, the HK-10, the Spyocoda, don't care, Nero HK, okay, we good? A 9mm, yes, sure. Are you sure you wanna do this, man? You're gonna be a little depressed, aren't you? Okay, it seems like... Those guys down here, they don't care too much about us right now. 
The fuck? Red scorpions? I mean, barb slingers? Not gonna lie, those things would be kinda badass to tame. Actually, you know, a fucking barb slinger sounds really sick, though. Yeah, yeah, it actually sounds kinda sick. So, everyone been treated? No. No. Not everyone, no. Mm -mm. You're still taking quite some time. You're just casually eating. You know, instead of sitting there and just taking a bit of a meal in, how about you do make yourself a little more useful and, you know, try to have people not die? Again, a pretty, pretty damn intense uh, start back there, not gonna lie. Um, poor biker has been kind of casually um, exploded. You, you, you heal yourself, food punch, Roadhog. Okay, well, as long as Roadhog's gonna be fine, you know. Disease and facts on Roadhog, ironically. It's the third. Roadhog's kind of getting there. If she actually gets any treatment whatsoever, she'll be actually fine. Um, I don't want to ask too much of you, but you think you can go ahead and uh, tend to her? If, yeah, if. Oh, plants, by the way. Uh, try and use the... Uh, the, 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 the plasma weapon, you know, that, that, that's gonna be like your main thing. And she got another infection and, uh, fell unconscious. There we go. You know, that's actually fine. No means she'll have uh, infection immunity just faster, you see. Plus, I'm really sorry, but do you think you could? You know, thank you. Yeah, immunity is way out there, you know. Yeah, it's just fine. It's just golden. Alright, guys. Status report. Hmm? Looking good. Looking fine. You got some burn scars. You know, the ladies love burn scars, okay? Uh, you'll be just fine. Why am I hearing mining sounds? Is it just uh, the insectoids doing shenanigans here? Presumably. Presumably is. <laughs> Low on medicine. Mm, yes. Wonder why. Well, I would like my boons and bra uh, brack, yes. I'd like him brack, please. That'd be kind of very neat. So you got your miniguns still. Good. Get your guns. Well, you dropped yours. Uh, you you got some of them back. Okay, okay. You got your stuff again. You got yours. You still have the ones you had. And well, those guys could uh, stop getting uh, being knocked down. Alrighty. Hey, that's how you're doing. Wait for Enough! There it is. Speaking of plans, congratulations on your. Inspiration, you know. How about you guys? I'm doing well. Uh, we just suffered two um, raids. Well, one siege and another raid from the Enclave, which uh, showed up with rocket launchers and plasma weapons. And then we also happened to get an infestation right after, so it's pretty wild. I'm not gonna lie. Our bones are still up here and in need of some repair. So, yeah. It's a bit of a situation. Can we collect our bodies? Dude, we're trying. Like, uh, everyone's doing a little bit of everything right now. We're probably not gonna be able to get all the bodies, too. Are you being chased? It's a simple... It's a simple spider. You'll be fine. And we shouldn't probably provoke them like we are right now. 34,579 points away! Very specific, but it's probably not wrong. Yeah. 
And if you don't want to be attacked by them, you shouldn't walk up to them Is like this. this too exactly. Easy for you? It's actually not in spirit. Also, thank you for the whole year, actually. Damn right. <laughs> well, how you doing, man? How you doing? Welcome to the wasteland. And sure looks like we we need some warriors. Everyone, we seem to have a bit of an infestation problem. Uh, please continue moving further back. Uh, but please, the the, the minigun will only suit you otherwise. Now keep keep going. Keep oh well, not, not so much for that. Now we're bringing some, we're we're packing some heat while fighting some insects and whatnot. You see. We're packing heat. How did you get back up like it's nothing? Now I would I would urge you to go and heal. And that, that, that's what I would urge you to do. Meanwhile, I'm gonna yoink Cos Lord and uh, send him to exterminate the hives. I don't want any more of those, you see. Hey, that's my fireplace. Stupid Kwama. Damn right, getting shot in the face with that gun. Uh, Sound, you seem to not have weapons. Um, how's a riot shot gonna sound to you? A plas I, I believe I told you to use the plasma gun, which is so much better. <laughs> Yeah, only only plasma. Plasma is the big one. Okay, it's the big one. It seems like we have a hostile. Surely a man inside of power armor equipped with a minigun is gonna be fine when it comes to fighting a creature like this, right? Also, you know, not to be an asshole, but damn. I believe you want to keep just using the minigun instead of swapping to your silenced weapon there. It's not quite the same, I'm afraid. Okay, you get your shoddy back. Uh, you might have your shoddy back, but I would like for you to also get your power fist back, actually. Wherever that one is. Wherever that one is right now. I click to forget power fist. Yeah, I'd like you to not forget about it. I'd like you to equip it. It should be in here. Somewhere. Should be. Should be. Maybe it's where he passed out. I did check there and I didn't see it. Well, at least hold a bazooka, you know. At least do me that much. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sure if he really wants it, it's, it's gonna get it somewhere, right? Can the power fist burn? I'm afraid it can. Good job, Coslord. I've exterminated. And I'm gonna take those little pods. <laughs> For no reason, I'm just gonna take those pods. And, um... Use them as nightlights. That's right. Use them as a little nightlight, so people don't get scared of the dark. Um, well, one there maybe, and, um, one in the rice. Why not? Just do that. Starvation? It's more like he's slightly hungry. I just can't catch a break, can I? So I would have just kept walking away, Clink. Now, we technically did want to tame these things, but if they're gonna be like this, I'm also not beyond just killing them outright. Plasma pistol? Or laser pistol, maybe? Damn right. One shot, one kill. Alrighty. Looking good. I'm ready for death, my lord. As, um, I mean... Good. <laughs> I don't think you're one of my guys, so you, you don't you don't have to die. Also, we we're not dying just yet. Now, we might have a disease, you know, good old infection back here. We'll just treat it. How's that actually going? Could be better. Could be better. 
What is that? Mm, torso. Mm, could be better, could be better. <laughs> uh, say, could you could you preach health to... Shit. <laughs> could you, like, wake up? Am I supposed to you, like, wake up? Could you wake up, maybe? Could you, like, maybe wake up? <laughs> I'd like for it to wake up, you see. Eh, although this, this, this may work out. Maybe. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, Captain Costlord. Yeah, we just, we just got raided by the Enclave and killed them with vehicles. Then we got raided by the Enclave again and killed them with guns. And then we got an infestation, so we had to deal with that as well. Um, a lot of stuff happening pretty quickly, you know. It's so funny. Get healthier or you going to hell. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it's quite something. Battle animals won't run. You mean a plant that's gab and spits acid? Is it like mine? Okay, Cosrod and Gab, you just happen to be plants now, okay? You you guys are now plants. Congratulations. Hey, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. Well, I thought someone was walking off a rocket launcher, which, to be fair, somebody should be walking around with a rocket launcher. The more I think about it. What's a rocket launcher? Wait. Don't tell me. Yeah, that's probably what happened. <laughs> hey, you know what, in hindsight, that might be what has happened. Well, that's fine. Maybe we're just not gonna be any Power Fist or <laughs> a uh, rocket launcher anymore for us, but... Wait, I see the rocket launcher. Never mind, I take that one back. I suppose Biker can uh, pick up the bazooka and just kinda have it with him. In case of an emergency. Like we've seen many times before. Uh, the plans... <laughs> they're just gonna be there now, you know? They're just gonna be there, you know? They're just gonna hang out. Um, sure, we, we can cuddle up with them. Uh, yeah, we can, we can have some plants cuddle with us, yeah? Yeah, just, just have them be there, yeah? So now if I would be more, uh, get better or you won't be going to hell. <laughs> you, you, you won't burn eternally, man. Come on. Infection extreme. Ooh, fuck. Um, it's really extreme, actually. Well, it seems like we're about to lose an imp. Bye-bye, all these folks. There they go. Hey, Mike. Would you mind butchering them? We're not about to waste after all, you see. Hate to see the infection getting the better of them. Ah, well. The meat's still good enough. Okay, so. These two bad boys. Can we now maybe try and get those things back, you know, in here, please? Let's try and refuel them again, okay? Ah, well, bit of a waste. Let's try and repair them instead. Blink. Stop. Don't bother. It's not gonna work out. Uh, where is it? Which one, uh, which one was it that made it basically go empty? The cam tank? Cam tanks are 90%. Explosive. Okay, uh, hey, since you're right here, Dems, could you try and actually, uh, refuel this? Why is it still losing it? I thought it was in the tank. In the, you know, chemistry canister for the camp fuel the camp tank for the camp fuel which is on 100 percent right now or is it the engine that's leaking it i don't know but yeah how you doing luna welcome welcome to the uh triple raid uh randy trying to kill me uh run as we kill the enclave it's rotting down here we kill the enclave that um got cooked up here and uh, we killed a hive that lived down here. It all happened within like, like right away, like bam, 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 you know, like one after the other. 
Starvation, low on food. How can we be low on food? Did all the meat rot away? Because it's not cold enough? After I keep telling everyone to set it to minus 31. Minus 40. I'm, I'm, I'm done messing around. Do we really need to install more ACs in here? I, I, I guess we do. I guess we do. It's, it's just not cold enough. Well, I guess that said. More ACs. The freezer needs more cooling. After all. So there's that. Barb Slinger hunting Luna. And that's the Barb Slinger, and that was Luna. Um. Ah, there. You might have a simple revolver on you, but how about we go equip a pulse pistol, which would be genuinely better. I'm just saying. Like I, 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 I don't, I don't see you losing to that guy, you know. Got a new mic, that's nice. You got all the settings down, all working just fine. Hey, how about you help Luna out with uh, the minigun and you just shotgun as well. Yeah, that thing's gonna think twice now, but we're tanking us again. Okay. Yeah, solar panels are suffering from the whole storm thing. Situation there. Uh, surely, now that the engine has 100% efficiency, surely we'd be able to refuel it, right? Or am I, am, I, am I going insane? Like, it should, technically speaking, be just fine. As clearly, the cam tank doesn't store chemicals for some reason. So it must be the engine. New speed cargo repair rates, which you know is fine and all. Can can you like try and refuel this bad boy right now, real quick? If if it's, if it's gonna lose all the fuel immediately, then I'll I'll get very sad and upset. Okay, we still got plenty of cam fuel laying around. There's a podcast mic, and I don't know if the uh, audio is being the way it is. Uh, the way it is, it's because of that. Okay, good news. The, the, fuel, the fuel is working just fine. So we might as well drive the back home. Okay, now. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Okay, you could park it a little better. Uh, you could park it a little better. You... You could... You, could you... Like, park it... Park it a little better? Are, are you... You get stuck? Could you, like, park it a little better? Please? No, no, that's too close to the bike, man. Okay, thank you, thank you, finally, good grief. It took a while. <laughs> it took a while, man. Alrighty. So everyone who's alive is now gonna remain alive, I hope. We got plenty of rice being made up there, I hope. Uh, we got some insect meat down here, which is gonna last a while, I hope. <laughs> we'll put six days. Current temperature, two degrees Celsius. Outside temperature, 51. Good drive for twitching. Well, it's technically not me, it's Biker who is driving. I could I could do a way better parking job than this guy, believe me. <laughs> it was pretty pathetic, not gonna lie. What's Clank doing, and why are you doing what you're doing? Clank, now, could you maybe make the uh, ACs in here real quick, and I'm not talking about Armored Core right now? Oh, getting a heat wave. How how extremely lovely. In the extreme desert. Well, likely we're having someone currently working on the whole AC situation now, don't we? As it's reaching, you know, casual 60-something degrees out there. Better cool off that cooler back here. 
Better be cooling it, man. Better prompt us working on this too. Again, we have plenty of steel. We have uh, 2,000. It's quite a good chunk. Nothing to scarf it. Uh, yes, you. Yeah, minus 59 degrees Celsius. Why not? Why not? It says lone food. Technically, we still have some for the next 17 hours. It's so warm on the outside. Holy! I need so many air conditioners, man! Biker's about to snap. So, maybe it would be best if we don't uh, send him to do this. Maybe Mike instead, he seems pretty happy. Scroll too low, never mind. Mike will not be doing that. Uh, well, I'll send in Biker then. Like, we, we need those, we need those coolers going right now. Yeah, just make it nice and freezing in here. One in here. It's 82 on the outside. How many coolers do I need? Maybe, maybe another few, you know? Another one. Yeah, the heat wave's really doing me in. Again, I'm telling you, Randy wants me dead. Okay? First he tries to kill me. He noticed that failed, now he's trying to starve me. And now he's like, oh, what better way to do that than with a heat wave, you see? Damn right. Gosrut, can you do me a favor? Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Okay, let's turn all the way down again. Oh, nice. Research. About advanced components. So we can get advanced components now. No, I can't. Well, you already did. Too bad. Yeah, advanced components. Car transmission. Look, stand. A dedicated automatic transmission system that uh, delicately machined from hardened and durable materials due to its... Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Those are required in vehicles that require immense torque and excessive rational speeds. Rotational, I mean, not rational. Cars don't tend to be rational. So, we can get a bunch of things, really. Air stuff, which we don't care about. Um, we can get Charlie. Good old Moist Critical back there. Snatcher, Trawler, Wagon. We can also get Combat Vehicles, which I'm more interested in. What a Spitfire. Main battle tank on with the secondary flamethrower. I like I like the sound of flamethrower. We're gonna research it. My next research project right there. Yeah, this poor thing has to be uh, upgraded. I like how you can see the blood on the car too. It's very lovely. I like to see that. Righty. Yeah, that food's gonna rot away most likely. Currently 8 degrees, not enough. Can I specifically tell <clears throat> you all to go down all the way? Minus 170 degrees right there. I still don't know if we're going to call it enough, but it's whatever. The heat wave doesn't help right now. The heat wave's the main problem currently. But... We're buying enough time, so the food doesn't just rot away immediately. It's 69 degrees on the outside. Very deadly. Temperatures, really. Very, um... Not normal temperatures, even. Um, I'm gonna slap in two more ACs. So we can get that done. A likely Costler just happened to be there, so surely he'll be volunteering as well. I know it's a little cool in there, I know it's a little cool. But it's... it's necessary cooling, okay? People shouldn't be hanging out in the freezer for too long anyways. Okay, biker's there. He's gonna be doing the thing. Okay, you, you just call it all the way down too. It's getting warmer due to the whole daytime thing. Back to almost being about rotten. 
It's six, yeah, six degrees in there, 80 outside. It's crazy, dude. I need so many coolers and still not enough. Oh, it's Roadhog. Weren't you using the incendi incendiary launcher? You should go back to doing that. Well, it's a goodbye to the insect meat. It was nice knowing you. There you go, Randy. I hope you got what you wanted. Try to starve me out? Fine, so be it. You tried, man. You tried, Randy. I may also need more hydroponics, actually. That's right. I may need another one of those facilities. Hmm. Now, where to put that? Where to put that? Maybe up here? I mean... How little rice do we have? Again, a lot of the rice has been turned into fuel. So, there's that. I don't really see any rice, to be fair. A bigger one? Yeah, a bigger one. A bigger and a better one. And just an additional one, really. Because, well, we're kind of, again, running low. I think people have been just cooking with it. For the most part. Like, hydroponics are nice and all. Yeah, I'm thinking up here. I'm thinking up there. So, what we'll do is... Uh, it's been very wacky. Um, because I like making my asphalt roads. I'm gonna have one go up here. Yeah, big, big road, big road. Yeah, just like this. Totally not wasting a lot of resources doing that, you know? Hey, look, I, I, I got steel, okay? I got steel for days. Now, a little road leading up there, just because it's nice. We can also make one here eventually. And structure-wise, it's five steel for this. We are not that wealthy in terms of bones. Maybe we'll make, like, one right here. So this is 12, and this one is technically 13. <laughs> Technically, this one's a little smaller in that sense, but maybe we can make it taller. I mean, it's 13 by 13, isn't it? No, it's 13 by 11, actually. 13, ironically, 11 as well. Let's make it, let's say, like 15 in total, okay? Yeah, it's a little bigger than the previous one. A little grander. Has two doors instead. Uh, AI, uh, medical doctor and barrel trauma. I don't know. I don't play with AIs. Um, I would imagine he he does his job when asked to. I would imagine he does what he has to do. As the um doctor, like maybe you just need to tell them, like, hey, heal. Don't forget to heal. And they're like, oh, yes, healing. Got it. There we go. Let's connect that to the grid. Guess could you give me a fucking break, man? Who do we have now? Is it the Enclave again? Of course it's the Enclave again. Why is it the Enclave that's attacking me with a Brotherhood War Banner? What gifts? The Enclave do realize that they're not friends, right? Like, they realize that the Brotherhood... They're, 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 they're not friends with the Enclaves, right? Well, it seems like the food truck's ready for another delivery, however. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do these things. Can you join the Enclave? I mean, in Rumble? Oh, no. In this one? No. Considering they're against us? Gonna be a little difficult. However, you see, the Enclave is what we call a bunch of carlets. Clank, it's very nice of you to volunteer to also join this operation. Very lovely. I can pick him up from afar. To inspect your base for any building violations. Building violations, huh? What do they have? I don't see anyone packing heat like a rocket launcher, so I mean... It should be fine. Scatter vehicle ready. 
Oh, someone blasting already. I guess we'll be just taking cover back there. Ramming maneuver right now! Go, go, go! <laughs> you can't shoot him from there. What a shame. Absolutely murdered one person and another one. Are you seriously shooting a flamethrower against a tank that is specifically designed to sustain fire damage? My god, no wonder the Enclave keeps throwing. It's it's like they it's like they want to die, you know. Losing fuel, losing fuel rapidly. Ugh. Out of you. Hey, you walk away. You just casually walk away. Take some cover. All right, boys. It's time to go out guns blazing now, eh? You shoot war banner person, and um, you maybe try and get some cover back there while you shoot this guy. Yeah, take take cover behind her. Take cover. Hmm. Incendiary or not? If only I had a good driver. No, no. If only I had sturdier vehicles, really. That's the main thing. Like, we just need to knock out another guy. Look at this loser. Artery blockage. Also getting a heat stroke, it looks like. Okay, they're running off now. We got enough of a beating. Okay, biker, gotta tend to yourself real quick. Uh, may maybe you take cover too while doing that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, man, slightly bleeding back there. Heat stroke initial. What's your uh, resistance like? 49 degrees? Oh shit, both of you? Uh, it seems like they, they also managed to take Biker down to a level. Uh, strip him, by the way. They, they, they shot him enough, so he basically lost some of his armor. Interesting. We got a new gun down there. Uh, we'll be undressing this lad real quick. Gunshot wound. You should be fine though, right? 91 degrees? Yeah. Oh, if those guys take their skills away. Look at this, lad. Yeah, hold on in seven hours, it's gonna bleed out. Okay. Well, that was quite something, huh? <laughs> was quite something. So... I hope that's gonna be it for the Enclave, ra Enclave Raids for the next bit, you know? They're doing their best? Oh yeah, they are! Oh, they're doing their best, alright? They really are. But, um, I, I wish they would stop. <laughs> you know, I, I just wish they would stop doing their best. Poor fool. Get knocked out. Now we can strip him. I mean, what's what's he like? What does he like? There's a lot of burning passions, actually. We're still gonna strip him, though. This guy... Could survive. He's very loyal, though. I could probably sacrifice him. That is a thing we could do. Again, just an initial heat stroke. He'll be fine, he'll be fine. You'll be fine, and you'll be fine, I'm sure. See, to do the Wicker Man thing, we need a actual live person, you know? So, uh, there's that. Also, how, how about how about we um, equip some of uh, their gear, shall we? No, 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 no. You you, you misunderstand. You're gonna wear it. Yeah, we we're gonna we're gonna become an enclave officer now. You see. Yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> Minus 91 to 74. I like how there's a little thing there because his eye technically is an Archaeotech eye. But the game doesn't quite realize that, apparently. Uh, now again, going back to the whole, hey, we don't really have a actual prison, so we're just gonna make a little uh, ghetto prison net, you know? 
Uh, just gonna put the people inside of a hallway. Gonna capture this man. His health. Extremely poor condition. We'll try to capture him. Will, will he survive? I doubt it. It'd be nice if he would actually. Hold on. Can you... You could fire him. Or you could fire at him. But let's try and actually keep him alive. You see there's two bio-coded guns down here. Which only he will be able to use actually. So yeah, let's try our best, shall we? Now, surely, the Enclave won't come back and raid me within two seconds again, right? Surely not. I also like to see a um, good old biker about to completely snap. And probably go berserking, so I'm just gonna save you. <laughs> you know? At least we're getting our fill of combat in, you know? At the very least. We're getting that done. Uh, reduces resistance. Let's do that. Everyone else should be nicely tended to. For the most part. So as an initial heat stroke. Well, I shouldn't get one in here. 24 degrees. And this is 2 degrees. Disease infection. Let me guess on who. Oh, it's actually... Didn't, well, I wouldn't have guessed. Yeah, treat the infection on the leg, or else we'll just cut off the leg. It's simple as that. Either we're gonna get treated, or we're gonna get it cut off. You see? Heat stroke sealed. 68 is currently 83. I could see that being an issue. Yeah, not gonna lie, I could see that being a problem. What would I like to... Roadhog. I know, you have a wide selection of weapons available. How about you narrow it down a little bit for me? Yeah, so there's the Watts rifle. You're fine. You got like three guns anyways. You could like forget about these two. You, 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 you have a thing that's kind of working well for you. Same with this. You, you kind of forget about that. You, on the other hand, could use maybe a bit of a heftier gun than just a pistol. You know, something more automatic, you see? So it's nice to see that Biker still hasn't been treated. Tend to yourself. I know you're a little bit on edge, but you, you gotta stop bleeding everywhere, man. Alright. Yeah, so that guy seems... A little injured, a little injured in spirit, you know. That leg may or may not need to get off. Or come off, rather. The other, the other one would imply something else, I'm afraid. <laughs> and I'm not about to get your leg off. Uh, let's see. Um, we got an excellent cowboy hat for anyone who needs some further fire resistance, which uh, frankly could actually be you. All the way down there. Yeah, sure, allow the scout and why not? Who cares? Who cares? Oh, yeah, that thing got trashed, dude. That vehicle got absolutely trashed. This one? Man, you gotta stop, dude. <laughs> it's the Enclave again? You, get, you gotta chill. Bro. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Yo, this game... This game is trying some weird shit, man. It's... It's trying something, alright? Now I don't know how I feel about it. There's another capsule down there. Can we send you down here? So anyone who's somewhat happy, you know, just, just move them about, you know? Oh yeah, not to forget, there's literally a guy right there. Well, since you happen to be right there. Only a couple of them this time. Yeah, but they're like everywhere. So. We got, we got some up here. A guy 
a v naked woman with just a pump. I'm confused. Why are you naked? Why, why are you naked and the only thing you have is a power fist? Like, please explain this to me real quick. It's 78 degrees. You will die from a heat stroke. I don't even need to find you. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah. Same goes to you. Light recon armor. Yo, dog. They're gonna die to a heat stroke. For the most part. Seemingly. Not all of them, not all of them, mind you. Like, these guys they actually know what they're doing. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, we're gonna get a power fist back, though. True. True that. Damps, what are you trying, man? Equip that minigun right now and blast this man into oblivion. Damn right. And then go ahead and strip him. Does he have a death set of fire? No, no, he does not. He's unwaveringly loyal. Strip. Strip. Is he. Is Salt currently trying to do uh, murder? I hate how they're just attacking the vehicle, by the way. It's extremely rude, if I dare say so. Um, yeah, send him up. Yeah, they got an initial heat stroke. Were you the naked? What, what happened to naked woman? Oh, that sounds about right. Yeah, no, that that sounds about right. N naked, naked woman would die. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, thing when you don't have clothes on. Kind of something you could expect to happen, you know? Uh, careful, they're shooting our kind of friend who's in a murderous rage right now. He has a pack leg, we'll be able to outrun him easily. Dude, yeah. Uh, bring our bodies in over the weapon. Uh, yes, we can, but I won't. Um, get a running good. Good stuff, good stuff. As they should be. Like, like the body is like, the butchering thing's gonna happen regardless. Uh, which is the only thing I actually want them. I mean, dude, we got, we got a grand naked social artist here. Probably the social points because she's naked, if I had to take a guess, but still. Yeah, remove skull, Winchester, very nice. Advanced turbo plasma rifle, very nice. Biocoded, but still an EMP launcher. Not a cult. Well, long story short, those guys were extremely divided, but, um. It was quite something. You pick up the power fist. Um, we, um, we may need to do something about you, though. Hey, stop it, Salt, come on. You can do better than that. I'm gonna stick you into prison with, uh, in spirit there. Okay. Now, we're gonna release you. Whenever, you know, so you can stop beating us up. Poor vehicle. <laughs> they kept attacking it, you know. Just kept on attacking it, almost destroying it too, actually. Remember this range, this is fine. Something about pollution, armor skin gland I like though. So you're gonna send me a bunch of transport pods and just happy pollution everyone, basically? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, we can pollute the area a little. That's fine. Quest completed, pods arrive, waste packs arrive. Other end there? They're out here? That's fine, they can just rot, you know? Uh, yeah, we, we can have whole pollution happen, you know? So it's whatever, that's cool. Uh, we got an armor gland, though. Uh, I'd like that to be hold. Good, good. Good, good. 
Now then, let's get butchering, shall we? Research. Let's get in there. Murderous Rage Biker wants to kill Castroad for some reason. Um. Well, it's kind of awkward. All, all I'm saying is, cause l listen, listen. We do have a power fist. How about? Yeah, that that that'll do. That'll do. Uh, is he good? Is he fine? Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, just gonna beat him up a little, you know? It's okay, it's okay. Medical treatment needed. You'll be good, you'll be good. You'll be fine. Catatonic cell. That's always lovely. It's so good, man. It's so good. Oops. <laughs> well, seems like he, um, died. Clint, can you rescue? Good. It's okay, it's okay. Starvation should be going way down. The story is gonna go way down. Seems like someone forgot to feed a certain someone. Hate to see it. More food though, you know? There's more food after all. So what's that on you? Dark leather kite shields? I just put that away. Dunalus clutch mother? Ah, oh, nice. No, desert spider. Looking, uh, very evil, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spider webs that are prey. Uh-huh, stun. It's basically the same spider we've seen earlier, but like, a different skin. It seems like someone was able to destroy my vehicle. That is a shame. Only if it's this one up here then. Which I hope we can repair soon. It'd be a shame if not. I don't even know when and how that happened. Damps is now murderous rage? You, you guys, you gotta stop. <laughs> you gotta stop with the murderous rage, man. I know everyone's a little bit on edge, and you specifically, damn, are a little hungry. Okay, I, I get, I get that, I get that. But listen, it cool. For a moment, I wasn't sure if someone might have like cut the power to this place, but no, it still has power. Planned resting period. Okay, right. Yeah, I guess it's nothing then. Also, I'm disappointed that the nightlights haven't been placed back. To where they needed to be. Happens, I guess. Happens. Uh, don't know who that is, but I'm happy to see they're dead. Whoever they might have been. So, good stuff, that thing. Scat them. Yeah, a little, little, little bit of starvation happening back here again because of. You know, spontaneous heat waves and, um, you know, me using all of the rice for fuel and uh, yada yada yada, you know, you, we, we all heard the story by now. So, uh, there's that. A absolutely not helping me. <laughs> at least we now research combat vehicles, you know, at the very least there's dead. Um, blast doors. Do I want to make a blast door, I wonder? Uh, Rumfeller? Yeah, Rumfeller is still something I'd need to do, actually. Sentry guns wouldn't be bad, but <laughs> wouldn't be bad. Not gonna lie, wouldn't be bad. What's why a hologram? That'd be just like entertainment, I suppose. Yeah, we'll just research sentries. Why not? At least that car is getting the attention it needs. So only a little bit of. Oh. Yeah, that 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 would be a problem, huh? Yeah, that that kind of that kind of would be a problem, wouldn't it? <laughs> Didn't know that thing was vegetarian, so to speak. They 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 don't they don't try to go for a wall still. We're not doing that. We're just fighting on the outside, is the thing. <laughs> 
Okay, let's uh, kill this thing. Good. Now we'll get something to butcher. Surely that's gonna give a lot of food, right? Don't just don't just stand there. I know I know the the animal named after you just died, but it will be fine. So those parts are, I believe, deteriorating. So I would love, I know, say like you maybe, to start hauling all of this back here. Well, we kind of need to not have those bits go to waste. And what's this doing? Yeah, lots of repairs needed. One step at a time, okay? One step at a time. Staring at some fire there. Yeah, some of the whole prisoner thing. Could have used to uh, burn one there. You guys should also consider, like, actually butchering the, uh, you know, clutch mother instead of just, like, keeping it in the living room, I guess. You know? And there's basically all the food right there. Already ate it. Bunch of bones it gave me to, at least. Starvation shouldn't be that crazy now. Should have some food. And we're about to get more rice. It's still a blueprint, man. You guys are slacking. Okay, listen. That construction game has to go way up. Okay? I mean, I guess some people are also just trying to fix their vehicle, which is technically construction, so to speak. Major brake risk. Mm, yeah, it's not going too well, huh? It'd be better. Yeah, we have we have plenty of steel. We have plenty of steel. Uh, we'll just postpone the whole Zeppelin thing, okay? <laughs> Surveillance. Well, yeah, if you maybe would have worked on the stuff I told you to work a while back. Might not be so bad anymore now, you see? Might be not so bad now. Okay, uh, let's see. So, I'd like to wear some of the power armor. You strike me like someone who could benefit from some power armor, not gonna lie. And we we made Cosroot sad now. Shit. <laughs> Poor man. Seeking a bit of happiness in life. Uh, let's see, so that's all fine. Are you cleaning this? Oh, you really don't have to. Yeah, this is like the... It's fine if it's dirty area. Let's put it that way. It's okay if it is dirty. Perfectly fine. A little bit of an autosave. Yeah, we lost two people. Bit of a shame, of course, but... Hmm. It happens, I suppose. It happens. Tantrum, solar flare, which is really fucking bad, actually. Um, starvation's only gonna get worse, I suppose. I mean... Yo, Plasma, how about you also have the advanced super plasma mega death rifle there, you know? Again, fits the name. Okay, another tantrum, some heat strokes, everyone's hungry. The poor plants are kinda dying. Something about a whole, um... Not being electrified situation. Wow, one died, one died. Please harvest plant. Guys, please, please harvest plant. Okay, and I was, I was pretty chill with your schedule, but um, we need to add some mandatory working hours now, yeah? Don't worry, I didn't forget, I didn't forget. You get your meditation, okay? You get that. Everyone else gets to hang out there. <laughs> there we go. Ruining my rice plants. I know it's terrible. I'm ruining my own rice plants, actually. Uh, grow. How about you grow and plant cut? This is catatonic. Well, um, never mind. Again, that's Randy trying to kill me right there. This was my favorite plant. Yeah, that's literally Randy trying to murder me. I'm telling you, man. Randy wants my death. He literally wants me to die. How did Mike die? Malnourishment? Oh, well. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, the, the, Re Randy just really wanted to, um, fuck me, so to speak. Yeah, see, everyone's dying now, yeah, everyone's dying. Wait for it, it's gonna be great. Because nobody's harvesting the plants already. <laughs> and we're just all gonna die. Yeah, all the magical rice plants. Yeah, so where did this go wrong? Uh, I, I don't know, let's start with getting raided 200,000 times. Um, let's also go to the point where, um, you know, um, yeah, peop people eat one another, you know, only the strong will survive. <laughs> you know, so, so basically, uh, you know, pawns not doing what the pawns were meant to do, I suppose, like this a little sooner. Randy Ob absolutely hating me today. Uh, by being like, oh yes, let's send a raid. Mm, he's still alive. Let's send another raid. Oh, he's still alive. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's slap in uh, some, you know, some 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 other boys. Another raid. An infestation too. Okay, now he has a lot of food. Um, let's uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, you know, just kind of make a make a heat wave so the food rots away. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It's basically what happened. Uh, Umbra, Darklight, Nighthawk. Holy fuck, you're so edgy. <laughs> you're so fucking edgy. Yeah, I'm 16. Call me Darklight. My real name? Umbra, Nighthawk. I'm something of an assassin. But the others won't know, you see. Yes, I only operate in the shadows, you see. <laughs> Don't worry, there's a quest now, that'll help, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good old, good old Umbra Nighthawk Darklight. Yeah, it's, it's the boy. Uh, hiding from his enemies, he wants to flee his hiding spot and uh, join you at the oven. <laughs> um, his enemies will harass you, there's a toxic spear machine, uh, they're blanketing the whole region of poison. Or men hunting needle rolls are wandering nearby. Sure, why not? Hey man, could you like not try to kill e each other right now, please? Like that's kind of really not cool, man. Bro, could you, bro, bro, could you like, could you like not do that, man? It's like extremely rude right now. Uh, could you, could you like? Okay, everyone, beat him up. He doesn't want to listen, so he has to die. I mean, not not die. Please don't kill him. Just just knock him out, okay? <laughs> I'm I'm sure that'll just do fine. Darklight joins. Damn. Welcome, Darklight. How you doing, man? Welcome to the colony. That's right. What's up, Alcovin? Welcome back. How you doing? Yeah, I'm just gonna write this out. It's probably gonna be the last stream I'll do on this run as well. I kind of want to move on to, like, maybe something more druidic. We had some fun, of course. Not the most, but we had some fun with it. Also, apparently, you know, Randy wants my death anyways, right? So, it might as well. I might, might be like, okay, Randy, you can chill now, you can chill. The kitchen knife! I accept it. <laughs> Heat stroke? I mean, yeah, of course you get a heat stroke if you're out there. Don't worry, nature's gonna heal, as all things do, you see? Of the fog lens yesterday? No. <laughs> no, we didn't. Um, we got attacked by a fog horror, and it messed me up so badly. No one died, by the way. It messed me up really badly, that fog horror. And then we got attacked by two fog hounds, as well. And my whole party is just so fucked right now. Yeah, they're just gonna have to stay in there uh, to just recover. So I went back to the lab with the other hivers. And just kind of put everyone in there. And they're just gonna existing now. Hey, kid. You wouldn't want to be number one plant person, perhaps. You know? I think you wouldn't be interested in that. Hypothetically speaking there, kid. Um, good old Darklight. Hey, Darklight, how we can... Never mind. There should be some guns. Darklight, I know you're 16 and edgy, but how about you equip a um, Avenger minigun? Uh, that should be something tame. 
you know, to start out with. Also, we killed all those people and we ate them, but where did their armor go? Like, we should have power armor for everyone now. But I don't see it. You know, that's the fun bit. I, I do not see the, the power armor from the people who died that had power armor. Well, Castle, for example, is just kind of sitting on the outside. Well, we're suffering from a nuclear winter now. Thanks, Darklight. <laughs> Thanks, by the way. Um, yeah, you guys are fine. Yeah, I mean, something about a Vindicator minigun and all that, right? How about... Uh, you know, I'm just saying, I mean, you, yeah, you can equip it, I guess, but, uh... I would be happier if you were to just simply haul it, you know? How are you looking now? 61 degrees? Oh, you didn't have to eat co- <laughs> You might as well butcher him, you know, like, like... Oh, missing body? Why? Because Roadhog's about to eat cost lord? Any, anyone else? Anyone else who wants to? Okay, Luna. We got Luna in there as well. Good, good. Okay, cool. Lovely. So, <laughs> now that everyone took a bite out of him, okay. And this kind of reminds me of the Skaven run. Where, um, well, we're a bunch of Skaven. Doing Skaven-y things. And we loved being sick. So, um, we loved the uh, radioactive fallout that, by the way, it lasted for about, like, uh, a few years, mind you. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't like a thing that went away quickly or anything like that. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna keep going with it. I'm gonna roll with the punches. Yeah, why not? Let's go. Yeah, so the biker died, you know, that's perfectly fine, you know, it's not like he was very crucial. Uh, but we already lost a bunch of other crucial people. Go in. Yeah, sure, that's good enough of a parking job, whatever. Don't forget to close it eventually. I just want to see how they die now, you know, if I just let them be. I mean, clearly, they're throwing on purpose. They, they, they have to be throwing on purpose at this point, right? So... <laughs> Let's see, let's see. Let's see how it will be going. Yeah, it's a shame. Wanted to make some hydroponics and some Rimfeller oil refineries too. As, um... We would have had some oil down here. On the down below. Like, like this maybe, you know. Oh, new lovers? Luna and Roadhog? Yeah, at least... At least laugh can still blossom and... Oh, now, now you're walking on the road. It's very nice of you. Yeah, a little, a little too late, you know. A little too late, you see. And also, it's not when you go. It doesn't matter. It's whatever, man. You, you guys just do whatever. I'm just here to observe at this point, you know. I'm just here to watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm already disassociated with this party of people here, right? I'm, I'm just, I'm just observing their, their downfall, you see. That's all I'm observing right now. I mean, at, at least someone already took the engine and stuff away from the other vehicle that got destroyed. Oh, Darklight's going berserk. You know, that's always good. Let's see how Darklight's gonna do when he's berserking. Yeah, again, again, just, they're, doing, they're doing their thing. They're doing their thing, you know. Okay, they're opening fire now. Good, good. Very uh, stabil. As it should be, as it should be. Some toxic buildups, some friendly fire mayhaps. But they never tell you that <laughs> Dark Lights died. That happened pretty quickly, not gonna lie. If, if anything, you're not gonna haul him. Okay, never mind then. You, you don't haul then. You don't do that. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. I love how the plants started eating him as well. I yeah, just consume him. You know, just consume him at this point. Yeah, eat his head. Whole body gone. Good, good. Yeah, no, it just I'm I'm just watching again. I'm just watching how this is gonna go down, you know. Yeah, yeah, again, absolutely disassociated already. Anyways, the base isn't bad, I think. It was just a chain of many unfortunate events that happened, and the fact that hydroponics here hasn't been made fast enough. Otherwise, I actually really like this base, you know. I'm actually fairly fond of it. But yeah, guys. I'm gonna throw that into the round right now. 
do we want to go ahead and reload or do we want to start a druid run as the world in fact started burning all around me fire and brimstone everything everything i knew gone okay we can do this we can do this no they're not dead you know we're just gonna hang out a little longer you know a toxic shithole is a fitting ending. Yeah, those guys were pretty toxic people, to be fair. Uh, another person died. That's fair, you know, if no one's actually, you know, harvesting, you know, those things. I just want to see how they go, you know. Uh, rotting exposure. Very serious, by the way. Uh, also, extreme malnourishment, by the way. She's like the only one who's doing kind of fine, and even then she's not doing fine. Yeah, you got long rod. I mean, you're gonna starve to death anyways. That's right. At least, you know, we almost got to burn a wicker man. Now, if you die, at least do it within the vehicle. That's right. Now, let's test one thing. Ah, oh, right, we got Marenio. I like he's actually taking care of the plants. And then I was about to, like, turn on the engine and just kind of suffocate myself in there. Ironically, she is unconscious inside of there, so it's really just... Mareño! Himself. Everything is done green, what happened? Did we get nuked? No, not quite. Um... It's, it's basically the end. <laughs> so, yeah. Having a rough day, they really are. What happened? Why is everything vibrating? Uh, tantrum, space ba- uh, SPACE BATTLE! What else, dude? <laughs> like, what else, man? <laughs> a anything else I need to know? Uh, is there anything else? So... <laughs> after the rise, man. The Grand Rise War, you know? And not to confuse with Race War, that's completely different, by the way. Uh, so summary about what happened. Uh, so so we got we got raided multiple times in quick succession, whittling us down. Heat uh, heat wave, rotted all of our food away. Um, then people started being angry because they didn't have food, so they stopped repairing everything. Now we have an eclipse. Uh, we also had rice growing, but then we have a solar surge, removing the electricity, so the rice could not grow anymore. And um, so that thing went away. Then people started killing each other. And that point I just started disassociating, let him then do whatever they want to be doing, you know? Uh, really, the only guy alive is Mareño right now. So, um, yeah, it's again, it's basically the end. You see, I'm just gonna, I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's basically game over at this stage. So we only have a guy, you know, we only have a guy, dude. We also have a corpse inside of this vehicle, but that's besides the point. Quest available. Uh, crypto drone intel hack. I, I don't. I, I don't think you're gonna be doing it on your own. Yeah. Let's let's see how the story's gonna go, though. You see. Are you? Why are you moving the toxic waste bags? Are you insane? No. See, those things were there for a reason. It's because I didn't care about them. <laughs> it's fine. Um. Now, what you should do, buddy, uh, since you're the last remaining uh, survivor and technically the newest one as well, you know, I gotta teach you the ropes around here. The uh, first thing you do is equip a minigun. Uh, second thing you do is find a gas mask from one of the guys that had one. There were plenty of those. 42 degrees, you could use a little more s oomph to you. Um, yeah, skeletons, yeah, very fitting, very fitting. Extract the bad cook. That's right. Equip the bad cook. They're not even part of the same ideology. And then we get raided. One last time. Is that what you wanted? You enclave bastards. Are you happy? Are you happy at last? Is this what you wanted? Huh? Not gonna go down without a fight, though. Oh, yeah, this too? This too? We're doing this? Yeah, we're doing this? 
Baron's not able to move. Oh. Uh, why? Is it unable to move? It's fully repaired, it's fueled. Um what 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 why can we not move? What do we not have like the driver's license right now or what's happening? Why are I unable to move? <laughs> Why's the car unable to move? It's fully repaired. It has all the fuel. <laughs> Guys, there's a driver. Poor Brenner has driver. Why? <laughs> Why is it unable to move though? What the fuck? Yeah, it got gas. Again, that's what I'm saying. It got gas is full health. Like, it, it's perfectly fine. Game's like, no. No, no, you, you, you won't be doing that. No. No. Okay, at least we're going to the dirt bike, yeah? I'm gonna run this man over with a fucking dirt bike. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> I'm gonna get you! Don't you! <laughs> the dirt bike meta is real! <laughs> Oh, it blew up. He is 16. You sure is 16? The other guy was 16. Darklight was. This man's 38. <gasps> Burn him! Bat cook him! They, they, they want our intel. They, 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 they want what we had. They shall not be getting it. No. No, no, my watch. This whole world will burn. That's right. Oh. That's right. This is Marinho's world now. I equipped a filtration helmet forcefully. Thanks for the equipment, loser. <laughs> You thought it'd be that easy, huh? Yeah, everything's burning down, that's right. As it should be. Burn! Fire! Brimstone! Have it be all succumbed to the flame. That's after all what they were worshipping, right? Yes. Burn it! Burn it all! <laughs> Go to the storage room, burn it too. And now, as I said earlier, this world will burn. Why can I not set anything on fire specifically in here? That'll do, right? Maybe? Uh, wh wh why can I not just target the ground and be like, yeah, yeah, that that'll do. That'll do. Fire. Fire brimstone. Death. You really suck at the whole flame for a thing, though. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that's a bit of a fire. Ah, there we go, there we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Set the cells on fire, that, that's good, that's good. Hell yeah. Alright. See, turns out, Mourinho was actually the main character the entire time, you see? And he was sent as an agent to, um, you know, to, to, to disrupt this gang. And then, fuck off with his little bike. That's right. It was the plan all along. Damn right it was. Uh, d d d y yes, this thing with with uh, the boy. Cool. Uh, I accept. I, I changed the route. You see, his he's gonna now be going to the kingdom back there. It's gonna take a bit of time, but he'll be just fine. You see, I'm right. You, you good? You, you good? I, I think I need to um, un, un, unload him uh, first. He's, he seemed a little stuck, what can I say, you know? There we go, at you, okay. Change route. Yeah, you go You go down there, okay? You go down there. Cool. Yeah, she was actually an agent all... Fuck. <laughs> uh, he was bleeding. Well... Uh, 
You know what? Again, look, the game's basically over, okay? How about I, I just want I just want I just want to see where he can go from there, you know? C come on. Stop, stop being a wuss. Screw, screw that loss of blood. All right? You 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 have two big miniguns, okay? No, 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 no. We we're, we're going to do this, man. We're going to do this now. Okay? We're gonna we're gonna be doing this. I just want I just wanted to do for the shits and giggles, okay? You can't you can't just die like that, man. Uh, yes, there, there. That's what I mean. With the dirt bike. Confirm. Cool, cool. Uh, okay, nice. Stabil. I, I just wanna see where it leads him, you know. I think I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> pretty much, yeah, pretty much. Can you load up quickly, yeah? You, you, you can't keep knocking out like get getting knocked out you, you have a whole filter mask don't can a tonic no <laughs> no you will not stop taking the net <laughs> okay listen kid it's clear that you have difficulties understanding what I'm trying to tell you you go dirt bike on top of dirt bike because you ride dirt bike in this place. You do that. You do that right now as well. Also, there's a fairless clutch mother. Want to join? Sure, Nestor, you can join. Have fun with the fairless clutch mother, Nestor. Anyways. Anyways, moving on. Oof, Nestor seems to have a pretty bad day there. I want to see Nestor die. He's about to get fucking eaten by a feralist clutch mother. Yep, <laughs> there comes his year and leg. You got eaten by a massive fuck of spider. And that's why Mourinho. You know, that's why he ran off, you see. That's why he did that. And poor man's having a really terrible death right now. He's getting eaten by a spider. And he's still alive. Like, he's still alive. How is the man still alive? Jesus. That's pretty brutal. Anyways, dirt bike guy. On the road again. <laughs> road again. Oh, he got, he got a bit of a speed boost back there. Uh, yeah, we're going to the Arius Castle. You see, we're going to be one of those pawns that actually joins them. You know, we're going to start a new life back there. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna abandon this place. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fully abandon it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 fun. It's fun. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Mareño is the only guy who matters right now. You see, uh, yeah, go 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 in and tr tr trade. Uh, jo join faction. <laughs> what if we go in and fucking kill them all? It's the only way I can actually settle there now, isn't it? Guy on dirt bike. Shows up at castle, refuses to elaborate. So how many medieval people can I kill with a flamethrower before I die? Inevitably. You know, at this point we're trying to go after a high score, alright? They don't even know what a dirt bike is to begin with. Idiots! Ready to bad cook him. Cook him badly. Fire and brimstone! Take you all! Say what you will, man. Bad cook kind of fun still. As a flamethrower. All we just need to do is uh, be faster than the melee people, you know, which uh, currently we're kind of failing to do. Okay, we get stunned. Uh, we're, we're bleeding. We're still stunned. Um, it's not gonna end well, huh? Oh, they dismantled the bike. <laughs> Bad cook, no. Well, so what now? Now I'm gonna keep playing. So what now? <laughs> so what now, game? Huh. What a lovely run, huh? <laughs> Guys, what an absolutely lovely run, wasn't it?
Well, at least I got it out of my system, you know? The whole, um... You know, the whole uh, shenanigans with the vehicles and whatnot. It was, after all, like, the main thing we wanted to do, right? Like, it just, just kind of drive around, you know? This is the main thing we wanted to do. We did do it. It was funny. It was satisfying. And I'm sure we'll get some other, um... Psycho Death and War Desert Planet. Yep. That too, yeah. Absolutely. 100% miserable to live in. It's only extreme deserts, as far as the eye reaches, with absolutely brutal temperatures. For that, I mean, I, I still think we did pretty well. For the fact how difficult of a run this technically is. And Randy absolutely got sick of my BS at the end. And he was like, raid, 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 infestation, raid, uh, heat wave, electricity disabled during heat wave, raid, raid, raid. <laughs> you know, like, Randy, Randy just wanted to see me dead. All right, he just wanted to see me dead. Boom, stop. You know, he, he, he was sick and tired of me, you see. You wild animal attack. Dude, how many feralist clutch mothers did we actually get at the end? Three in total? Those are really tough enemies, by the way. Like, yeah, yeah, wild animals attacking too, and it's, he, he just wanted me dead. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Um, but yeah, hold on, I, I need to drink some water. I got a dry throat looking at this desert planet. Hmm. But yeah, guys, we're gonna do a new run now, yeah? I go to the main menu. So, uh, let me let me change um, stream description real quick, so uh, people are gonna they're, they're not gonna think like, yeah, burning the world, let's go, <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, dude. Um, so the next run is gonna be the druid run, actually. We're um we're gonna be basically we're gonna be the polar opposite of what you just saw. You know, we're gonna do a hard 180, okay? We're gonna do a hard 180. Um, new droid run. Frozen Wastelands? Yeah, yeah, Frozen Wasteland. Yeah, we could, we could. We could do something like that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna say like what? Frozen Wasteland. You know, I think Frozen's better than Desert. Where we die? How, how, how do you kill this? <laughs> how do you kill this? Well, it, it wasn't me, it was Randy, actually. Look, uh, summary. A lot of raids happened. A lot of animals attacked. Uh, heat waves happened in the desert. And um, electricity stopped working because of a solar flare in the desert as well. So, um, all in all, it was not meant to happen. And there was a space war. And someone turned on a um, toxic fallout thing as well. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Toxic plan with normal people? No, no, we're gonna do the druid stuff. I'll do the druid run first. Uh, of, of course, we're gonna go with Randy Random again. Um, I'm gonna reload whenever I say. It's a little chiller that way. Yeah, screw it. We'll go 100%. Ah! Hold on. I may need to restart the game, maybe. I mean, like, what, what, what sort of what sort of druid run do we want? Let, let, let me go let me back to the screen. Well, what, what sort of druid run do we want? Like, do, do we want to keep on the whole uh, mods we have on right now? Do we want to change the mod list around some? Um, let's see, actually. I mean, Rims of Magic would kind of make sense, but also, it is absolutely not mandatory whatsoever. Like, I actually don't think we need Rims of Magic. It probably just helps. It helps some. Druids with guns? Yeah, man. <laughs> What'd you expect? We're gonna have full-on plasma rifles and whatnot. Um, let's see. I mean, this one would be good with Rooms of Magic or Psychast Expanded. Yeah, yeah, I would say so, too. Room of Magic. What, what's some... 
Is there any sort of terraforming you can do? The zombies with combat extend. We already did that. Yeah, we already did that one. Plant stuff on a wasteland we choose. Yeah, yeah. Like, um... Yeah, do we, do we, do, do, does anyone here know if um, Rules of Magic, like some high-end, I don't know, nature spells would, like, be able to, like, terraform the area a little? Like, if that's a thing? Terraform. Is, is there, like, a thing about that? Let me look around. Yeah, I'm looking around as well currently in the workshop. I mean, I, I, I guess I can show you this what I'm looking at right now. Browsing mods, browsing mods. I I looking for terraform, terraforming mods. Mo, mo, most popular, most mo, most popular, all time. Uh, terraform Rimworld. Uh, yeah, that's probably not gonna work. <laughs> it's probably not gonna work. Uh, custom map terraformed Mars. Yeah, I don't care about that. Add terraforming. A uh, new research terraforming the grass vanilla tech pemmican to unlock. Well, why pemmican? What specifically? Pe Lava? What specifically pemmican? Explain that one a little, please. Pemmican terraforming. Like we we go we go from making food to literally changing the planet. Huh? It's fertilizer. Terraforming and research terraforming require attack by mechanical free terrain transformations into soil. Makes sense. Rich soil. Fair. Shallow water. Okay, you're kind of losing me on that one. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I mean, that actually sounds not bad. I'm, I'm gonna get that one. But I, I, I want, like, something that allows me to, to like, Kind of change the biome, maybe a little, you know, something like that. Like I'd like to be able to to turn a terrible wasteland into something good, and change the biome of a world tile. You can use World Edit 2.0, right? <laughs> Water to raise the ground, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um. So what does it like? I mean, World Edit, World Edit. World at the 2.0. I can I can show the screen. It sounds like create your own world. Uh, have everything you dreamed of playing on an extreme desert or extremely cold planet, or maybe you want a, a system of islands. Yeah, I mean, I I guess, but like, I I don't think that would be like me literally, um, like. Uh, fucking, what's the word, like, me, me trying to change the land around me to, like, evolve in a way. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, Tristan, did you play Comedy Extent with Valve Zombies? More mechanoids, uh, the funnier it gets. Yeah, I did, I did. Yeah, um... Did you buy your game in early access, uh, and are you going to rebuy all the DLCs? I don't know if we have any art guys in here, and I don't think anyone should be rebuying all of that. Uh, I'm... Uh, a wasteland. Eh, I mean, I, I guess that's an option. I'm polluting a wasteland. I that would be maybe an option. I don't know if there's like, hmm. We're trying to do something druidic, right? Something, something druid-like. Like, what what I would like to do is go ahead, be 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 some tree huggers, and hug the trees so hard. That they grow everywhere else too, you know? Like, I wanna be planting trees in a place, you know? I'm polluting a wasteland and terraform into. Yeah, 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 we could do that. Like, yeah, I'm polluting. Yeah, you know what? I think that's simple enough. We, we don't need to go um, mumbo jumbo, make a harder one, you know? Yeah, in a wasteland, I'm polluted by finding nothing apart from unchanging a biome mid playthrough with gameplay options. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, we do that then, we do that then. Let me change the title again. <laughs> okay, that's a good idea. Okay, we got a druid run, we got a druid run now. Good stuff. Toxic. Wasteland. There we go. Change that. Uh, yeah. Cool, cool. There we go. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last brave who fucked up a planet. Now it's time to unfuck the planet. My own the same planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might be, right? Yeah, the lore, it thickens. I mean... And now is the question about a monster. You know? That's the question. We can't keep everything the same. If we want to be like, yeah, it's the same planet. It's the absolute same planet. Yeah, it's one-to-one -one the same one. So we'll have the same factions and all that shit. And, um... That, or we could just be like... Yeah, we can't we can be, like, adding... Um... Good old Rooms of magic to it. And make it a little more mystical. 22,715 points? No way! Hmm... But what do we say? What do we say? When I wanna keep the same mod list? Is the Fallout guys? This will be hard. Okay, we're gonna keep it the same then. Okay, good, good, good. So I don't need to change it. Um, we didn't have Mechanos and we said fuck you to the Shattered Hive. We kept the insects. Um, this is mostly fine. We had Savage Tribes. We, we removed Rough Kingdom. Screw those guys. A Cannibal Pirate Gang. I'm gonna have those. Um, it's just a pirate gang. Again, it was very hostile after all. And the rest is fine. Yeah. Uh, you should add magic or expand a sidecast. Sidecasts are fine, yeah. I mean, I can always add that mid playthrough. Rim, uh, Rimworld of magic druid types. Well, you want me to add it? Okay, let's make a poll, okay? Let's, let's keep it simple, okay? We'll, we'll add a poll and we'll, we'll decide that way before I go too far into this here. So, the ba basically, the question is, do we want Rooms of Magic? Yes or no? Um, that's basically what we're looking at. A pollution? 100%, by the way. <laughs> oh, 200% cave systems, thank you. Uh, you can also have, like, geomancers and stuff like that. I, I know I can have geomancers and stuff like that, but, like, what's a geomancer do except for, like, hurting people? <laughs> The World of Cruelty Squad, pretty much, yeah. Uh, you never played the mod, so you want it? Okay, okay. I mean, the poll's gonna happen soon, I'm sure. Then then you can make your vote. It'll be just fine. Mm -hmm. Can you... Can, wait, can... If, um, if you can make it rain, then I'd be more interested. Deponia! Yeah, dude. That, that's, a, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Um... I, I would imagine there's, like, spells that make it rain, right? Because that'd be pretty cool, in a way. Wait, no, you can- Yeah, yeah, no, you can, you can. You can make, like, a ritual circle, and those ones you can, like, ritual cast a cloud of rain. Yeah, 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 isn't that, like, a thing? Or, like, change weather that way. Or, you know, some elementals, but that's besides the point. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're gonna basically have fallout factions and then we'll just kind of be like i also do magic <laughs> fuck you <laughs> yeah yeah I, I, I think i think it was actually um it was like a ritual cast i believe that's what that's what i think it was macht und magie them <laughs> can raise walls of stones and call down meteors which can have materials in them okay that's kind of cool what it is, but I want to be a psycaster. Remind me of uh, Steria uh, at war. Yeah, great mob, by the way. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How's the poll going? Let me see. Boop. Well, it seems pretty. <laughs> uh, it seems pretty obvious where this is gonna go. Okay, guys. So. What needs to happen now is made me quitting to the OS because we need to restart the game. Alrighty. Uh, let's put on some some music. Let's see what we got, yeah? Boo, 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 boo. It was like a really good uh, waiting room music. Um, fuck, what was it called again? Um, uh, 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 uh. I I don't know what it was called actually. I have forgotten. Um, hmm. 
Modern magic music for the entire playthrough. You know what, sure. <laughs> I'm free, Ost. <laughs> Best switching chat for magic enjoyers. There you go, enjoy the full OST. Oh. Can't believe that I'm about to play as Ramparts again. Holy fuck, dude. That was basically the whole playthrough the last time when I was playing Heroes of Might and Magic. I was only Ramparts. I didn't even get to the Necromancer part. It just kind of fell off. I hate magic. I've seen uh, ponies uh, before the mod since my daughter is more of a Naruto. Uh, but a mod is fun. Hmm, hmm. Okay, uh, we're gonna add the Adaptus Mechanicus. <laughs> uh, Apothecary continued. You know what? That sounds about right. Why not? Let's add some fucking Apothecary stuff. Yeah, we might as well, right? We might as well. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> Bosmer, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we wanted Bosmer, we wanted Bosmer, I'm just kidding. Um, let's see. Just the giddy up stuff. Which, well, we had vehicles the last time, I guess we're just gonna be very giddy right now. The Selvans. I mean, yeah, but. But like, I mean, that's the, the, the faction was called Ramparts, though. Like, that's that's what we're called. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's her name, man. It's her name. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, let's see. So that's fine. That's fine. Insects have chitin. They they should have had it a while ago. Oh wait, that's the moment specific one. Okay, that's good. That's good. Huntress's melee that should never have left. We're gonna keep the cities, right? Again, like a post-apocalyptic... Um, druid thing. Uh, like, what sort of fucking setting are we going into right now, anyways? Like, like it's it's, it's kind of... You know, we, 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 we kind of like... Oh, yes, you know, like, it's, it's kind of futuristic, post-apocalyptic, but there's also magic. And, and like... You know, like, like we, we were druids, you know, trying to make the place better. Thumbs up. <laughs> that's, that, that's, uh, that's a crazy thing. More than 40k. Oh, no, I'm not actually adding those things. No, no, dude, like, fuck no. Um, no, it's just, like, basically the same we've seen earlier, but, like, again, just making it magic. Making it a little magic. Oh, man, those outdoor lights look actually pretty nice. Why did I not have those? Because they're outdated, that's why. Okay. Uh, we can also add the, um, guys, now, think about it, okay? Um, what if we are druids, but we also use the P1000 Landkreuzer, being a tank with two pipes on the top, and a bunch of machine guns as well. <laughs> what if the druids just decided to stop fucking around and go with a two-story tall tank and just, like, forcibly... Convert a planet, you know? <laughs> um, let's see. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, our run mode of magic. That's the big one we're meant to be adding. Okay, so. I'm gonna show you what's, what's up, okay? This is what's up right now. Okay, this is the mods we got, okay? Um... Keeping keeping the um, Kenshi and stuff music in right now. We can just pause it and keep listening to Heroes of Might and Magic, you know, it's fine. Uh, I, I still have the vehicles in there. I still have vehicles in there and run and gun. We, we still have stuff like Rim Cities. Now, we can keep that in. Fits the post-apocalyptic theme. I added Medieval Drug Lab. Why not, you know? So many outdated mods in the other bar. Oh, we don't use them, it's fine. I don't unsubscribe to them, that's probably why. Um, yeah, we got a giddy up stuff. Uh, by the way, all of the Fallout things were outdated the entire time. But you know what? They still work just fine. So, it may work, it may not work. They they just they just kind of work out, you see? Hey guys, look, it's you. <laughs> it's a Twitch chat. But, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's absolutely outdated. We still have, like, choppers and whatnot as well, you know? But, uh, yeah, f I mean, that's just basically what we had earlier, right? So, um, if we're cool with, like, combat vehicles and, you know, these things, which sadly we didn't get to see this bad boy, you know? 
There's catchy animals, yes, there's catchy animals. True that. You, well, you want me to add catchy animals? You want to see big things with the druids? <laughs> do we go that route? <laughs> we can. I mean, I suppose we can do that, you know? We can, we can do some more of uh, the catchy animalism. Add hivers in the sack. Yeah, we're just a bunch of hiver um, druids. That, that's actually the secret. Kenshi. <laughs> Kenshi needs some druids in his lore. It, it, it does, it does. Now, are we actually going to be adding hivers? Are we, are we actually going to be adding hivers? We, we, can't, we can't add hivers. 500 hivers from the room. Oh, no. <laughs> no, please. Though, actually, we could try and do that 100 hyper thing in room rooms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we already have hypers in Kenshi. Okay, okay. Well, I'm just gonna get the Kenshi animals. Maybe some of the apparel, because why not? You know? Now you would die. <laughs> Everyone has one in everything. Okay, well. Yeah, the thing is, the way room will were calculated, it's like, oh, you have 100 economists? All right, then. Let's get it on, shall we? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I would die to the first raid as everyone attacks with bazookas. You know? So it was dead. Uh, so, let's see. Kenshi. Well, it seems like everything is outdated except for the Kenshi animals. So, it was dead. I'll put the uh, Kenshi armory stuff all the way to the bottom. With the Fallout things. Because why not? If it works, it's fine. If it doesn't work, then it's whatever. We won't lose any sleep over it. And now we wait. Now the grand wait commences. <laughs> now we'll just have to wait out the timer of the game loading. Also, swamp music going pretty hard, by the way. I'm just saying. You can thank me later. <laughs> yeah, no craps yet, though. Yeah, no craps yet. Soon, though. Soon. Yeah, I I mean, by the way, after the um Kenshi run we're doing right now, I wanted to do like a solo run with only one guy, like a zero to hero type of deal again, like we did in Morrowind. Except for once again, I'll be putting a bit of a twist on that whole thing. Uh, we'll see how that's gonna go then, shall we? <laughs> the good thing is we won't have to bother about base or anything. It's gonna be like a little nomad guy. It's gonna get eaten by beavers, yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Like, imagine, again, you're playing as Hivers in this game, and you get attacked by, like, four beavers, and they, like, amputate multiple limbs of yours. Because you're a Hiver, you know, so inherently pathetic. <laughs> so, just then. Oh, well. Yeah, guys, that's how that's 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 what I have to sit through when I when I start streaming uh, when I'm about to play Rimworld, you know. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I lost the leg because of a rat bite. <laughs> Death by bobber. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Gonna be wild. Okay, so um, ideology-wise and character-wise, we're gonna be adding a few things. This is me, but it's 40 minutes to 60 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if Rumble's on an SSD actually on my end. It might actually be on HDD. On my end. It actually might be. On HDD, yeah. Could be. I think it is, actually. It's not even SSD speed I have here. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of lacking behind. <laughs> you know what I put on the SSD? I put Total War Warhammer on the SSD. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that needs SSDs, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Warhammer. I put on for sure on the SSD. Uh, just, just Conan. Conan Exiles used to be on the SSD as well. When when I was uh, doing the big modded things in Conan. Because, well, Conan modded can take quite a while to load. So, yeah, there's that. But Conan also has really big graphics packs and whatnot. Like, it's, it's like all of the assets and whatnot. Kona the mighty pig. The one. Uh, we, we, we proceed to uh, to ignore this. And we we proceed to um, give the music the middle finger as we're listening to Heroes of Might and Magic. 
Uh, new colony. Lost tribe. Next. Boy. Bloody dust. Committing. Wait. I'm not commit. I have commitment issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that whole thing, like... First, they took your family and riches. Then, they took your health and pride. Finally, they left you to die. What will you do, Exxon? And then it's like, Conan swinging, like, ah, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty great. Pretty great. Um, again, removing those guys, removing piggies. A gentle tribe, that's for losers. Uh, yeah, I, I, I want evil tribe. Pirate gangs, cannibal pirate gangs, the um, cannibals. <laughs> yeah, that looks about right now. Yeah, yeah. It was so loud too. It was, yeah, it was. Nudist tribe. You you want a nudist tribe as well? Yeah, there you go. Get some naked people. All right, guys. So don't forget our mission: cure the pollution. That's right. Cod. Oh my god. I mean, um, we're gonna go with, um, wait. First, they took <laughs> Um, do, do, do we go with more? Family and, uh, okay, and bitches. There we go. Generate. They took your trees. Oh, we could go with trees, too. Do I did kind of fail with some other settings, but I think it's fine. Yeah, I think it's whatever. Uh, if it's not a complete desert world. No, maybe. <laughs> oh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we'll go back real quick. I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's have the world generate so we can back up from the generating and go back in again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense, does it? Makes sense. Wait, actually, do we have... Do we have ideology on... Like, uh, sorry, royalty on the last one? Like, the Shattered Empire? I actually don't remember. It was mainly the Enclave and the Brotherhood of Steel that were, like, doing pro like making problems for me. Also... Actually, no, I'm not gonna tap out while the game's loading. The, the, tapping out while Rumble's loading is like, Yes, I want my game to crash, thank you. <laughs> yes, please. Thanks for thinking about that. Yeah, let's give it a moment, give it a moment. You know, g give it a little da thing. I... Uh, all tap, I dare you. No. I don't think I will. <laughs> I, I, I I don't think I will be doing that. You know what? This, this plant doesn't look that polluted, actually, you know? I mean, it looks perfectly fine. Where's the pollution, man? Oh, it's there. <laughs> oh, it's there, all right. Never mind. Yeah, like, like, from, look, from afar, it doesn't look that bad. It's only when you zoom in, when, you know, it takes a bit of a grimmer shape. Uh, but yeah, uh, what I want to do is have rainfall below, okay, vein ocean, yeah. Um, population, a little low, a little low. Um, going to store in a polluted city? No, I don't think I will. I won't start in a polluted city, probably. And if we do start in a polluted city, we're gonna probably leave pretty quickly. But, mm, I don't know. Should I? Uh, we're gonna make it... I mean, again, we're gonna... If we go for the same vibe... Maybe... Dude, okay, here's, here's the thing, here's the thing. Nuclear winter happened, and now it's all cold. Instead of... Super warm, okay? We'll do a little 180 on this thing, okay? Well, for the seconds, Mountain Dew Pop G ad? Yeah, yeah. Not that one. Do we go colder? Do we go super cold? Hmm. Hmm. Eh, hmm. What do we think? What do we think? We can, we can also just have it be normal. <laughs> you know, because the main, the main challenge is, after all, getting rid of pollution and planting trees. And... Turning things into um, fertile ground, basically. That's just like our thing. For cold or normal? I, I think we could do normal again. I mean, the, the, the main challenge is already there, right? Cold run another time. We could, we could. Yeah, let's do normal. Let's just go normal. 
No need to overdo it with the temperatures, right? We already set rainfall to nothing because we're gonna be... We are going to be the ones to create rainfall. So, there's that. It's gonna be absolutely, completely rare. Technically, we had a cold run already when we were, like, doing Eldritch Cultists. But, um... Yeah, well, those, li those runs weren't long-lived. They died pretty quickly. Oh, it will absolutely generate... Like, it will absolutely affect the generation. Yeah, it will be all dry. It all will be dry, alright? But, um... It still should be fine. Like, again, we're, we're gonna be druids. We are the ones to bring the rainfall. And we're the ones to make the land more fertile. And we're gonna be the ones to actually create soil. With the pemmican we now have. <laughs> Plus magic. Um... The, like other magic options that we'll have. You fertilize the land? Yes, I'm a druid. What do you think druids do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I am the reverse apocalypse. The last time I was the apocalypse, now I'll be the reverse apocalypse. Well, never mind, it's all extreme desert again, but cold. A little. Uh, that's fine, actually. That's fine. Like, if you look at the temperature, this is survivable. If we feel a little fancy, we can just go to tar pits. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 like, that's absolutely what I expected as well, though. This bomb's arid, but rich in animals and uh, vegetal life. Wood is not a problem, and neither are forgeable plants. Stone is scarce due to the pits being always a flat terrain. I don't think we'll go into tar pits themselves. We won't live in a tar pit, but maybe we'll live close to a tar pit. And we, we have poles, by the way. We actually have ice sheets and tundras. Unlike the last time we was all a desert due to the heat. And tar pits are actually a natural formation now. I like how, you know, you have, like, pollution. And then you have serious pollution. <laughs> um, like, pollution 96%, pollution 25%, pollution 42%. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I want to be in a highly polluted area, probably. Like an area with some high pollution, maybe. Sunbird Brexios? No. Don't know, don't know. Probably not. Toxo Basin! Ah, uh, yes. Who doesn't love the Toxo Basin? What about this place? Um, we even start out with shallow water. And some soil in here. We have a little oasis. Yellow biome? That's lava. Um, lava has rock and no soil, so... Um, yeah, I, f I think this... This would... This would be pretty fine. For an for a oasis druid run, yeah. I mean, I, I don't see anything wrong with it, right? Like, um... Lovely place for a honeymoon. <laughs> it's a Toxo Basin. Yo, darling, would you like to go to the Toxo Basin? Ah, yes, I also love brick. <laughs> Map, which is just a chunk of rock. Yeah, that's the surroundings of it. Yeah. I mean, we can be like, no oasis, or we're, we're like, yes, we start with an oasis. Yeah, red soil in the middle, some soil on the outside. It's just 95% polluted, I don't know. Uh, it causes toxic buildup, which can lead to death. Most crops cannot live in polluted terrain, which, you know, makes sense, you know. Absolutely does. Next. The sun is polluted. <laughs> uh, roughly every 21 days, acidic smog slows plant growth. Yeah, I'm sure it slows it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, create custom. Create custom. Um, now... As a good base for druids, I think... I mean, hedonist would make sense, right? We're just... <laughs> a little hedonist, but what What are the fucking Aztec druids, though? It, it, it's just like, think about it, right? Like, like, or, I mean, animist would be the obvious choice, I suppose, right? Um, animist would be the obvious choice. Okay, we go, we go animist. No, no Aztec druids for us, I guess. <laughs> Oh, I guess. Well, nature primacy. Man is a strain on nature's perfection. Plant specialists and animals. I mean, I guess that checks out. Vegan gains, maybe? Maybe we go vegan? 
better eaten are the fruits of hard labor and ever giving soil. Tree connection. Trees are the essence of life and we must be near them. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, Grinolin Supremacy. I'd like that one. Because I'd, li I'd like to actually do stuff with the dryads. You know, druids and dryads, they kind of go along. And maybe vegan. And this is going to be hard, man. This is going to be really hard. Yeah. To force them to stop eating animals. Yeah. Biological reconstruction? Um, life is precious. A gift of old earth, which I'll try to replicate as much of it as possible. Populate the worlds of the realm with a myriad of life forms. Ability analyze creature. Animal, animal analysis. Animal release. So what do we do? Cannibals? No. <laughs> what would we be cannibals again? <laughs> so, so what is this exactly? I analyze creatures. And I release animals. What? Excuse me? I'm not sure what they mean with that one. Cloning animals? It kind of sounds like it and would make sense looking at it. Eh. I think I'm good. I think I'm good on that. Healthy animals and release them to the environment to repopulate? Hmm. Possible and uses to populate the worlds of the room with a myriad of life forms. It does sound like it, so... It sounds more like geneticism, though. You know? Like, more geneticism than... You know, magic uh, man make tree grow, you know? So, yeah, plant specialist, animalist, little vegan. We like trees and all. We like granulating and trees as well. It's so dirty, though. Ah, it's fine. I, I go without it. I'll go without it. Zootin path. Yes, of course, of course. The Zootin path. What's for sentence? We already went over it the last time with the magic stuff. It's, um, from a day now, it's fine. It basically, you venerate magic. Yeah, yeah, then, yeah, like, it's, the, it, this is gonna be rough, okay? This is gonna be rough. Also, oh, some drums. Um, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Maybe some Neolithic influence here. Maybe, maybe something, uh, Rustica. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe with a little, maybe, maybe a little bit of Eldritch influence with the Druid cult, you know, just, just a little. Druid, I guess, an option. Wait, is it actually? Oh. Oh. Wait. Is it like a ideology itself thing? Or is it just like a style? Was he druidic? In here? Agnostic, animism, which is fine, neolithic, yeah. Oh, druidic origins! Well, I mean, makes more sense, right? Uh, Genesis Festival will re randomize any precepts you have edited. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, shit, let's go with druidic then! And then, then we can go with, still adding Neolithic though, um, that's the, uh, Totemic, yeah, Totemic's fine. Hellenatic, <laughs> yeah, maybe some Metzig after all, actually, you know? How's that sound? It's cheap, it's a bit of a fruit. I guess. Um, yes, yeah, so, cool, that's nice, that's nice. So, uh, I wanna be the Putin path. Um, let's, um, let's, what, what do we, what do we call us? Oh, wait, I know. The green pacts. There we go. Uh, it caps on. <laughs> the green pacts. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's straight up from Morrow and then Elder Scrolls in general. We go green, of course, you know. Um, uh, adjective. Greening it. <laughs> Member noun, druid, green skull, <laughs> the green skull, um, ritual room, we'll go with, hmm, ritual room, Mr. Royal Pact Union, we'll stay with the green pact, 
Let's go for the green paint, guys. Um, look, it's a little flower. Or hemorrhoids. Depends on, like, the color. Now it's hemorrhoids. Now it's a flower. So, you know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we, we, can, we can be a flower, you know. Biotopia. The growth. Yeah, the growth sounds good, yeah. The growth. Um, we could also be green-brained. I don't know. Have a bit of a lotus, maybe. No, that would also work. I don't know what that symbol means. Uh, we could, you know, us bombarding the planet with positive and environmentally friendly bombs to get rid of the fallout that's happening right now, you see. Alternatively, we can have a nature beam coming down and then glitter happens. That's right. Um, yeah, I mean... Looking around from all the options, you know, if we don't want to go too abstract, we just go a little flowy there, you know, a little lotus, you know, the green packed. Now we're gonna randomize this a, fun, a bunch of times, you know. And uh, we're also gonna we're gonna add it some DTs, okay? Choose a deeper green as a color. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> See. What about if we go teal, you know, dark, dark green teal, you know, that, that's a very peculiar flower there, I don't know. I like that one. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna add it our gods, you know. So, I, I, I want, I want a god name from you guys, okay, I want, I want, I want, I want to know. Who, who do you worship, okay, which god do we want, okay. Oberon, okay. Oberon. Uh, we got we got Oren the guy. Um, do we just go with King of the Fey Realm or um, dude, <laughs> the Warframe? There we go. We got Oberon. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay, we go we go with Gaia. We go with Gaia. <laughs> Gaia. Mm-hmm. Um. Got. Uh, goddess of nature. Okay. Danu. Almost removed. Okay, okay, okay. D Dabu. Dab Dabu. Th that's the guys who made... Th th that's the guys who made the music for the War Fortress. Okay, that's Dabu. But we're talking about Danu. So that's different, you know? <laughs> okay. Mathur. Goddess. So, goddess... Of the uh, to 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 of uh, the uh, the the nuns. All right, yeah, she she's there too. She's there too. The Irish mythological figures. Okay, okay, I see. That's quite a title. All right. Do we want any more DTs? We we can. We can we can get one more god. We can get we have, we have room for one more god in here, okay? So with Oberon the Warframe, <laughs> guy the goddess of nature, down with the modern goddess of the Twafade uh, the Nun or Twafade the Nun. If you wanna be a little more uh, Scottish, almost hold on, that's not right. <laughs> As a lot of strong impact memes, it sure is. It sure is. Yeah, yeah. I guess you can. Estimate the theme where we're going, you know. Goddess of nature. We asked you, huh? Did I misspell one? Oh shit, I did. There we go. <laughs> the goddess of nature. Good old Gaia. Uh, Bridget, you know, from Overwatch. We have her as well. Snake moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The goddess of nature. <laughs> um, we can also, um... I got one, okay, guys, I got one. There we go. There we go. There we go, that's good. That's good. That's good. 
We got someone. Okay, let's randomize the story a little and then have a read through it, yeah? Oberon rooted the trees firmly in the ground, yet made them grow steadily towards heaven. It was Oberon's first lesson on how to, uh, to know him. Growing and dry as a sacred being, children of Oberon. It seems like you're hyper-focused on Oberon. I really like Oberon. It's all about him. All about him, actually. It's probably because it's the first one. We just ignore the other gods, apparently, you know? Man. The randomization kinda, kinda, um, deities to the other ones, huh? I mean, Gaia male? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Gaia. <laughs> Didn't mean to. Yeah, I definitely want to focus on the first god. That's lame. <laughs> wait, wait. When the original Arborus first came to the grassy dino world Zoteria, they created a sacred grove uh, of pop uh, of poplar where they could worship the Warframe Oberon, <laughs> the greedy tusking, with a factory that spewed toxins into the environment, posing the planet the animals, the prophet, the Gidula Canapé Pesa, uh, had a mystical connection with the trees and the dryads. She was considered to be the best druid among her tribe. Pesa came to the hilltop fort, druids at her right, and fierce animals at her left. Together they fought and won against the tusking and tusk warriors. <laughs> You know, fuck it, let's go. Yeah, we worship a Warframe, yeah. With uh, the power from the title, they already adds automatically. So what? We just emphasize it even further, okay? Screw it, man. Yeah, that's a random narrative, alright? Yeah, that's the random narrative for your kids. Combat prowess reduced. That's fine. Extreme temperatures don't bother us. That's fine too. Rough living welcome. That makes sense. King D D D D. <laughs> Leather apparel? Abhorrent? I just dislike it. Well, we're not the biggest fans of it. Farming yield high. Dryads enhanced. Rough living welcome. Trees desired. Murder not so poggy. Uh, slaughtering animals disapproved. It's prohibited. Execution? No, we don't care about that. You see, it's mainly the animals. Executing is a different thing. Uh, female clothing? Uh, see, um, can go fully nude, but, like, uh, there's no rules. You know, we're pretty lax with it. We're pretty lax. Organ harvest? Nah, it's fine. Cannibalism? Yeah, we don't do that. It's, it's, it's not good. Uh, maybe we move more that way, you know? Uh, personal and stuff, vegan? You think so? Well, you want to be a furry druid? Um, research normal. Trees uh, desired in a toxic wasteland will be problematic with the sheer number of uh, which would trees needed to be chopped. I know, I know. That's again. That's that's the that's the core. That's the core of what we're doing. You see, it makes more sense. Yeah. Oh, so I mean. Being vegan is fun, I guess. I mean, yeah, we, we, we personal. Let me read it, right? Let me read it first. Where is it? Animal personal. That's such one of those, yeah. Have rights as humans do. Uh, connection strong. Same thing, prohibited. Meat eating is pretty much vegan. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's pretty much vegan. Except for we get less farming. Like, less, less yield from farming. Of course, yeah, it's prohibited. Killing animals we don't like. Um, yeah, meat eating is not cool. Same as with this, kinda. Uh, it's, eh, basically the same, really. Nah, I'm fine. I'm good. So, yeah, ocular trees. We don't, we don't really want them. Blindness is not the best. Uh, we don't care about fungus, though. The rest of the fod? Well, we don't care. If, if we don't feel either way about it. You know? But us can't be trained to help. But we can still train them. One of both, double vegan. Well, because I'd need to get rid of one of the other ones. And again, like I'm, I'm fine the way it is right now. Uh, skull spikes, it's okay. No train paste, uh, different and different. Uh, research is fine. Slavery, I oh, you know, some druid slavery. You know how it is. Yeah, we don't care about death. 
It's just part of the natural cycle. Tender the power where yeah, we don't care either, you know. Tether, we don't care. We don't care. Violence is disapproved. We don't do violence too much. Only magic violence, really. <laughs> Vehicle repairs and stuff like that. Yeah, that's not really much of a thing that we need to worry about. So, yeah, that's just kind of what we have going on there. That's what we have going on right now. Like, I, I want to have, like, a focus on the trees, right? Because that's kind of our end game, so to speak. You know what? To counteract the whole debuff, what, what if what if we're just, like, really fucking happy, you know? <laughs> yeah, we're just really happy. Okay. Love is free. Yeah, yeah, lo lo love. Um, speaking of love, spouses, just, just fuck, man. Just, just do it, bro. Bro, just do it. It's cool, bro. It's fine, man. <laughs> uh, recreation. We, we 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 like recreation. Like we 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 like we like chilling. But I mean, it's it's whatever. Man, spouses too. It's, it's cool, bro. Yeah, it's fine, man. You know, rules of trees. Yeah. <laughs> Um, now, leader, also let me, um, let me go back to the OST because I didn't put it on loop. Loop. After we don't know how long we'll be in here. Okay, so, we remove this and you're gonna be the arch. Already makes sense. <laughs> what is this? Crop Noah? We the crop no ice. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Arch druid. There we go. Okay, moral guide. Tree speaker of Auburn. Druid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? Just, just druid. Yeah, just, just druid. And yeah, we have the arch druid, and we just have druid. Yeah, yeah we just have druid and a crop knower. <laughs> the crop knower. Fairy Whisperer, yeah, that sounds way better than just Druid. That, that's basically everyone else, yeah. Yeah, or, uh, Fae Whisperer. There we go. Looks better. Cosmos Giant Ideology name, Druid. <laughs> just, just Druid. Yeah, I'm a Druid. Just, just Druid. That's who I am. <laughs> um, sorry, Crop Nowhere. Um... You're gonna be, um, Gaius Moses and have a guy the ideology name. It really is. <laughs> um, let's see. So, guy to deal with plants. Oh, I know, I know. Guys, I have an idea. Druid. <laughs> druid, Druid. Uh, no, 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 wait. And, Druid. <laughs> no, it's, it's gonna be like, da, 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 Dry. Druid knower. The dr dr dryad guy, <laughs> druid, <laughs> the dry druid. Yeah, the the the, the druid, <laughs> the dry guy. Not to confuse with try guys. Um, the the dry druid, <laughs> planned maniac, tree speaker, tree speaker is good. Yeah. Dry speaker, speaker. <laughs> well, what about a dry speaker, though? Huh? <laughs> the, the dry, the, that's, it's, I mean that. Nah, we're, we're no knife here, okay? So I don't know if that works, Mike. The tree fecker. We, we can go with tree speaker, you know. Absolutely generic, but the tree, dude, yeah, tree hugger. Genius, genius idea. And we have drum parties. Um, we we have um, uh, sure if there's ever gonna be an anima tree that is. So we remove this. Okay, okay. Um, just a social festival, you know. So the vegan funeral is gonna go. Um, <laughs> so. The Earth. There we go. Um, the Sky Lantern Festival is gonna be this. Wait. 
Is, is this pollution? Are we polluting the planet just now? <laughs> do do we have do do we want this? I mean I mean I guess there's not and there's nothing bad with it. Like we can farm animals won't ruin. Oh yes, dude. Actually, the pot sprout would be pretty huge. The tree hugging festival. No, no, it's um, um, sprouts. Something with sprout. Skylanders are made of wood. Shit. Never mind. Then, <laughs> then we remove it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which are trees? Yeah, yeah. I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Wood tends to be from trees. Last I checked. So. The sprouting. There we go. Just do this then. Try to get odd. And a drum is. Call of Nature. And also about the pod. We like the pods. Now, symbol burning doesn't seem quite appropriate, though. Um, Skyberry Mumification. Christmas tree party. <laughs> Attend from virtual Skyland from Festival Blast of Furnace. No. No, not really. No. Prisoner sacrifice. After all COVID. Recharge mana. Eh. Eh. What if farm animals? Christmas drills. Yeah, 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 yeah. Farm animals or recruit? I'm thinking animals. Way of the world. That's right. Okay, it's good enough, I guess. It's not even a tree ritual, it's Christmas tree. I mean, what is Christmas tree ritual, specifically? Like, what's this, what does that imply? Part of the Christmas tree participants will gather around the Christmas tree and make merry. The ritual target will be destroyed. Um, it's very specifically just a Christmas tree. Wild hunt? Yeah, yeah, like, like, where's the Halloween ritual? Where's, like, the cool shit at, man? The wild hunt. I mean, I don't know if there's a good ritual to be, like, a wild hunt, I suppose. You know? Christmas tree in the party? Yeah, they do, they do. <laughs> I mean, I know what the uh, wild hunt would be. If you ask me, maybe a sacrifice, animal sacrifice would be heretical, I'd say. So it was dead. Um, we're gonna we're gonna have pews. It's the organic altar. <laughs> this is not the way we work. Um, the the druid circle because it's that it is what it is. Um, we don't want statues. Statues should be optional, I'd say. What the fuck is this? Oh, right. It's, it's tree statue. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, you could go on a raid, take captive, and sacrifice them, yeah. I mean, I'm sure we're gonna get raided plenty. Now we... Guys, I'm gonna remove, you know, the, the Brotherhood of Steel sniper gauze weapon thing there real quick, if you don't mind, okay? Because I don't know if it's an appropriate relic. Um... I had a tablet, I know, I, I had a little pendant, and and I also had a, um, what, when I look at it, what screams druid at me? Something that I, when I see it, I'm like, yeah, that thing right there, that's a druid. Um, plasma machine gun, it's green, it's nature. Yeah, probably a bow. Um, there should be some magic bows that aren't a laser minigun. Guys, I hope you realize that, yeah, the, the loom bow, why not? The from bow. Bio keepsake? Don't, don't be so lame with those names. Uh, ca call it like, um, uh, what do we call it? You can make such out of the stone? I'm very much aware, <laughs> don't worry. It's just I don't want to have statues in there because that would make them mandatory. Uh, we call it the, um, Rambo Rav. There's like scythes. I think they're more like into sickles. Isn't that like more a druid thing, like a sickle than a scythe? 
Um, what we call it? It's just teeth. Druid. <laughs> <laughs> um, what we call call it? Um, Gaia's bow. Extremely generic name. Because death wields one. Arbor heirloom. First of all, okay. I want it to be made out of um composite. <laughs> yeah, fuck. You make it out of gold, you know. Eh. The be the Oberon Roptics. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Some people will get it. Uh, Jade. Um. We call it the Emerald Tablet. All those out of Jade. Don't tell anyone, okay? Don't tell anyone the truth from the Emerald Tablet. It's, don't, don't tell anyone that the Tabula Smaragdina is actually made out of Jade, okay? They're gonna flip it, okay? They're gonna absolutely lose their shit. They're gonna be so upset when they realize that their life's been a lie. Um, yeah, let's remove the mime. African one, dog. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go with um. What was my venerated by default? I don't know. I don't know what it was actually. I really couldn't tell you. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Um, anything with anima, I think, makes sense. Like an anima colossus totally would be. I guess it's also it for the anima stuff. Um, tree. Um, man. Trap because it's planned. Um, anything else that might be a plant? Scented pine. It looks like a plane. Pain? Plant. Not not a plane. Beak things. <laughs> <laughs> but what if we venerate beak things? You know. Plant meat? Okay, so they would be plants. Good, good. Okay, so we have man traps, animal colossus, and that fucking beak thing, you know, in there. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we love beak things, dude. We fucking love those green goo. It's like a plant. <laughs> no, um, what was the other thing I just saw? It's also something. But yeah, we can, we can add plant boy. Babini? <laughs> the bone boar. Bone goat, bone dog. Bonobo. <laughs> yeah, you can you can tell that Kanshi really likes you know bone. I'm believing that the dog uh, the the K drag actually makes everything into like fertilizer and stuff, doesn't he? Large ring at a flightless lizard that inhabits plants in abundance of vegetation. Even though the drakes are carnivorous, they release a nauseous cocktails of volatile pheromones that quickly accelerates the rotting process of plants. Bring vegetation around them into mounds of fermented organic matter. Okay, it's not what I thought, but close enough. There's something about that. Hmm. Anything else is pretty cool. Ringu again, iguana. Oh yeah, the needle boys. I love me needle boys. The needle post and the needle roll. There we go. Bungle. The most beautiful of all animals. Damn right. Fung. A fungal husk, but I don't think there's something venerated. Um. Yeah. We can get a wild pod. That's technically a mushroom. And the agri pod, which is a cousin. Any other pods? No. Spores? <laughs> I think... What's the wind beast? Wind beast are a mechanoid infused variant of the thunder beast. Okay, so I don't care. <laughs> uh, I don't care then. Wild spawn? Wild pods. Oh, it's just a spawn. Of course, of course. Unshackled dryad. What's that? Uh, this particular dryad seems to be unshackled and will not leave the region if no growing trees are around. It seems to be bound to the colonists. Ah, so we like those two, you know? Cool. So there's quite a lot of animals, <laughs> you know? 
being a vendor that could lead to a really annoying scenario with a certain crash part event. Hate to see it then, huh? People are gonna absolutely lose their stuff then. Now, anything we want here, uh, we wanna have a lot of big tribal. Big tribal. That's really about it. H huge, huge tribal culture we got going on, you know? Tribal. And a little bit of, a little bit of cannibal stuff too. <laughs> cool, cool. Alright. Yeah, I mean, are we, are we happy? Are we happy with how it looks like? We got some stuff going on, you know, we got, we got some cool things. We got some uh, stuff that will absolutely kick my ass. And, uh, I'm gonna save it. We can always edit it. Now, we got people. People will have to change. They need to be people but different. Xenotypes. I don't know if I want a Xenotype. What Xenotypes would we get? Just out of curiosity. I mean, super immunity would make sense, I suppose, right? Like, we want to be super immune to this shit. But, eh. I don't know if we want to have any Xenotype shenanigans. No, no, not like a preset one. Like, like make one our own, if anything. But, I don't know if there's anything really good that I would really care about. I mean, yeah, sure, that would be like, yeah, you're pollution resistant, right? That would be the thing that would make sense, you know, if we're going to like a toxic wasteland, be toxic immune, right? That'd be, that'd be like, yeah, it would make sense, but like... Uh, partial anti-toxin. Carries off this gene are resistant to environmental toxins. Hmm, I know. I mean, we can just go in default, really. It's gonna make it rougher, of course, but still. Yeah, we'll just prepare carefully. Give it a moment. Okay. So, so, uh, obviously everyone's completely enamored by the Green Pact. Uh, you, I would like you to be a little older than 15 as well. At least be 20. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, at, at, at least be 20, I suppose. Uh, white Vigil. Uh, let's read my a few times. Uh, Red Lion. Yeah, sure, why not? Just call him Red Lion. But your favorite color would better be red. Like an aggressive red. That's his favorite color, after all. Calling himself after it. Um, let's see. Reclusive Child? Do I like it? Do I like it? What do we have? The Child of Recluse. Uh, didn't learn, uh, didn't learn to speak until he was nearly five years old. Even then, he preferred to keep to himself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's made a habit of wandering off to live in the wilderness for weeks at a time. This sounds about right, actually, yeah. Wandering disabled, carrying disabled, doctoring. Visit sick people disabled. Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, sounds about right. Tamer checks out. I take this and remove these two for the time being. Yeah, you can have a ten in there. That's fine. Remove shooting, you won't be doing that. Construction can stay, I suppose. Misogynist, asexual, quick sla uh, sleeper. How about you stop being misogynist real quick, buddy? And, uh, I mean, it's the obvious thing of being a druid. <laughs> you can be an empath. An enchanter, an enlightened, entertainer, faceless, fey blooded. And now. Uh, which is about arcane shenanigans as well, but he won't be dead. Um... Now, I, uh, <laughs> Lich? We want some very, um, nature-based, um, things. He can also be a monk, right, since he already has melee. He can be a bit of a monk type of deal, you know? Punch people good. He could do that. He could. Or a shaman. Which, I mean, I would love to see what it actually says, right? On the top for the uh, description. The problem is, the conflicting list is so huge that I don't even see the description until we actually are in the game. You know? <laughs> so, it's a little ironic. So we're just gonna have to assume like, oh, yeah, shaman, yes, yeah, that, yeah, this is that. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, we can go monk. You know, a little monk, na nature monk, 
or a little um, what spirit is that another class really conflict with woodmen we can also have him be the woodman or the woodsman which is basically hunter yeah the woodsman basically a hunter yeah aiming time butchery speed yeah he's basically a hunter wanderer is if you are kind of magical but you don't know what to do with it it could also just be a wanderer, I suppose. You know what? Yeah, just make him a wanderer. You know, he, he knows magic, but it's nothing crazy. You know, he, he has a little bit of it. Just slightly bit nervous, too. Because why not? The hair is fine, the beard's fine. We're just gonna change the, 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 the skull mask and whatnot. Uh, what can we give you? An armored hood. The array hat said, ah, yes, the Ashlander Storm Goggles. Look at this boy. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like it. What if we make it red? It's only the goggles themselves that change. That's a bit of a shame, though. I kind of like it. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. A bunch of caps. Well, the Crab Raider helmet. Crown, crab helmet, normal cowboy hat, Dr. Eggman with a beard, which, you know, the takeaway from there is uh, we need Dr. Eggman with more of a beard. Jester hat, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Ladies hat, these things, fucking rags, Holy Nation things, the plate hat. This thing, some freighter things, you know, if we ever feel like doing that. Being a bit of a wacky uh, druid. Or just sack hood. A little, little sack on the head. Yeah, we're just gonna give him a normal shade cone. You know what? We're just gonna be. We're gonna be that way. Yeah, give him a shade cone on top. That's right. Uh, top, middle, bottom tribal war, maybe? Do you have, like, a robe? I think a robe would be more appropriate, maybe. Like, we're not absolutely on Gabungas, you know? Um, Altex shirt? <laughs> Unclave uniform, no. Yeah, I, I don't know if there's, like, a robe robe here. I mean, I, I guess it can stay tribal wear, maybe? Like, like make, make it tribal wear, maybe red? There we go. <laughs> Looking good, my man. I think of anything, it would be somewhere in here, maybe. Crew metal armor, vest, a G. I can go with a G. Herbalist robe. Herbalist robe would be. Yeah, I think I think that's yeah. I, I think that's our thing there, the herbalist robe. Okay, red line, you're gonna be nice and red. There we go. Cool. You you know how to deal with animals. Good job, buddy. So, next one. Orange Lurcha. <laughs> no. Purple Emu. Um, let's go. No. Um, give, me, give, me, give me a nice name. Black Penguin. Um, Red Woodpecker. Olba Lara. Uh, Scroll Aronio. Black Woodpecker. <laughs> I mean, Magpie. Worm. <laughs> Coyote. Purple. And the random names are pretty lame, you know? It'd just be Wasp, I suppose. Maybe not. Spider. Hmm. Hmm. Mountain Duet Jump Scare. You know what? That's the name. Mountain... <laughs> mountainous mountainous dew <laughs> the mountainous dew yes dewy I can't I can't well, what I mean no 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 I want you to be dewy <laughs> there we go good old dewy so dewy uh, let's start by removing that hat of yours, okay? 
See how you actually look like under that. Yeah, get 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 an assault mask right there. Something for Dewey, for the mountainous dude. <laughs> ah, wizard hat. Maybe, maybe. Maybe just a little visage mask. Actually, yeah, I, I can go with that. Make make it green so I can make this green too. Like a little sickly green, maybe. Yeah. Cool, cool. So, base launder, childhood, bully. Now, you were... Uh, Apocalypse Child. Yes. Apocalypse Survivor. Hmm. Yeah, you were born in the apocalypse of this planet, you see? Hey, Oli, how you doing? Welcome to the new run we're making. And then... Do we have, like, specifically Druid? <laughs> I doubt it, but I'm still gonna look. Deserter, no. No, we don't. Crop farmer. That's right. You're the crop farmer. That's you, Dewey. You Mr. Hyver guy getting made yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I made one uh, for you. Trigger happy pessimist? I don't like those. I'm gonna remove those real quick. But yeah, it can be plant person. And the rest is okay, I guess. That's yeah, fine. Um, traits. Traits. Just a vod. True, true. Uh, we're gonna make you druid. Just basic bitch druid. And you you will be... You know what? Let's also make you fake blooded There you go. Fake blooded druid. Who, who is also enlightened. <laughs> That's right. Yes, you 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 are you are absolutely druid pilled. And for some reason I want your hair to be just white. Because why not? You're not even old, you just have white hair. Cool. Um I think it was the middle layer for the apothecary thing, which is rope itself. Uh, the herbalist thing it was, right? Herbalist rope. It kinda looks looks neat, I guess. So that's why I'm getting it. Yes, sir, why not? That's that. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, and I assume you can see too as well. Yeah. If it's a tribal star that, um... VFE Ancient adds, by the way? Nope, because I don't know what it is. First thing first. This guy's a little unhinged, you see. I give him bone armor. Green bone armor. And now... And 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 the and the hat, green skull. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know who that man is, but he is green. The same thing, but it's a, a cargo cult. Cargo cult, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna change your name to Gray. No, no. You gotta you gotta be Gaga Kuro. Okay, sure. He started as a killer in the childhood and then became a healer. Quite a career change, buddy. Quite a career change. You're a psychopath. Let's move to greedy. You can keep bloodlust, I suppose. You gotta make a run around that at some point. Vault slingshot laying out in the open. Right? Hmm. Well, don't, don't even know what it is, so... So, uh, there's that. I have absolutely no idea about it, so most of it is just simply lost on me. Um, yo, we make him an empath. He's a bloodlusty psychopath empath. And, um, he used to be a killer, and then he learned he was actually empathic, and then now became a healer. Yeah, that's... That, that's his career change right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fine. You just remove some of those. Cool. Next one. Uh, I, li I, li I like the uh, helmet you have going on. It's pretty neat. Um, tribal war, we can maybe... Well, we can keep it, I suppose. Uh, fuck. No. Go to the other one. Middle. I want to give you robe. I give you a little green robe. And, and say the hat... Yeah, yeah, a little, little deer skull. Hair? 
Let's also make it be white. Ancient druid. Slightly green hair, you know. Comes with age. The, the older a druid gets, the greener the hair. Now, obviously, you can't be 16. However, we, got, we gotta make you very old. You see? Uh, maybe not that old. Um, 72. Yes, yeah, 72 is a good age. You're probably gonna die anyways of an unnatural death. But, you know, to each their own. Ancient spirit. Uh, Remember this purpose. Ancient spirits pursue their own ends and have become masters at controlling spirit energy. Makes them spirit. Well, that's very odd. Um, bookworm, boy soldier, cat herder. <laughs> Gonna have those. Delinquent, a drudge, a dusty farmhead, an empath. <laughs> if you want to be one of those. An exile prince? No, no, no gang member? No, no, I don't think so. Um, hmm, what would be good for you? A farm boy? We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna speed through most of these right here. Son of a huntress. Son of a huntress would work, I guess. But let's see what else we got, though. Spirit of Regret. Spoiled Bread. A stable boy. Um, story Rider. Street Urchin. Tribe Child. You know, if you want to be going dead road. Undead. <laughs> Just fucking undead. Um, hmm. Vengeful Giant. Vatgrown Soldier. Scientist. Vit Tube Star. Oh my god. No. Please. Spare me. War Camp Slave, Young uh, Psychologist, Wreckage Explorer, Hmm, Undead Servant, Unwanted Survivor, what's that? You cannot afford to be uh, seen directly asso uh, assassinating him either, yeah, yeah, stuff like that, cool. Make him a gamer, make him a VTuber, okay. <laughs> Sir, we'll make him a vi uh, VR addict. A VTube store. Yep, that's how, that's how the Archdruid began his career. Being, being a YouTuber. <laughs> yep, that's um quite a career change, you guys. <laughs> and then, and then, 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 let's go to the bottom. This is more interesting. Wildlife Ranger, Warship Warrior, Warmonger, Warlord, um, VR Designer, Voice Space Raider, Vineho King. Uh huh. A Vagabond. Planet with no resources and a few survival skills. He bounced between camps, doing whatever work needs to be done just to see the sunrise once more. Almost. Same thing. We can also have him be a uh, versatile uh, worker or um, urban sex slave. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Good old druidism. It leads you quite down the road, you see. Sheriff, scout, sculptor, runaway dancer, a reporter, a rancher. I don't know. I don't think druids are background. Unless it is. If it isn't, cool. Can't say I really looked. Druid, d digger, d dr drifter, drug lieutenant, dromedary knight. It's not. Yeah. Down the blog. Fuck you, little man. Yeah, you, 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 you tell him. <laughs> uh, jiggle. Speaking of letter. Healer. Arf tender, hunting and foraging, cooking, take care of the young and the sick. I mean, sure, why not? Or a hermit. Maybe hermit? Uh, cross city, supply from the wilderness. Yeah, hermit. He was a VTuber and then became a hermit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he became he became a, a hermit. Mm, yes. And, um, was there any good old druid would need to be a druid that's right 
A steadfast druid who is an elder. Because why not? Yep. Yeah. Some uh, fun to old fashioned. Uh, respect your guidance. Okay, now uh, you have no social because you are a hermit. It's a little awkward. Um. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe he will not be a hermit. You know, we kind of need him to be social, right? If we want him to be, like, the leader. Um, maybe... Maybe he was... Uh, half tender in actuality. And just make it, like, a ten in there and huge passion for it. Uh, just remove the passion for these two. Completely for that one. Cooking can stay, I guess. Crafting's fine. Maybe I'd want to man as well. It doesn't do much fun, though. Okay, yeah, that's like this guy, the, the killer healer. Okay, last guy, last guy. Um, yeah. Oh, wait. Did I forget? I want you to have a beard. A braided beard that's pretty stabil. Um, do you have, like, the wizard beard? Yeah, the wizard. Damn right. Oh, we're we missing? So, we got... Guy, many animals... Many plants, some construction, construction is fine. Um, guy who doesn't do mining, uh, get some construction. Cooking, we gotta cook, also has some plants. Minimalistic animal, some crafting, arts, we got that too. Uh, big medicine though, also decent medicine on this guy. Again, crafting and cooking, covered by him. Construction technically too. Mining, we're a little weak on, but it should be fine overall. Uh, we need, we need someone who's actually smart. I like the lemur as well. So he has something to do. Yeah, so that's the important one. Now, now we get just something. Okay, he's completely convinced. Good. So, your head. We're gonna change that first thing, yeah? <laughs> Sorry, some of those things look really stupid. Like this one, for example. Um, What can we get? Dame head. No, 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 nothing, nothing too crazy looking, of course, right? Um, what's fitting for a guy? I'm just gonna kind of suss it out as we go, you know? Wait, what if we give him sack hood right there? <laughs> no, no, um, I mean, we can just go with a uh, visage mask. Or, what is this? Visor helmet? Really? Tin can? Nah. Yeah, someone's smart, so not leader then. <laughs> not the leader is, the leader is. We, 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 we gave him brain. We gave him brain power. Green. There we go. Oh, so how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to start of the run. Yeah, sure, we can give you some rags there, you know, be be the raggedy type of guy. Giving me some wizard vibes right now. Uh, you can't also be called red, sorry. Sure, go, go call yourself. No, we also have a gaga already. Um, go, go, go with, I know, something different. Vasla? No. Um, coyote, yes, yeah, sure, be coyote. It's fine. Be the coyote. Um, fire keeper. Give me the drive small and going. He took this responsibility very seriously. Yeah, Randy, Randy just started the apocalypse. Now we're trying to undo it. And, um... I mean, you find the way you are. I mean... It's it's okay. Like, um... We, we got most things covered. Most bases covered there. Clan chief. No, it's too, too much into violence, you know. Um, it's gonna be guy, <laughs> just, just, just guy, just just a guy. Um, maybe you will be the hermit instead. Yeah, you 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 you'll be the hermit, and you will be ugly. Yeah, we can go with the the geomancer for you. The ugly geomancer who who. Ooh. Who is say hmm <laughs> Say you are tough 
You had a tough geomancer, you know? Rock and stone. Everyone. So yeah, we got a, we're getting a, got a bit of a party going. Yeah, we, we, just a white guy who's red. Everyone's kind of green, you know? Everyone has some sort of green. And if this guy, it's just red. And it's just full on red. Yeah, that's, that's, that's him. Yeah, that's him. So yeah, again, we got most things covered. Maybe a minor passion there. Passion for mining? Yeah, he said. He likes rocks. Maybe not as much into cooking, though. Plants can stay. Animals, you don't know too much about. You're more of a rock man. There you go. Like construction, why not? Update a little bit as well. Cool. <laughs> we kind of got a thing going on, I think. And now for the equipment. Uh, yes, I'd like to um, increase that by um, 100. Thank you. Good. I'm gonna, we're going to need this too. Say 30. Uh, weapons can stay. Uh, no Yorkshire Terrier. Or a Husky. Or a Raptor. We can have the tents. That's fine. Say free and free. Uh, the wood is needed. We'll, we'll have that. The guy in red is colorblind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he missed a memo on the outfits. Yeah. I'm sure that's how colorblindness works too. Like, I hate it when I see red as green. Though, was that one of the colorblindnesses that are around? I'm actually not sure. I'm not an expert. Maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe it is, actually. I just so know some of it, but like, uh, I'm by no means like actually knowledgeable on it, you know? Why am I looking at furniture? Uh, hmm. Do you want some animal? Do you want a blob? <laughs> Blue yellow? Hmm. What if we have an animal colossus? This <laughs> of us, you know? Actually, resources. What, what resources are there? Like, can we get, like, sprouts? Some green and red at the same time in this case, so I understand this guy. Okay, okay. Let me be insensitive, guys, please. <laughs> Uh, uh, lack of knowledge, man. What was that thing I just saw? Some some weird syringes or something. School of Spirit Binding. No, that's fine. I wish I could, like, search instead of just, like, have a category. A cactus? Just have a whole cactus with us? Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I mean, I know what color blindness is. Like, like, I know what it is. And I know it has different times. I just didn't know, like... <laughs> it's whatever, man. <laughs> it's whatever. To 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 topic's gone. Okay, to 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 topic's gone. I move on. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna get a presidential mainframe. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if there's anything in particular I would want right now in here. Like, we... we Kind of have some of it already, like the, the the important stuff. I mean, again, what we could do is like look around for the um, Granulian sprouts. We can just kind of start with one for convenience sake, so we don't have to wait for RNG to um, deliver it onto us. Great of our rank. It's close enough. Uh, the, the, the grog? No, no, no. Grape juice? Oh yeah, right. All the granite stuff. A little too far up. Goose? Can we not have it? Is, is, is that like a thing? Can we, can we not have that stuff then? Because... Well, it should have been here. Hmm. Oh well. I mean... Or did I maybe... Maybe have it spelled differently in my head? Ah, yes, I did. Garulian, not Granulian. I thought it was G-R, not G-A-U-R. Okay, cool, that's just fine. Yeah, we got a sprout, that's basically what I wanted, really. Yeah, the Anima Colossus, because I want to see it. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll save the preset as um, granola, yeah, the granola sprout. Do it. 
safe and stored. Uh, confirm? Yeah, sure. Sure. I confirm. How could this possibly go wrong? <laughs> what the frog? Ah, oh, man, I got it, I got it. The gods were angry. They sent murder machines. Everything dead. That is a big boy. I mean, yeah, they said I'm a colossus, but that is... That is a big boy. Good old Larissa. Damn right. Oh, look, we even start with some unshackled dryads. Would you like a dad? I slaughtered him! No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright, so, first things first. Who has any semblance of shooting? Not too many. Well, you equip it, and who's the second worst? Technically you, but you also are kind of eyed at melee. So I guess we'll give it to this guy. You can take the club. You can take... Spear... No, you take this. You can have the spear. We are low for this, we are low for those, and we are low for this. I guess we can have the knife as a sidearm. Just because. Oh yeah, lo lovely seeing my food be on the uh, toxified floor. There we go. There's a tree, we'll get to that soon enough. Please allow it. Yeah, so we got a... We got a good side in the Oasis, and we got a not-so-good side of the Oasis, you know? Yeah, so, so we got... We got... <laughs> it's very nicely split. Like, we got we got the... Everything's happy, and then... Uh, depression. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's, what we, that's what we got. Polluted soil everywhere, and then... No more soil. So, for rather obvious reasons, I would like to actually live down here. I know, let's put it that way, while, while the OST is playing literally all of the um, win and loss sounds right now, that Heroes of Might and Magic has. Yep, here's another one. Damn Okay, now, now we make some teepees. Hopefully in a way that doesn't require us to chop down any trees. Eh, seems good. Seems good. And then we make tree. Right there. Okay, guys, do the thing. Yeah, the little slice of paradise. A very, very tiny one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we gotta restore the oasis first, yeah. Gaia Obron, and who was it again? Um, Dagaf Ur. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. Oh, hey, look, we got an uh, anima tree as well. That's good. Good to start out with. We also have Mega Scarabs. Actually, what's all Mega Scarabs? Okay. And then Sandstone with some stinking, creeping mist around there. Okay, okay. Yeah, you guys, you guys do what you need to do right now. Yeah, Meditation Tree, true. Just need to walk a little bit. We got some components here, which uh, sure I'll mind them. I don't know if we'll need them as much as we did the last time, but it's probably not bad to have them anyways. Cool. We got our little slice of heaven down here. Now next up, a little campfire. Cool. Good stuff. Um, temperature should be fine overall, really. Like, it's it's a very, um, little everything area. The winter is gonna be a thing. What am I looking at? That, that, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, so we can have a little, um, little bit of entertainment here. Have some archery practice right next to it while you're playing with this. Actually, maybe not. It's sounds dangerous, you know. Maybe like, you know, you you wanna you wanna chill, you know. So you stand there, shoot some arrows down there to the target near the water. Yeah. Yeah, it's so Ashlander nomad isn't it? It really is. It really is. Yeah. I'm gonna make a little wooden structure because we have some wood on us right now, though I don't know if I wanna waste it. Uh let's see, do we do we have any steel down here right now? We can make a very ghetto steel shack. We have uranium. Uh then we do have a bunch of cars on the top. 
Ah, ancient danger. Oh, by the way, let's check out who can do what. Uh, so, you suck. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. Hmm. See, while it does say that they are a druid, I might have... Maybe? You know, may maybe the mod load order, maybe it has to be a little further up, because I don't see their abilities. Uh, right now, order um, the little thing on the side. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just a behemoth size tree. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just me entering about, you know, to get into that clean nuclear energy. Yeah, yeah. I'm right. It's time for that. Uh, we we have another tent just laying there. Uh, we'll, we'll just attach it. You know, we'll just att attach that thing. Oh, for, for a moment I was worried someone was doing something else, you see. You see, the Ashland Renomans were doing something else, you know, they were like big into ranching, you know. It's kind of like a thing they needed to do. Big in tree connection. Uh, who, who's the tree huggiest out of all of you? Who's, who's big plants? Dewey? I'm, I'm thinking Dewey. Yeah, Dewey can do it. Okay, let's watch it happen. It's beautiful, is it not? It's beautiful. It's size tree. What the fuck is the behemoth of size tree do? No, no, because it's there. <laughs> it's um, wait, um, time to trim trees. There you go. Next huge anima pearl. So I guess plants every now and then plops out a pearl, and uh, we trim. Their trees? <laughs> you know, is, is what I'm guessing right now. I must make sure to have the drives be very happy. Now, uh, what, what what drives do we have? Eventually, I want to make a corrupted thing. So, we got a dry cast that uh, has the unique ability to produce new granulian pods. Well, that's a no-brainer, then. If we can make pods with them... Carriers to help us, sparks can to produce wood, crawlers to fight, wood makers to make wood. Wait, no, you're the tanks. You're the tanks, you're the DPS. You make wood, you make medicine, you make food, and you make more tree. Yeah, you make you make more tree for now, yeah. You need food? Well, it's gonna be fine. Well, it's gonna be no problem actually in this one, comparatively to the previous one. Because we have fertile soil everywhere down here. See? Now, we may need to cut off some trees, though. We may need to cut some of them up. As they're in the way of... Farm. Maybe like this. Very minimalistic farm. Very minimalistic. Scared of day 21. Yeah, what, ha what, what happens then? Day 21. Okay, I'm just gonna try and make this farm slightly different. Now we're gonna get lots of rice going. Uh, you can change three places. Well, <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it, it's kind of in the farmland, so I don't know if they're gonna cut it down or just ignore it. I mean, yeah, we can extract them. Yeah, yeah, we can extract them. Yeah, that is not wrong. Uh, what can we alive so it can be replanted? Yeah, we, we'll just replant them. You know, that's right. I, I, I never done that before. You see, I always. You know, I mean, I never think about it that way, you see? It's just like, it's like a whole other world to me. Yeah. I've never tried to take care of the trees. I usually just kill them, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I kind of usually just fucking kill those trees. Not just to plant cutting. Right. Yeah, we need to change those priorities around. Now we can actually fight fire. You doctor. You guys will have it on. Uh, just in case. A uh, bad rest, please do. Patient, please do as well. Uh, you're, you're gonna be handling everything. You're gonna be wardening everyone. You're gonna be cooking as well. You will be growing and cutting while everyone else will also be assigned to that. That's right. You're gonna be the number one de facto crafter. Maybe you do some art every now and then. There you go. <laughs> I hate trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need pollux trees. 
There's more than like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not taking out the trees. We're just, you know, coexisting. We're replanting them. Okay, I mean, that's fine. You yeah, know, if anyone feels like cooking, maybe, you know. Hunting won't be necessary. We do not do that. Not everyone's good at it, but you know, some people simply have to go through and do that, sadly. Um, anything else? Anything else? I think we are good. But we'll work three hours there. And three hours in the evening. We'll meditate then, morning, and before sleep, okay? And between then, we'll have some mandatory scheduled entertainment. You see? Now then. Gosford, who would you like to be? We have Lion, the Red. Dewey, the Tree. Gaga. The guy who used to be a killer, now is a healer and an empath. Lemur, who lays on the floor. And Coyote, who... He likes rocks. <laughs> this thing. Um, again, for some reason, the spells are not available right now, which is somewhat concerning. Which, well, you think about who you want to be. Let me quickly go into the mod settings, because that is not right. Um, a remote of magic. Oh boy. <laughs> A Q auto cast, enable auto cast, may control uh, more controlled pawns, unrestricted, uh, unrestricted techno weapons, interesting. Um, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, AI fighter marking, AI hard mode, interesting too. Challenge me! <laughs> um, class options? Oh. Event options, faction options, uh. It's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna have West for a better character than the one I already have. <laughs> well, I'm happy you're satisfied there. Okay. That's Plas. That's Mike. That's Plas. Little Miss Murder. Plas again. Mike. Puzzler. There we go. There we go. Hey, whoa, bro. What the fuck? First of all, you ate meat. And you disturb trees? What the fuck, bro? Uh, I didn't give you the order. Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on, guys. Why are you doing that? <laughs> Cutting oak tree. Do, 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 do you need to? Okay, while well, we're cutting this one now? <laughs> I mean, I, I guess they might be in the way of that. Uh, okay, why are we cutting this? Why, why are we doing this? Stop! Bro! Edge of growing zones? I mean, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> They're gonna get super depressed, man. No! <laughs> the tree. Boring the zone have to be cut? No, they don't have to be cut. They have to be replanted, idiots. Stop it. I mean, like, it doesn't impede them. They can't just have the tree. Stop it, lemur. <laughs> they, 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 they can simply just chill with the trees right next to them. You know, they, there's no need for them to go out of the way and destroy them, you see. What if I make some coke? You know, some coca trees. And, but, yeah. You know what, that's my first research. <laughs> Mental breaking coming. I mean, it's like, what, a minus three right now? Please. It's just a minus three right now, so it's... I mean, the eating meat part is a little worse. Is something about pemmican? Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, it's a little sad. Secretly hate trees, yeah. Okay, you better be replanting that one. Cutting oak tree. It's marked to replant. Are you dumb? Are you... Are you dumb? As a punishment, you will be extracting them instead. Enjoy that, loser. That's right. You'll be extracting them now. Yeah, tree is the face, yeah. If anything, we're planted right around us, you see. We want those trees around us, you see. Well, of course, you deface the trees. Christ, we don't believe in that guy. My brother in Oberon, maybe. My my brother in Dagaf-er. 
Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be nice and fine there. Look at that, man. Shoveling away. As he should after what he has done. Terrible, surely. If this won't be on the edge of the water... My brother and Danu! Yeah, I know, right? See, <laughs> my brother and Gaia! What are you doing? Stop making the trees defaced, man. Please. I mean, sure, we got more wood now, but... Uh, <laughs> it would cost, you know, it would cost. Another tree down there. Those protection so you don't have to see them burn their family in that fire pit. The, the, the fire pit doesn't need fuel. Don't be silly. It, it, it runs on magic. You know, it runs on magic, okay? So we, we don't have to worry about anything like that. You know, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Though I will get a teepee. To make people a little more comfortable here, like with, with this. Which will require some wood, ironically. But, you know, people will be slightly more comfortable. So do stand. So do stand. Okay, well you got you got some stuff to do right now. Uh just as we do back here. Hmm. Yeah, that one tree needs to most likely get relocated here as well. There we go. What a pearl will be useful for. I wonder that as well. I have no idea. Yeah, there's a baby flame atronach just sitting in there, yeah. Just having a good time. Yeah, yeah, we can absolutely have wood without killing trees. But again, I, I don't, I don't want to kill trees, and I, I, I'm aware of that fact. We've seen it earlier as well. The players out of Kenshi Leviathan. Yeah, it is. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah, building up players out of the Leviathan pearls from this big guy. There we go. You think the Behemoth size tree could fight well? Uh, it has a tail that probably packs a punch. Yeah, mo probably, probably. Just, you know, hope it won't burn down, you know? It'd be rather awkward if it was uh, to happen, so, yeah. Get some components. Which she had her deteriorating, so I'm kind of working on that whole thing. Yeah, you please don't the plants. I mean, you know, one way, and you now there's a lot of trees, so so you guys are gonna be happy. On the other way, you you ate meat and uh, you did something to the trees. Everyone hated. Everyone disliked that. Yeah, some Woodwood trees back here, you know, some Ripthorn or that poplar tree, Genko Beloba. Yes, that one. This is the one I like. <laughs> but yeah, you know, we're gonna we're gonna make a bit of a place for ourselves. I like how music's playing, although we don't really hear it because it's muted technically. And we got that heroes going on right now. Yeah. Uh spawn amateur right in six point eight days. Mana search did happen. Very lovely. So kinda of annoyed by the fact that the whole magic stuff is kinda being problematic right now. With the spells actually not displaying, but I'll figure that out for next time. Should be fine. Okay, we're gonna have a very, very small storage room up here. So we at least have a place to put our things into. So like this for now. I know, like including like the stuff we're mining away. Once the Geomancer gets onto it, it'll be just fine. And what we can do as well is do some ideology things, maybe. Have a thing right next to the tree. You know, why not? Maybe we'll, um... Uh, is it miscellaneous? It is miscellaneous, yeah. Yeah, we were kind of like meditating around this tree. That's right. Caravan. A caravan can be next to us, why not? Uh, uh, VFE Medieval Moat Digging Thing. You can dig down into sand and get stony soil. Interesting. Then no. This tree star, the higher the chance of, uh, for a Pollux tree. 
Right, right. What's a Pollux tree do? What is this? Demon hide elephant tusk? Well, um, yeah, that's kind of coming out of nowhere. I mean, yes, I equipped, I equipped the guy in red with the red weapon, I suppose, you know. Yeah, you, you, you just kind of wield um, a demon hide weapon. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you go, you, you, you do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's fine, <laughs> probably. Probably fine, assumedly fine. So, so we, we expand it like this for now. We make a dingy little wooden structure. Uh, you know, we can, we can do better. We can do it like this. And then say maybe add door. And then we can still mine some of the rock away. Over yonder. And then, because it may or may not need require a wall here, just gonna add that in there. Reduces pollution. All oh, right. So is it just a thing that happens, or like, plus I think you need to get out of here. <laughs> I mean, I uh, know you may be interfering with the rooftop construction right there. You see, and not, not, nothing personal, I'm afraid. Now, and <laughs> drop this tusk. Yes, yeah, except for it's made out of demon. You meditation spot? What do you mean? We have one! We have a meditation spot, though. Uh, yeah, right. So, we also need to do some production things. Well, we can do some crafting here. Butchering, if it's ever needed. Right there. And now we can research while looking at the water back there. Enjoy the view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, again, this is just a thing that, um, happens, or... I guess there's, like, some research, maybe, that allows me to, like, sew them. All I can do is just kind of go deeper in. Kind of like this, I suppose. Make it a little bigger. There we go, there we go. You know, maybe have a little torch standing next to it. You can, uh, relocate them. Hmm. Almost like cheating. <laughs> I suppose so. Surprise mansion is going to be very rare. We can also make, for no reason, a glow stool. A face small brown mushroom typically found in caves. It smells like an old dirty rag pulled out from the stomach of a rotting muffalo. But it tastes surprisingly good when cooked. <laughs> it's decoration. We can have a bit of a mushroom just be there. Oh yeah, we also can make a uh, nature shrine, which is going to cost a bit of wood. But it is an option, or like a smaller one, of course, too. Or a uh, zombrella, which we won't be using, because that's also basically cheating, by the way. Zombrella's are weird. It's, it's a weird item. Let's do not think too much about it. A little torch right next to there. Oh, maybe it's good, maybe it's not. But I imagine the researchers would like to see what we're looking at. And then maybe we make... Torch on the outside, and torch on the inside. However, probably we also need something to regulate the temperature in here. I guess I'll put you right there. Hopefully one's good. Hopefully one is kind of good enough. We'll see. But yeah, we'll need wood, a lot of it, but that's why we have those trees here for as they're gonna most likely help us quite a bit once we get the respective dryad cast for it. Overall, we're fairly decently happy, I guess. No tree. What do you mean no tree, dude? You're literally meditating next to one. No tree, he says. There's a walking tree, mind you. There's a walking tree. Freeze damage would stop it then. Don't, don't damage them. <laughs> Simple enough, right? Okay, so yeah, 40 degrees in here. It only lowers it so much after all. So, there will be dead. There will be dead. I mean, I suppose I can place down another one. It's 50 wood after all we need here, so best to be careful. 
they aren't tree enough. Hate to see that. When it's just not tree enough. Well, we got our farming spot. We can expand it slightly, you know, just a little. So it doesn't border anything too much. So they're not going to be like, yes, I think I need to cut that one down. Mm, yes. All right. All, all the way down to the last unpolluted tile right here. The only tile that's not polluted, followed by something polluted right away. Okay, well, we got our rice. I think that's going to be fairly good. Well, uh, well, as always, I imagine we would need um, an actual building to maybe work inside of so we don't get the outdoors penalty for a lot of those things we could also make a rooftop above us but you know we got trees right there so you know we got, uh, we're gonna be a little unhappy if we were to do that but you know a little little hideout here you know a little piece of heaven which we're gonna work from eventually line could you to wake up and do the bench. Oh. Th th thank you, buddy. Ah, oh, we need steel. Of course, of course. Well, we got some right here at least. So that's fine. Yeah, seems like a good chunk of steel we got. Over there. And the anima tree. I wish I could replant the anima tree. But I sort of doubt I can. We got rough sandstone on the floor. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, again, just like little patches that um, we can walk on or rather build on without it being like extremely polluted. Overall, health wise, yeah, sure. Some of us do have some pollution things going on. That's basically because we had to go into the polluted area as well. You can chop it down and it'll respawn. I mean, yeah, but wouldn't we get, like, mega depressed because of the sp uh, psychic screech it'll do? I don't think it's worth it now. You want it, but suffer the unhappiness while that? Yeah, severe unhappiness, though. Severe. What do we name our place? Be here for a while? Coslord thinks you should give your faction a name. And the settlement as well. What do we call ourselves, and what do we call our place? Any suggestions, anyone? On where we are? Where to be? I'm all ears after all. Hmm. So we are the Green Pact. I guess we can name our faction after it. Australia. The Barons. Alright. <laughs> so... <laughs> Australian barons are basically the same. Um, I mean, we get mega scarabs close to like spiders, you know? We are free animals, so we are people. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Er Elder Gleam Sanctuary. I like that one, yeah. Elder Gleam Sanctuary. That's a nice name. Sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> Pet Little pet. Wait, are you also a dryad? Little dryad eating grass. Oh, well, oh, oh. Speaking of dryads, that's my dryads. Hold on. Little dryads barking up a storm. You know. I thought that my dryads were gonna give me, like, also, like, some cool loot. Like, they do sometimes, like, you know, medicine and so on. Why are you doing research? Aren't you stupid? Yeah, you are. Why is that guy researching? It's the number four. What about the number two people? Lemur! Get, move your ass over here! This one's still breeding. I'm sorry, maybe, maybe I need to say no to it then, after all. You, 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 sir, you need some food. Uh, frankly, everyone needs some food. 90% uh, growing. I mean, that's cool and all. It's 90% growing. 
Uh, that implies we can already harvest it and do, you know, cook with it and whatnot. So probably the best idea if we were to go ahead and do that, you know, guys? Yeah, the brides get everywhere. Colossal Arrow Fleet? They don't look that big. Yeah, it's bigger than the others, but it's not that big. They're just wandering through here. Do you think they're going to stay in our sanctuary? They're going to stay close to it. Little flying jellyfish looking guys. They're not natchez. They are jellyfish filled with gas and they they explode violently when they die. No, 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 not quite natchez, but basically natchez. <laughs> you know, it's not quite a natch, but it's also not too far removed from a natch. So, I suppose. Okay, I don't want to see anyone be starving right now because there's food right there. And everyone should know how to handle it. Not refrigerated? That's fair. I mean, there's only so much refrigerating we can do in here. All I can do is maybe add one more of those, but it's not going to cool it beyond a certain point. We can just cool it, but that's it. Aslander <laughs> 1 adjacent. Oh yeah, it is. Except for we won't be like wandering everyone. We're like less hostile. So to speak. And our goals are vastly different. So fighting the sixth house. We are fighting pollution. <laughs> A far greater enemy if you ask me, you see. Far worse. Isn't that right? I also could have golems. We've seen golems in the necromancer run too. What if we were to tame him? What if we tame those colossal and non-colossal arrow fleets? What will we need to do that? There's a machine. We got some... Oh, Pollux trees! Look, they are there after all. <laughs> Nature is healing. So that's what they look like. Absorbing pollution. Well, I can only chop them. I can only cut them down, it seems. I'd love to replant them, you know, or know how to do that. But it's good to know that we do have them in here. Okay, slap that away. And I suppose another order would be get the iron up here. To go in the desert? <laughs> yeah, right, they do. Look at this beauty. Wrapped in toilet paper as well. Pulsating violently. After generations of exposure, these trees have evolved to metabolize pollution. And I'm right. Like most methods of cleaning uh, cleaning pollution, uh, polluted terrain, polyx trees do not create waste packs. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I would need to inquire in the research tab for that. I mean, I, I doubt it, personally. Gene processor is definitely not going to be it. Gun link and whatnot. Probably way back, isn't it? Toxic filtration, that's for the people themselves. Detroit become human? <laughs> Why do I have that here? Did Detroit become human gear? I just noticed. I probably like meant to look at it and I kind of like ignored it there and never took it out again. Well, I guess we can become human eventually, you know. Yeah, moisture pumps, growth vans, hospital beds, and all that, but uranium slug turrets, you know how it is. But, um. Yeah, I know, like, like th th this is the tree sowing bit. The apothecary things, you know, it's like charcoal, tallow, herbal tea, some salts, and stuff like that. Um. Clay pops and planes. <laughs> yeah, we'll go to magic instead, you see. Um. Cultivation, like cultivate magic, orders and gateways, which we can't do too much with. Facilities, which probably wouldn't be bad. As some of those, like one of them, yeah, the golem theory, flash golems, what we had last time, maybe if anything, hollow golems this time around. Scribing for spells, which is gonna be a must have later on. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we'll go into uh, down the line. Party has been called off. This is a shame. I was looking forward to it. Begin the sprout. 
leader present. So well, we need a leader first, don't we? Which um, I suppose you can be the orange druid. While uh, removing, say these two. Yes, yes. You're just gonna do what you must. There we go. Oh, we get a sprout. Sweet. It's really good. It's really good, actually. What if my other sprout's gonna be in the turf of the uh, previous one, you know? Yeah, um, so basically... It assimilates the area around it, doesn't it? We're just gonna place it like, I don't know... Here, maybe? Pop! Got three! Alright, well... We need another druid for this one, which... Whom's better than you? We just became a leader, so might as well get your own tree. Yeah. Damn right, we got trees. Okay. Ours to maintain 4.4. What if we go all the way? Now, what What? What if this is a really well-maintained tree? Yeah, so for you... I like the wood makers. You see? I like the wood makers because we'll need wood. <laughs> hey! T t wait, what? Spark taming? Okay, for, for a moment I was a little confused about what they meant there. Yeah, tree connection, role change, and party. So, you're gonna tame that little arrow fleet, aren't you? Tamed. Look at this little goofer. We got those little guys who we can uh, teach a few things as well. And we get little arrow fleets and the big one. We'll be able to attack and guard, which is pretty neat. Not gonna lie, pretty neat. Yeah, they look, they look, yeah, they do. Little little jellies, just like sitting there, vibing, having a good time, you know. Yeah, <laughs> oh look, we get streamlabs down here. Lovely. Okay, yeah, so so that's getting there. Yeah, I mean, I would have liked the Colossal one, too. Personally. But oh well. Yeah, so, uh, again, we most likely need to start working on an interior place of some sorts. So... I don't know, maybe over there? Make it out of steel? Let's see. Necker block. Levi ah, Leviathan pearls! It's literally Leviathan buildings! Wait, wait, hold on. Kenshi, yeah, that's the Kenshi thing. F fuck, I was thinking that Mike was just kidding, but no, you literally can make. You Yeah, I uh, thought we were just joking! <laughs> it's actually a thing! You can make floors too. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me now. I thought, like, yeah, maybe furniture, yeah, like, like, like crafting items, right? But yeah, no, it's right there. Right there. Well, again, we'll have to probably make it out of steel unless we can, you know, get some wiggle room going on here. Unless we are like, no. No, I'd like it to be stone, specifically. Which we could do. We could do go. We could go for stone cutting instead. So we can learn how to cut stone and maybe make like a building out of stone instead of either steel or um, wood. Yeah, like use the sandstone in there. Yeah, we could do that. Ancient Toxifier Generator, literally there, huh? Yeah, those people. Back in the day. Ignorant at best. Ooh, was it worst. Yeah, there's the ancient danger, but I will avoid that. Can we break them? Oh, we will break them, okay? Speaking of breaking, you are currently being taught how to do stuff. And maintained as well. In terms of, you know, staying with us and all that, you know? Yeah, everyone can do a little bit of it, but no one's going to be too intense about it. A coyote, maybe you guys swap places there? In terms of research. 
A silver ore meteorite. Crashing down there. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. We got some rice. We are not starving. We got a lot of rice, by the way, too. So that's always lovely. So any herbivores? We're gonna have more than uh, food or omnivores. There's no carnivores. They're just gonna get shafted, I guess. Meanwhile, how's Plas doing? Um, yeah, you're 350. Good. <laughs> Uh, 52% tree and 14 days until you drop a pearl. A huge anima pearl, that is. I wonder if we'll see actual... Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. And I was about to say, I wonder if we see Leviathans, but instead we're seeing big things. Which, um... I uh, hope they're uh, just gonna go away eventually, you know? And not come closer. Yeah, we're a peaceful people, okay? And I would appreciate it greatly if you were not to devour my ass. Thank you for understanding. It seems like someone's been kind of slacking a little bit, Lemur. Lemur, come on. You gotta do something, dear. I guess it's the whole growing and plant cutting. Would this be a hard priority for you? Otherwise, no dryads will happen, you see. You gotta maintain it. You gotta keep the tree connection up, or you're not gonna have a little stupid looking thing like that. Ever. You know? That's right. It's fucking <laughs> off how derpy they look, though. <laughs> they look great. Yeah, you, gotta, you gotta maintain that. You gotta maintain that. You're also very hungry, so you probably should go eat some. But yeah, the whole tree damage thing's gonna go away soon. The whole eight meat parts also gonna go away very soon because we already ate all the meat we had. So, uh, yeah, there's dead. Should be fine. The red oasis. My god. They, they might say what you will. They might be savages. But they have a beanie. From the division. That's right. They have that. Now again. Technically speaking guys. Technically speaking. Uh, the whole wanderer thing. Should give us magic. Right. But. There's no magic tab. Right now. For some reason. It's kind of odd. Because every one of us. Should be able to actually produce. Some sort of magical effect. Now again. I am actually going to look at the RIMPI um, mod load order. Like, how did I order that? Um, magic. Maybe it's magic. Cool. It's fairly, it's fairly up on top, but I guess I'll, I'll put it even higher for the next time. Below this one, though. Like, it's it's basically the highest one in the load order. Uh, in the load order. Because we, we are missing out on some pretty fun features that way. However. However. Yeah, the gizmos are not showing up. See? Like, I click on them and there should be, like, things down here. And there should be a whole bar saying magic. As he is, after all, an empath, a druid, a geomancer. They all have abilities, but we're not seeing them right now. So... Again, it's either the load order that went wrong, or I know what I missed. The dev uh, reset his class and put it back uh, next time. I, mean, I can try it right now too, right? How do I do that? Um, I, I go here and... I mean, it's a it's a trait, right? It's a trait. Trait? Good trait? Mm -hmm. Uh... G Geo Mansur. Uh, not not you, the other guy. Geomant. Uh, not 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 you either. Who's the guy? Coyote. A slimmer. A oh, coyote. There you are. Does that do anything? Oh wow, that actually worked. Okay, well we just need to reapply it then. Yeah, that's all we need. We just need to reapply it in this case, like that. 
Food poisoning, oof. <laughs> so you're the empath. Okay. This is not cheating, by the way. It's simply restoring how it should be. This is the way things were meant to be to begin with. You are a druid. Yeah, you and the um, lemur guy. Okay. Traits? Uh, dru druid. Druidify you. Druidify you. And then wanderer last. Trained. Wanderer. Okay. Yeah, manual player patch is pretty much what it is, yeah. At least now we have the magic uh, tab. At least now we have that. Poison. Beguile animal. Regenerate, which is fucking huge, by the way. Absolutely nutty. Um, mind killer. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Castor, what the fuck do you have on you? Release an empathic whale that floods all nearby parts with emotions. Uh, reactions can vary, but most living organisms have difficulty dealing with the overwhelming surge of emotions. Can cause hostile pawns to go berserk. The higher an affected pawn's mood, the more emotional energy is released. When untrained, the skill may affect nearby allies. So, basically, you give the enemy a mental breakdown. How could he? I'm sorry, man. Come in aside. I also have Symbiosis, which is like the ultimate thing already. The fate of the Empath with the target. The Empath will enter into a mentally vacant state, unable to control their own body, as they project their will to reinforce the will of the target pawn. The Empath will maintain any pre-existent effects or auras. The targets will receive emotional fortitude and mental strength in return. The Symbiote may experience psychic after-effects of injuries taken by their host. If the host dies while the empath is a symbiote, the empath will also die. The symbiosis will end when the empath's mood expires and can be manually ended if the host and symbiote are in a near, near, near proximity. Meanwhile, you can also do the same thing. And you make earth sprites. Oh, oh little earth boys. Earth sprites are transformed to terrain. Oh, yeah. Terrain, you see. That's from terrain. Go make terrain go different. <laughs> Stony soil! Dude, druid gameplay is real, man. It's real. It's happening. It's right there. So we got two naked men. Right next to the ancient danger. I approach them. Because I can poison the shit out of them, after all. We can also make sentinels. Those are pretty neat. I think they're attacking now. Okay, everyone. Hello, druids. Here they come. Uh, we already poisoned this guy. And it's slowed. And he has a wooden foot. And it's still poisoned. His kidney is about to fail. Man took a torso shot and also is poisoned. And we win. Uh, good job, everyone. We leave now. Yep, that, that, that's it. That's all she wrote. Kidney failure spell. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, the kidney is poisoned. Uh, the kidney wasn't destroyed. But, um... Rapid aging, chemical damage in the kidney? Oof. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. Actually, prison? What? These guys? These guys? D -d these guys? I mean, yeah, there, there would be like a goon. There's a vengeful child and a logger, you see? They love chopping trees. They do like plants? His job was to kill plants. And it's depressing as well. He won't die. Apparently. But rapid aging is the reason we don't take them. And we never will be taking people like that. They're, they're gonna die in like a week or two. So like, there's no point in actually recruiting them. Okay, now, now we can actually play with abilities. We can also play a stone. Sentinels. I think you can have up to a certain amount of sentinels. These guys are just kind of chill. And they aggro when an enemy is nearby. And beat the shit out of them, basically. 
Pretty neat. Uh, encase. Uh, encloses a uh, target area in a ring of stone. Hm. Stone skin. Spring might. Increases the speed. Increases the ma uh, reduce the mana and oh, regeneration drained as well, huh? And a meteorite spell, of course. Um, increases the um, quality of them. Mass mana, and allows you to make more of them. Currently, it's level zero, so we're gonna have two sentinels in total. But I think uh, maximum mana. Increase the mana recovery. I think recovery is more important right now. We want to be able to get mana quickly. So we can use it more often. And I think that's the main thing right now. Meanwhile the Wanderer. He gets the Wanderer. And cantrips. It's his whole thing. He can blink though. Guy can like. Short term teleport basically. So pretty neat actually. Pretty neat. Dread can overwhelm the emotional state of animals. The ability to dual uh, purpose if the animal is in a calm state will um, incite a beast into a manhunt rage and vice versa. It's actually very nice. So if we have any manhunters, we don't need to fight them. As we can just be like, hey, cool it. Calm down, please. I'm going to be like, mm, okay. I guess I'm calm now. Oh, well. How's the training going? Well, you can be maintained at least. Wildness 91% is a high rate. The field to tame, train, and handle. Checks out. It's a massive colossus after all. I mean, let's let's see about our... um Handler. Line. An eclipse? That's fine. Yeah, trees damage. Minor buildup of toxic... Yeah, we need to, um, inspire surgery. Okay, well, well, we get to do it eventually, I suppose. I was about to eat, uh, say, like, we already eat all the rice, but we didn't, that's fine. So, yeah, um, one immature dried being this guy. Which, um, time left for days, it's pretty nice. What a hot it. Occurrence. It'll be fine. I'm sure the trees will survive a little bit of shadow. It'll be, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Big thing. Big thing sounding line. Hey guys. Um, emergency meeting. Now, you know what really sucks? We venerate those things. Um, maybe, maybe we can calm it down, you, you know? Maybe we can have it, have it be ni ni nice, and, nice and calm. Line, whatever you do, just keep running. Oh, that big thing's very pissed now. And keep running, keep running, keep running. Keep, keep running, man. Okay, there's more big things after us now. My god, this is just like Kanshi. Keep, keep going, keep going, man. Don't stop, don't stop. Try and cast kidney failure to the big thing. Because of ideology, but you bust. The alternative option would be to uh, run away, um, have Lemur not die, preferably. Please, guys, please. D don't let it happen. Um, you know, it's just mega awkward due to the fact that... Um, you know, big thing doing the big thing. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a little, uh... It's fucked up, man. Yeah, it's, uh... Oh, look, it's a sentinel! It's going in! A little late. A little late. Sentinel going in, however. Who's gonna win? A man made of stone? Or a giraffe with a beak? 
It's a giraffe, by the way. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, yeah, sure, we're gonna be all mega depressed and all, but like... Why the door not close? Pless! Pless is fighting the big thing now! I, I, I would imagine, at least. Oh, take it on! Damn, man, you do, and you do. Not your legs! Well, the big thing is gone. Hey, look, we're not even that sad about it. <laughs> That's nice. I'm gonna reload still, though. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, good effort. Good effort. We know how to do it. I'm gonna go back in time and not lose the guy who wants to tune to the Granulian Tree Sprout and... Uh, and, you know, the leader of the faction that, that's, uh, whom staff is gonna make us all go kind of sad, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try and do something about that a little more preemptively, you see? As such as maybe making another, um, golem, maybe. Yeah, I think so. I think that was the reason why. This is what I sort of was hoping for. That's so why I need to teach you how to guard or attack, you know. That's why we need to do that. Yeah, man, big things, terrifying creatures. I mean, this one's happy because it can eat that dead man over there. But big things, you see, they're terribly hungry as well. You get still malnourished. And it just ate. I mean, this one's currently fine. And this one probably won't be for much longer. We'll see. <laughs> we need to tame before it tries to eat us. The thing is, to tame a big thing, you need some meat. And to get meat, you need to kill animals. And we don't do that? Willingly? Man just casually teleports away, by the way. Absolute chat move. Uh, ability power, ability resistance... Skills, mana, versatility, they become a little more versatile, you don't like that. Efficiency wouldn't be bad, yeah, just versatility, I don't know, blink stuns enemies around the targeted area. But yeah, sadly again, the whole big thing taming approach, not sure that's gonna work out I'm afraid. But it's fine, it's fine. We're still trying to teach um, the little uh, drives here how to guard and, you know, pass as well. Which, if anything, Lion's gonna be really good at his job. He's 11. A very skilled professional. Could be even better, though. Given time and expertise. Meanwhile, the rise is coming along nicely. <laughs> Our little wet... Research bench, sitting there in the water that's half polluted. Alright, here we go, huh? It's that time of the day. I can't wait for it to attack and command. Yeah, that'd be sick. Alright, guys. Again. We'll just gather up down here. There's the big monster. Go in. Yeah, plus you two, you two. You can cover us. I guess we're talking about magic. See, the big thing will be completely disoriented if it doesn't know how to get to us. Alright, now. How do we handle this? Can I spawn a sentinel? We already have to. Uh, that's the limit. Can't have more than that. Huh, I mean, you do have a sword and it's pretty neat and all, but like, it's a big thing. <laughs> See, we're fighting a big thing, however, so I don't know if that's gonna work out too well. Spar taming. It's very nice. I go outside. The big thing seems kind of chill right now. I guess it's because it's, like, its actual hunting target isn't here right now. It's technically indoors. That or it actually just kind of gave up. Yeah, no. Targets is outside. Big thing just kind of gave up. It's like, hmm, I guess I'll just be hungry then. 
I'd be really happy if those beak things would just, like, leave. You know? And don't, don't be, don't be that close to my Pollock trees, please. Don't do that. Do not. Um, increases efficiency of mana shield and all that. I mean, again, it's cool and all. Don't want anything else. No, no, no. <laughs> Upkeep by 3% every regeneration penalty by 3%. Stamina and learns might classes abilities, huh? If only we had arcane bolts. We're gonna get some prowess there. Or power. We're gonna intensify blink. Gonna make it better. Am I saying correctly? Yes, one of the beak things straight up just left. I also like how if you tame a beak thing, uh, there's a hundred percent chance it will attack you. Even if it, if you hunt those beak things, they will guarantee they're, they're guaranteed to fight back. Which well, I mean, checks out, I guess. Okay. Well, uh, research hopefully going well. I mean, we can always go ahead and be like, yes, we um, we are gonna make another second research bench, you know, to to help us out with all of it. Because about to spawn an immature dryad, and uh, this one already has one, being the boy back here, the cocoon. Uh, three days left before that one actually, um emerges from it so we can get maybe under the sprout and all that oh yeah plus how, how you purr looking uh, we'll get right to that 9.9 .9 days 67 on that coyote oh, coyote listen listen man we you were kind of far away and those things are fast like those things are fast so best to get injured quickly. You, you got a bit of an edge? Just a little bit? Yeah, we need a Fae Whisper too. Otherwise people will get kind of sad. Which, it's fair enough. Now if it comes down to it, what we can do I suppose is... Um, you know, do the uh, whole, uh, where is it? Combat command? Maybe? Now... See, the big thing is probably going to only come closer to us when it's like, hmm, yes, door open. Don't mind if I get a snack. Currently, it's just going to meandering very close to camp. Hmm. But it doesn't seem to care. Maybe? Did you stop caring? It might have stopped caring. Well, let's hope so. Let's hope this thing just kind of leaves. And yeah, let's hope the beak thing just walks away. Leaves the place. Goes to somewhere else. Maybe returns to Kenshi. There we go, see? Yeah, that, that's how we... That, yeah, that's gonna be how we deal with beak things from now on out, you see? We wait for them to starve. They're gonna attack us. Try to murder me and all. And they're gonna be like, mm, Yes, it's maybe not worth it. Uh, maybe I'm just gonna go away. And that's it. <laughs> and that's it. Understanding of magic. Nice. So, road change. Do we? Maybe. Hold on. Bio, do we? As social. We need someone social. I guess do we with one. Um, yeah, yeah. We're gonna make you the Fey Whisper. Congratulations, Fey Whisper. Ironically, it's actually Coyote who does the whispering with the face, like he literally has sprites at his disposal. But but that's, yeah, that's whatever, you know, it's ne neither here nor there. Now, what if I use it on Polluted Earth, the, the sprites? Can he remove pollution by doing so? Or is it just gonna turn to, like, soil? It is still polluted. By the looks. And not much change, unless that's the sprites doing the work right now. And something will happen eventually. We'll see. We'll see. I think it's the sprites doing something right now. Hmm. 
But your magic has improved, so we could make another sentinel. Well, the rest of you uh, will go ahead and simply learn clarity. So, to increase their mana region and whatnot. Polluted terrain. <laughs> no sin. No sin we get polluted terrain in here. Really, we do. What a surprise. I couldn't have seen that one coming. Yeah, we just need to wait for Coyote. He has, is basically bankrupt in terms of mana right now. Due to the Earth Sprites taking it away. And also due to, like, the Sentinels probably doing something with it. Yeah, it reduces maximum mana. Which um, is 100. Yeah, so yeah, 20 per. Yeah, minus 20 mana, yeah, yeah. Craft trying to make them tougher. Wouldn't be the worst idea either. But, uh, yeah. That'll... That'll have to work, I suppose. That'll have to do. Yeah, you take care of that beautiful tree back there, that's right. No sleep for you before you do that. Well, never mind then. Let's ignore that. Yeah, that one's being very nicely maintained though. Gotta say. Two days for that to be done with. Seven days for you. Trimming process, 75%. And... Big thing, hunting lion. Lion, how... How about everyone, everyone, we stop doing what we are doing and we just kind of hunker down as we usually do. And then the big thing starts walking away and we're good. And the big thing is going to leave us in peace. However, the big thing also told some people with clubs to kill us. So there's something else we need to do. But you know, there's some, there's some clubbers right now, you know, we can we can deal with them easily. Not to mention that they kind of summon meteorites, apparently. Alright, everyone. I would say time to crump them, but, well, you know. Everyone follows Lion, and Plas also is with you right now. You seem to have been also bonded. To Dewey. Bonded to Dewey. Okay, we want you to be with Dewey then. Yeah, we can be with Plas. Well, Master, while Master is drafted. Yeah. Just, just, just follow. I mean, that's good. Yeah, now we have combat animals. That's right. Okay, I... I see Lemur getting ahead. We just keep walking back. And maybe we'll give someone cancer. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Good stuff, good stuff. She just cast poison earlier. So, let's see how they died. I only see the poison. His heart. His fucking heart. And, yeah, yeah. Po poison kind of nasty, huh? Now, see, we might be druids, but we're not about to take an attack like this lightheartedly. This man may be running away, but he has been poisoned, and there he goes. His heart literally failed. Yeah, only some nudists. Yeah, it's very lucky, isn't it? That that's the only thing we're dealing with here. And Lemur, while hit, has been only bruised by the human fist. It's like absolutely nothing. Nothing to worry about. And we're gonna turn into soil. So we don't care. It's all good. It's all good. Can't wait for my little dryer to pop. You know? Can't wait for that bad boy to happen. I mean, what, Coyote, how we doing, friend? Yeah, you may want to make another sentinel. A lot of stuff seems to be coming from the top. What about guarding the field down here? What about we send one there? Almost made him level up. Yeah, I, I think our little sprites are just kind of hanging out there, see? They're doing some work. Polluted, rich soil. Look at them working there. We're making soil. 
It's still polluted. They don't do anything about pollution, but still. First of all, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Metallovores are repulsive creatures genetically modified to fill a very specific niche. Eating metals, deriving tentacles in the animal's mouth secrete an organic substance that is capable of quickly rusting and dissolving most common metals. Drawing them into small flakes and serve as sustenance for the metallovore. They prefer small chunks of metal, since they can be easily digested. Digging into rocks in search of new metal if they can find one. Uh, presumably they were created to get rid of scrap metal, but they are mostly found wild now. Essayus. Um... I mean, I, I really think you'll be fine. Like, like you, you, you seem cool. Like, you seem okay, man. Is that a mind flare? No, it's a metallovore, actually. It, like, eats metal. Uh, but, yeah, I also thought it was a mind flare at first. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Can't judge. Does look like one, after all. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. These three medical bats for the animals. There we go. All right, lion. Look. I, I, I respect nature, and you are part of it, so I guess I'll try and help you. Yeah, yeah, M murder is not my thing, and you seem peaceful overall, so you you just kind of hang out in there, little Kafulu. okay? You just do that, and try not to suck out my brain in the morning, thank you. We're being visited by people with pigs and yaks and grey-coated Malfloon rams. Yeah, those guys. Exactly. Uh, well, how about Lemur? I would talk to the hunts Huntsman. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. You have some explaining to do. Huntsman. Scusi. Earl Madison. Word. I could buy wood. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy your wood. Why not? Wait, I'm selling mine. I buy. I buy. 150? 150 wood. Yeah, that's all we do, really. Don't need to get more animals. <laughs> the gods have rewarded the charity. Speaking of, charity. 66% because we don't have pews on the outside. Can I make like an outdoor shrine? Like, is, is that a thing I could do? And what if we have some pews? They kind of interfere with the tree, though. The tree doesn't like it. <laughs> like, the pew would need to be kind of far away. I'd like to have like an outdoors, like, shrine, kind of. I'd like to have that. Maybe a hedge wall. Yo, but what if? But what if? What if we make... Yeah, what if we make a hedge wall, actually? Like a little hedge shrine? But where, though? Somewhere where it doesn't interrupt the trees. And somewhere where it's not polluted. We could do it up here. Kinda. Like, like in this area. Because, you know, getting rid of pollution is going to take a minute. With all the Pollux trees. Hmm, yeah, I mean, it's the closest area that is somewhat big. Unless we're just fine with making a small one here. We can make a small one. Like a little, little shrine. Tiny shrine. It'll be slightly polluted, but... Uh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. It's gonna be okay. And then a palisade wall to enter the hedge. Damn right. Yeah, you get working there. Yeah, it's uh, our little tiny piece of heaven we'll have there once again. I don't have magic. Can we get another sentinel maybe guarding the, uh, the hedge? No. 
That gets out of range. Well, how about you go into the range then? Yeah, the Hedge Guardian right there. Chilling. As one does. I need to level you up though. Also allows me for, to make a rooftop in there. So just that. Now, uh, that's a good moment to be like, hey, let's have a dumping stockpile, like, down here, I guess. Because that rock's pretty ugly. Maybe have a teensy tiny campfire in here or something? Hmm, I'll think about what light source to put in there. How's Plas doing? Oh, excellent. Doing excellent right now. Being very domesticated, too. Less wild than he once was. Or she, rather, because it's a female. Rescued animal joints. Woo! Asaya! W w welcome, Asayas! It's nice to have you here. You can eat the metal that we'll get from destroying this trash. We're speaking of destroying the trash. How about... Destroying it. You're born saying it's some food, you know? Yeah, those, those disgusting generators, you know, we just destroyed them real quick. We just do that. Uh, build rooftop? You know, more than just that part, I know. Probably because it's polluted, maybe? Then again, this is also polluted, so I don't know why they decide to do that. To do it that specifically that way, I, I don't know, it's... It's weird. We can have a slab. We can, we can we can get that one. Oh no. Beak thing. I wish we keep getting a lot of beak things. <laughs> hey, you you go away, okay? You you go away. You don't need to be this close to me, okay? You you, you just move away, man. It's whatever. You no need for hostilities, man. Acid smog. Uh, it slows plant growth, deteriorates exposed idols, and reduces mood. The current world tile has a nearby pollution score of 31.33. Killed by adding up pollution of nearby world tiles, this means that the average acidic smog will occur every 21 days. So, as long as it doesn't, like, murder me, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm happy with that. Like, it doesn't hurt us. It has some toxic buildup going on, though. It's going down, however. It is going down. I guess it just really, yeah, gimps the growth rate to zero, pretty much. I hope it's not gonna last too long. Oh, nice, stone cutting. But we can go back to the coca stuff. <laughs> there we go. Um, You're doing your stuff, Coslord. Can you. Rooftop? Why not rooftop? Maybe we need um, pillars instead. Like, at all in there. Pillar, 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 column, I suppose. Yeah, last few days of a quarter. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That should do. Right? Like, yeah, yeah, you, you got more than enough covered back there. Yeah, that was the problem. So the hatch roof itself can't support a rooftop. Like the the wall. Which makes sense, it's just a hatch. So I guess it was the door that was supporting it. Yep. Yeah, that's the acid smog. Oh, you you made a pearl somewhere, by the way. Oh, here it is. Huge anima pearl. This huge anima pearl can be... Uh, uh, seems to be bursting with barely contained living energy. It can be planted, and an anima tree will grow from it. Yo? How do I do that? It could grow walls. Shit! So, um... What is this? Blue gel? Probably from the arrow fleets, yeah? <laughs> Get some blue gel from them. Uh, so, how, how do I plant the pearl? Then... Drag with a pawn? Plant. Nice, nice, nice. Stabil. Yaman. Yeah, 
So how big is like the anima tree radi- Yeah, pretty big. Pretty big. Like the, the big area is big. The small area, it's okay. Um. Well, I mean... Let, let, let's get planting, shall we? Maybe like down here? Have an anima tree there? Boop. Oh. Is it by a big thing? Oh man. I say I know! Uh, we just got him! Well. I'm spending some meditation spots at it. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that soon enough. Um. Thing one of ours is currently being uh, beak thinked, it seems like. Uh, we, our poor aim is also um, hitting the tents instead. It's fine, I can prolong Isaias' suffering by casting regen on. Never mind, it's dead. Listen. What if. What, uh, no, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back. What if we sick our boys at them? They took something away from us. Now do we, do we do the ultimate thing and sick the beak thing with it too? I mean, obviously it's gonna result in a revenge. Boy has been stunned. Kinda, kinda hoping. You just blink away. Yeah, you just, you just, you just blink the fuck away. We got we got a bunch of sentinels, uh, a anima tree behemoth, and 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 then some coming down on it. So it should be fine, really. Terrifying in room world. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Come on, everyone, you got it, you got it there. It's done. It's over. And we're fine. We're, we're quote unquote happy. Now his left ear has been kind of destroyed and his shoulder's been injured, to say the least. Uh, man could be doing better, you know, but yeah. Yeah, big thing defeated. Sadly, we lost one. A good warrior. Mike, I got you, okay? I got you covered. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is fine. This is fine. They got it on autocast. Yeah, you don't need all your eyes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you see, one does not simply mess with the growth. It's time to recharge. We'll stop recharging then. Cast regen on Mike. Mike should be getting cured very quickly then. Yeah, meditation spots all in due time. All in due time. Let me just have people not die first. Okay, his ear, you know, kind of, kind of bleeding a little from there. Impeding the whole hearing and all that. Let's see, did we cast region on him yet? It seems so. It seems so. Well, I can weakness weakened. Would you be interested in letting yourself be helped? <laughs> I tend to you. can just sit by idly while you're bleeding out of your ear hole, you see? Everyone else doing fine? What about the big guy? There's some toxic buildup, minor, not initial, mind you. Whole stupid weather right now. Surely not helping at all. I, I need you to move away from up there. Like, you, you, are, you are at risk right now. Got a little too much of the toxic build up there. Uh, the Sentinels return to their spots, which is very lovely to see. That they do that automatically. Okay, well, just the beak thing gone, at the very least. You can continue with some research. Your your needs are currently met, and the anima tree is down there. Focus effect. Uh, impacted by, you know, a bunch of those things. The canopies. You know, that's fair. But anima grass? 
You can you can go grass in there. We have it on the non-polluted tunnels for now. We're taking care of that. Oh look, we got a little boy. Create healing pod. Yeah, that's to self-heal though. Which drives that? Is it from this one? We have one dried here, we have two drives here. Yeah, so this one's from this tree. This one's from that tree. Well, well that one's already grown. Um, Gun maker, yeah, it's gonna be... It's three days old. And eventually, it'll make another Garnulian tree back there. So someone else may attune to it. Mayhaps. So, 66% of this. It's pretty serious, isn't it? 65. Going down slowly but surely. You need to be careful. Okay, you need to be careful. Don't want you to be too polluted, after all. And get too much of it into your body. Okay. It's done. It's over. No more um, terrible acid mist. Animal filth. It happens when you live with animals, I guess. Yeah. To be expected, not gonna lie. So, you guys. Uh, poison potency. Increases the potency of poison, dealing 25% more damage per skill level for each square the victim moves. Oh! So the poison deals more damage while moving. And enemies tend to not stop. Uh, Reduces the cost of poison. Cure disease. Yes, I um, uh, casually learned that one, maybe. I want to learn how to get rid of diseases. Good. Harvest passion. Suppressive aura. And that's the one that um, basically makes it so... Um, yeah, only positive emotions, basically. Muscle suppression by 20%. Chance to allow positive emotions by 10%. Basically, no one's gonna feel anything except for the empath. Uh, blissful lie. Imitates feelings of joy and comfort to transfer to affect the pawns. Each skill level increase the amount of joy and comfort transferred. Sure. I get everyone nice and comfortable there. Drugged on magic, pretty much. Speaking of. Very potent poison on Dewey. Meanwhile, this guy. Um, teleport, heal, and summon minion. Gain power level 1 class improvements. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't see anything on blink, but I'm still gonna dump my points in there. Yeah, 4 power out of 15. We're getting there. Getting there. It just has to be careful to, you know, remain within the non-toxified area. And should be all fine then. So, make some lights in there. So we can see better. And in our little hatch altar thing, uh, we're gonna do some ideology shenanigans too. Like, uh, how much jade do we have? 200? Yeah, we can afford to have some jade pews. Yeah, one here. And one there. Make them nicely out of jade. Sure, I'd like this to be out of jade too. It's 200 each, so we'll be a little short, won't we? We will be a little short. I hate this. <laughs> I hate what I just saw there. The fact that it's not symmetrical. Or rather, it doesn't accommodate for something that's one time. They need to be two at least. Man... Casually teleports away again. So what you will, he he gets around quickly, you see. He gets around real fast. Yeah, 61's going down slowly by the looks. Saving. Yeah, so we have, yeah, as I thought, we will be two jade short. If we get it all done. So if we see jade anywhere, we're probably gonna be yoinking that. Because, you know, Jade's green and we like green after all now, don't we? They're just there to rot. No biggie. You know, a big thing just meandering there. It seems to be perfectly fine. Without a care in the world. 
Haven't seen any jade at a glance, however. Oh, is it another anima tree? No, it's not. <laughs> Never mind. I thought it was a little further up on top. Never mind that then. Party! Uh, party? Oh, the beak thing's eating the other beak thing. That sounds about right. That, that, yeah, that probably would be a thing a beak thing would do. It's probably something they would do. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, rich forest makes us happy. We, we are, we are, we are very, very cool. Emotions gained through empathy. Oh, no. Is it? Nah, it's the food poisoning. Oh, okay, well, it's fine then, it's fine. Uh, everyone, we got, yeah, castle is on medic duty. Well, they could technically also be that. You have cure disease. Isn't this technically a disease? Yes, but we failed casting. So, well, there's that. You get some more mana region going. Yeah, blissful lie. Suppressive aura. Getting negative emotions from you, man. Be more blissful. Again, could do with this. However, we're starting to need more maximum mana. So, because if, if we cast one more boy, which I'm going to go ahead and do, the thing is that Coyote, well, this is going to be his last guardian he'll be able to make. Maybe we'll make one down here. I'll discover this side. We're getting visited by um, uh, weapons merchants right there. Weaponsmiths. Shooting party and frenzy and whatnot. Again, the boy should be getting better. Yeah, he is. He is. It's not the toxic buildup that we need to worry about in there. Okay. I, I like how people are mostly naked minus the gas masks, you know? Like, the game was like, yeah, they're not gonna die to the poison, you see? Hey. So, we got a uh, demon r scale ranked saber. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Kind of looking sick, the fragmented angst there. But I'm good. Pamican, we don't eat. We don't want that. What do you mean I would only get a hundred bucks for plants? What the fuck? How's a ripper hunt more expensive? Not gonna sell you, of course, but I, I, I'm insulted by this, you know? Well, there's nothing I actually want. At best. Medicine. At best. But even then, I think I'm good. Don't need anything from you. Why am I so cheap? I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. It's probably because of the minor buildup of toxicity, maybe? I, I wouldn't know why else it would be. I, I am genuinely insulted by that fact that you are so cheap. How dare they? How dare they not appreciate your true qualities? I know. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Well, we can make a uh, pew here and make this there. Now, I know we're lacking some jade. I'm aware of that. But, um, we'll, we'll get around it soon enough. You're going back up. You're, um... You're, uh... You're going, you're just going backwards for the boy. At least what we can do is do, um... An altar right next to it. So we can s try and do the, the, the sprouting. See how that's gonna go. They kinda do. More or less, yeah. They sort of do. And I think it's fitting. We just need some pillars, you know, to actually keep the roof up. Yo, you guys flirting? Shit. Unforgettable! Guess, guess what we got. <laughs> yeah, that's right, we're getting another one. Another granulian pod. Two of them, even! Damn. Stuff's popping off. Holy. Well, I suppose, I suppose, I mean... 
one here. And maybe another one up there. It's the growth, you know, the growth is starting to form. It's taking shape. Soon everyone will have to be on planting duty. And to maintain at least some semblance of it. I mean, it's doing fine, just keeping it up, keeping it up, both of them. Okay, well, Lion. I mean, Lion's probably gonna be the last guy I wanna, like, attune to it. <laughs> Nothing against him. It doesn't do he... Ooh, 40. It's getting a little, um... A little expensive here. Yeah, doing. I thought you were already... With this one. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna give Castle a tree. Yeah, so you can enjoy the beauty of it. Hopefully it's gonna work. Again, 40% expected quality. Was a success. There we go. Uh, just 50% for now. We're gonna be getting some of those wood makers. Actually, no. Are we getting... Wait. <laughs> uh, in here. In here. That's the that's the wood makers we got in there. Okay. So, instead of wood makers, I guess medicine makers or crawlers, you know, to fight. Boxkin. Or maybe carriers to carry. You no? Know? Yeah, we go for medicine up here. Yeah, that one's for medicine. And I mean, if if Dewey does have the time, uh, let me let me save in case I I'm fucking up something. Unless the tree is gonna be like, oh, you're cheating on me with another tree. Fuck you. It seems fine. You're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be very involved overall. I mean. Berry makers are an option, but I think a crawler wouldn't be backwards. Definitely, yeah. Oh, gotta gotta get a weapon back, buddy. Yeah, so we got a bunch of trees there. For those and how far into the research? Um, it's um not here right now. I, I need to enable the mod. <laughs> but, like I, I forgot to put a mod back in when we're like restarting. I forgot about. It, I'll be honest. But um, yeah, no, this is not gonna take that long. I'm sure. Actually, what if I make? Hmm. No, no. Do just expanded. Do just expanded. Now. If I could... Hmm, let's see. Yeah, we already got rich soil too. And technically we have the Geomancer to make it even richer. It's soil. Nah, nah, not up there, not up there. I'm like thinking about a good spot. <laughs> like, like a tiny, tiny spot like this maybe. To be growing um, heal root in. Like a very, very teensy tiny spot. There wasn't a tree, there was a stump, okay? That's not a real tree. Oh my fucking god, what is this? Aurora Sylphs? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, they can, they can be. What is this? What am I looking? What is what is this PNG? This pretty looking creature that is... An example of plasma-based life on the rim? That's my base. How the fuck does that work? That makes no sense. Like, like what plasma? Like from the fucking sun plasma, or like blood plasma? Um, one of the most advanced glitterol technology could have been responsible for this creation. It is believed to be the cells were created as a life form capable of surviving the atmosphere of red dwarf stars, which, by the way, isn't that intense. Um, for utterly inscrutable purposes, they don't seem to be affected by gravity much, so they can also be found stranded in the gravity well of a planet. Temperature extremes, uh, though very fragile and easily easy to damage, they don't need to eat, as they will replenish their energy simply by absorbing light. Okay, well, I mean, that's very lovely. Um, so why do they want to kill me? <laughs> Scaria? Scaria. Okay, let's read up in Scaria, yeah? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
can be cured through a special medical operation, but it must be done first. If not treated, Skyrim kills its host within five days of the infection. I mean, hey, you know, I'm just saying, we got druids which may or may not be able to cure it with uh, fancy magic, but first... Battle stations. Everyone. We got literally plasma squirts coming to us. Yeah, yeah, it's... yeah. AK unaffected by it. So we get infinite food from man hunting animals. It's kind of bone crap. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. I just wanted to read on the disease because, you know, it's a plasma based life form. You'd think that that thing wouldn't be affected by it, now wouldn't you? I poison the enemy. Who's poisoned? This one. Pollution stimulus, maximum. They love pollution. Okay, one died to poison there. We're fighting. Entering melee. Get some of the melee done, boys. Hopefully it's all gonna go well. Minimal casualties, everyone. Minimal casualties, yeah? Cast it region if you must. Yeah, you just stand there. That's cool, too. Okay, everyone. A big thing is hunting lesser sentinel free for food. He's made of rock! What do you mean for food? Where's that thing to begin with? Ah, oh, there it is. Well, lesser sentinel free, it seems like you... Yeah, are running a risk of being eaten, I suppose. If only I could poison those terrible creatures. I hope they realize that it's a... You know, Stone Sentinel, and doesn't really work that way. Yeah, um... I don't think that thing registered it. We need to help him out. Quick! Okay, okay, doing good, doing good, doing good. And getting some of the melee in. It's a toxic build-up, that's the beak thing itself. One of us getting hit, or uh, like just the animals? Okay, we got it, we got it. Everyone good? Are we depressed? Attacked an animal, well it was necessary, self-defense and all. They, they would kill our animals otherwise. What are these things doing? The creature has been energized by the exposure to pollution, interesting. Well, the problem is that even if I was to cast Cure Disease... Let's see if it will work. I'd love to cure those guys, you know. <laughs> it failed. Well, it would have been nice if we could. Yeah, yeah. Would be nice, would have been nice. Not gonna lie. Would have been cool. Oh well. Maybe next time, I suppose. Cantrip prowess. What are you guys talking about? Just standing there? Idly? At least, you know, it's gonna fertilize the fields, you know? You gotta think about it like that. It'll nourish. From moment of focus, 95% on the toxic buildup, dude. Holy fuck. I know what that man's doing, but he, he, he is getting involved in way too much. Um... Pollution stuff there. Also, guys, too heavy. I mean, you you are a bit of a twig. And yeah, Prontas hauling these. Empath uncontrolled. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, we're gonna start controlling. You know, we'll never do hauling. That's not cool. But hey. Yeah, and then, then we only get some of the things while well, Cosler is getting literally all of the stuff, you know? And now stop. Now stop controlling everyone. <laughs> Everyone's emotions, you little, you little energy vampire, you. Yeah, just put them on the pot back there. So they do not disturb us. How's, how's the big doing here, huh? We, we good, we good? Suppressed emotions, lovely, lovely. Alright. 
I take it all. I take emotion, teehee. I take your emotion. Fuck you. <laughs> all right. Again, I mean, I, I'd like to keep trying with the cure disease thing. Would be neat if it would work. Failed. <laughs> Failure. Yet again. Uh, level zero. 75% success chance. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Disease knowledge. Flu, uh, wounds, infections. That's what we have. Gutworms, food poisoning, and malaria. Oh, Scaria is a level 2 thing, see? So we need to have more knowledge about it before we can do that. So, sadly we can't cure these guys. What a shame. What a shame. Oh well. <laughs> Happens. Blood rot? Yeah, it's probably something we don't want to deal with. It's probably from rot stink, maybe? Like, like if it's not affecting the lung, maybe affecting blood somehow? I, I don't know. I'm just like spitballing right now, but fuck, I don't know. It's something I don't want to have to suffer, and I'd like to have a druid who can't cure that uh, personally. I'd like that at least. Sonny, I'm about to give you house arrest. Alright. Pollution laying around here. Stick to the trees, you see? Stick to the trees, friend. Okay. I mean, realistically speaking, we can do this and maintain this one, say, like, 50%. It's two. Two out of four. Doesn't need to be such... A well-maintained tree, to be fair. Um, this one's probably more important due to getting, you know, claws, which can do damage. We want many of those. Medicine, that's fine. Can stay at 50. Don't need to overdo it. Three of those at most, again. Sounds fine to me. We got one would make her dry it. We don't need too many of those. We already have a bunch of those trees, so I'm actually fine. But it's still nice, of course. And not as long as they like nature? I would say so, yeah. Like, like guys who, like, shoot lightning, shamans with their dogs, like their ghost wolves, which are, by the way, absolutely busted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and as long as they're not, like, demon summoners or necromancers were cool, I guess. Like, a cleric would probably still be nice, you know? Like, I wouldn't mind stuff like that. I want to keep it mainly druid-themed, of course. Like, very nature-themed. Like, I'm not gonna be like, Oh, yeah, let's get a gladiator, shall we? <laughs> but, like, yeah, we have an ampeth in the party. Like, he, he kind of works, right? And, and and so on. I'd like to go in there the next time. Or not this stream. Let's fast forward some. Well, these guys are suffering a very slow and painful death in here. The Aurora Sylphs. Would have been cool, I guess, to have him, but, well, we won't. Yeah, just put him on the pile. That's right. Ship to test stars. Yeah, right about that. Yeah, about that, kid. Who, who, who's, who's gonna break into them? Who's gonna, who's gonna tell them? And not to be that guy. But what if we were to go ahead, strip... And you forcibly wear the mask. Would that help you? With your pollution situation. What did you have to go back there? <laughs> now, sure you will lose your hat. But, um... I hope it will help with the pollution thing. Because everyone else has a mask. And they're doing just fine. You know? They, like, they're, they're all doing just fine. Maybe it's because you walk around more. I'm not sure. But you need some countermeasures, you know? Yeah, yeah, Bright Mage might work as well. As long as you know he he won't like torch down everything. If it's the one fire, that is. Yo, Greenbeard, looking good back there, bud. I appreciate the skull a little more, not gonna lie, but oh well, now Coyote has it. Happens. Happens. 
Ah, yes. Coming along nicely, actually. We get a little hedge building. We get tents. People. I don't think we had a single breakdown yet. Because they're fucking happy right now. They're really, really happy. What can I say? Light based magic. Yeah, I had a bit of Warhammer in my mind right now. Where it's like, nah, I should fire it. Mm, fireball. Fuck you. <laughs> you know? But it's good to know. Yeah, I mean, can't wait for more pearls so we can have more anima trees, you know? And then eventually, you know, cure this uh, not so nice looking stain in our oasis. After all, that's where we have for drinking water from, and half of it is absolutely horrid. So it was dead. But yeah, people, people are just having a good time in here, you know? <laughs> Kinda. All they have to care about is how much rice are we harvesting? And we have a lot of it. Dead and our, our animals are doing just fine. Can we teach a uh, script spite back there how to bite? More anima trees, more wizards, more everything. <laughs> Damn right. What's gonna happen eventually, I'm sure. But first of all, my coca trees, you know, I'm just saying. Yeah, that's right. I want some cacao. I want to make some chocolate. <laughs> it's going to be our main export eventually. The chocolate druids of the um, sacred grove around the oasis, which partially polluted. <laughs> yeah, well, well, so what do you do all day? Yes, can I maintain a tree the entire time? Yeah, really, it's nothing too special, I'd say, you know, nothing too crazy, yeah. <laughs> Colonist needs rescue? Oh, no. Did it happen? Oh, no, it's just food poisoning again. Never, never mind, it's just food poisoning yet again. Yeah, yeah. Dude, imagine if it, like, uh, cacao uh, dryads, you know, like... Yeah, I produce chocolate every now and then. Cool land? You mean like the cool tent thing? What about it? It's a tent. Cool it down when you're in there. That's all it does. Then you have like the um like lemur back here. His tent? Just tent. No no, no nothing else. Chickens join. Finally. <laughs> the chickens. And not only a few, there's a lot of chickens we just got. Cool. Yeah, we got... We now get chickens in here. It's good, it's good. Compact steel meteorite. Yeah, just get... Get get the chickens in there. Get the chickens in there, that's right. Can we even eat eggs? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You're getting something mixed up, buddy. Shit, we are vegan. For vegetarian. Never mind, you don't get anything mixed up. No, we can't eat them. But we still have chickens, you know? Tr battle chickens! Oh, never mind. We can pretend we're battle chickens, okay? We can have some rooster fights every now and then and do bats and whatnot. We can do that. So, how's your toxic bone up looking, kid? Gathered animal resource. Good job, you did it. You got probably the thing from plants, didn't you? Whatever that is. Yeah, it might let you eat eggs. It might. It's it's more strict towards meat than egg. Like, eggs should be actually fine, although we're technically vegan, but we can make an exception, right? Um, Like, it's, it's specifically food. I will, I will go ahead and try it anyways. Why not? Wherever the fuck that is. There's a chicken coop. Egg box. There we go. Yeah, have, have egg right there. Why not? You know, why not? We might as well give it a shot. Thank you. How you doing? Welcome to my... What? <laughs> so, first of all, hi, how are you doing? We are a bunch of druids right now in this game. And we, we made a bunch of trees grow. We got our tents. We got... Storage room, we got we got the behemoth back there, which is friendly. We got our little hedge building where we do rituals. And our objective is to clear the world of pollution. 
So you can see half of it is polluted, the other half are not. The one we live on. And it's a process. I, I need to find a way to grow the Pollux trees. Because those trees, they remove pollution. Which is fucking good. <laughs> like, it's so good. And, um... Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe we can sow those eventually, specifically. Uh, which be very cool and on par for the run. Uh, we're also using magic mods, so we can do magic. So we have actual, literal druids with us. Um, to cast spells and whatnot. Hey, life's good, you know, life's good. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. And what can we do? Uh, regen. Um, more heal. Less cost. Lasts longer. Let's make it really intense. A really intense heal. Well, we go ahead and... I, I, I don't know, you don't really need too much, I guess. I mean... Maybe something else? Skill point, ability power plus one, ability resistance. Cooldown mana regen, max mana. Sure, let's expand your mind a little. It wouldn't be bad, I reckon. And, well, Heart of the Stone would be the obvious thing to reduce the cost. So we can actually have max mana again. Also, it seems like we might have lost one Sentinel. Being this guy at the bottom here. So we have to make another um, crop guard. There we go. So we have 10 in total. The surprise has been reduced. But yeah, it's a lovely little place we got going here. And uh, we just get a bunch of chickens too, so, you know, just that. We also get little jellyfish, little dryads, and, you know, this big gun. Big son of a gun. Hmm. We get some lattice, or wormwood leaves, I suppose. Not lattice, but looks close enough to lattice, I think. Uh, maybe we do some slight mining. A little bit of it. And after all, there's always a chance we can come across some jade. And I kind of would like to have some jade with me. A wee bit. It's a bit of jade. That I would appreciate. Yeah, remove this, remove these here. Yeah, I also think, again, I think it's funny. Yes, we're, we're druids and we got an assassination request. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna send in the battle druids. A mysterious figure has contacted your colony requesting to assassinate assassination of Leland Pants Marmon. And uh his his a guru citizen. City lives at a city of intimacy settlement. Okay. <laughs> so you will give me the tag print for healing factors and specialized limbs. Where would that even be? Like, how far away would this go? It's probably really far, I would imagine. Like, really far. It was last time that we had cars, so it wouldn't matter as much. And this one, technically speaking, we can teleport, but it's a whole other spiel, okay? It's, we'll get there eventually. We need an arcane mage for that. If it would generate the planet that is. A little faster, maybe? It's somewhere on the globe, I assure you that much. It's somewhere on the globe, alright? <clears throat> yeah. Uh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, yes, it seems to be in the middle of... Ah, uh, Intimacy Settlement. Right there. Lovely, lovely name. Uh, so that's here. And... That's not my home. Already lost. <laughs> Is this intimacy settlement? Okay. And I live... Let me? No, probably not. Nah. It, it is. It is, actually. Yeah, that's me. So, a bit of a trip. A bit of a trip up here. S somewhere up there. A yeah, bit of a... bit of a journey. A bit of a journey. Yes, um, I've, I've, I think not. Um... I, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think I'm pretty uh, stabil. You know? Don't need to do that. Do not need to. 
I was like, again, I like the fact that we did research, like, stone cutting, but we haven't cut a single stone, by the way. It's just... So you know, we, we, we haven't even touched it, actually. Uh, so let's do some of that. We got some marble, which is actually good. We got some good old marble around here. So make some marble. Make any stone blocks, no, like specifically marble. I just do marble forever. Give me the marble blocks. Need warm clothes? Temperature is going to reach 5 degrees Celsius. Is it? Minus 18, minus 6. Ooh, Consul, you don't have a problem. Minus 5, minus 15. Consul, you're the only one who may be a little too cold then. There's something about bones. Apparently, they don't warm you too much. Do they now, huh? Well, we don't really have any materials that um, we could use to make clothes out of just now. However, if I was to say hypothetically make a growing zone, do we remove some trees there? We totally did, didn't we? Uh, a very... If I replant this one, it'll be fine. A very peculiar, very peculiarly arranged growing zone, so it doesn't touch the tree at all. Um, in which we'll maybe be growing some cotton, maybe, you know? That's what we'll do. Alright, Lemur, but I, I would like you to extract this tree right now, though, before someone's gonna be like, mm, destroy! You know? Good, good. I just plants it in there, you know, would need some more trees in there. The granulians, you know, trees are taking everything, kind of. Taking all the space. How about you do it? Where are you? I've been probably mining there. If I had to take a guess. How's your, um, health doing, buddy? It's going down. That's good. That's good. Okay, that's very good, actually. And we got our little, <laughs> little, little dryads there, you know. They're just kind of chilling. Yeah, the, the, this one, it hasn't sprouted anything yet. Nor did this one. Can okay, we get some cotton going? Uh, technically, we can go ahead and raise it by... Never mind. We could go ahead and raise this by a little bit. Okay, why do we have to be difficult? Cotton, specifically. Increase. Wasn't that bad now, was it? Yeah, we'll, we'll have some cotton in here. Maybe, maybe shrink it by one here. Because there's a tree in the way, so I don't want it to, like, break anyone. Or anything there. And you still did it. Skin spider. Oh, boy. <laughs> and they're doing a good job on the model. I'm not gonna lie. It looks it looks good. It looks good. Skin spider looks like a skin spider, right? Well, boys. You know what we say. Skin spiders? They're gonna get poisoned. And we'll be doing a lot of poisoning on the skin spider. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, wait for it. It uh, should be happening any moment now. Unless skin spiders don't care about poison, actually. They are stimulated by pollution, however. Also, are they one of those enemies that if you try to tame them, uh, they're a little less likely to um, try to murder your ass immediately? I'm a little disappointed that the uh, whole uh, pollution situation... Uh, sorry, the poison situation isn't quite doing what I was hoping for. Can we, uh... Send them in? I saw something pop. That skin spider just severely poisoned, what can I say? Now it's going away. 
It seems like it's taking damage. It is dead. It is dead. The poison did work after all. The effects of it are true. It just didn't do any um, actual... Uh, there, there we go with the heart. There was another skin spider somewhere. Maybe we can send the uh, druid to assassinate it, so to speak. Yeah, we we're gonna send a uh, druid to assassinate... Well... It seems like the skin spider uh, caught onto my act and uh, quickly bit me in the arm and shot me in the leg. <laughs> but not really. Animals, please attack. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, players. I'll rescue you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that's players. That's not players. I poison. And walk away. No immediate danger. Good, good, good. Wait, we got another one? Oh, it's the one that was dying. It stood back up. On my new computer, I give the points. It's him. <laughs> hey, Sneaking, how are we doing? We just killed a skin spider straight up from Kanshi. That's right. How you doing, man? I would like to uh, not cure disease, but regen the anima, boyo. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, it's going well right now. We're trying to learn more about the diseases, so we're better at curing them. Now we can, for example, cure Scaria. So, any wild animals attacking us? Well, we're gonna be, uh... Gonna be a little less annoying now. Where are you going? Where are you? Regenerate. <laughs> Just do it. You're, like, right there. You don't need to go all the way back. What a silly goofus. The max right now? We're complete to go. Mm-hmm. The wounds are closing. Very nicely. So it should be hers. I like how I'm technically prioritizing Plas more than the actual druid who does all the healing. <laughs> Eventually, like, the, the healing will reach a stage where we can even cure, like, scars and whatnot. You need to bully 11 people. We need 11 people to be bullied right now. <laughs> Can we get Dewey to get some regen, please? There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. And it's gone. And it's a done deal. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, we're getting there, you know, maybe a few more streams and we're done. Which genuinely surprises me a little. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah, how are you liking our little druid settlement? Have you donated 2k points to the goal this stream? I know, I think Plas actually hasn't, you know? Because Plas, you know, they're a neutral party, you see? They don't care. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. That's my understanding of it. Now, we, uh... See, eventually, as the druids, I, I would like to research the nuclear bomb eventually, you know? It would be very in-character. <laughs> um, can we get anything here? Waste disposal, modern furniture, plague masks, siege equipment, healwood trees? Uh, it's close, close. Modern furniture, sentry guns, artillery... Artificial ecosystem, what does that mean? Uh, your fiction level is Neolithic. Yeah, I mean, I know, I know. But what does it do? Grows plants quickly in an artificially sealed ecosystem. Requires a high amount of power to work. Plants will die if power is out. Yeah, that's fair enough, I guess. 
Yeah, that's about it, though. It doesn't seem too crazy. Plant props? I mean, if nothing else, we can make a bunch of props to make it look like there's a bunch of trees, you know? We can make it look like it, you see? And I'll kill you! Oh, you have the first stream. I didn't even realize. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Bombastic revelations in Minecraft. Yeah, kill your Minecraft in real life. There's, there's chill, man. Chill. There's you. You want some arcane facilities? You want some uh, measure side refining? Maybe we want some uh, like like a magic focal point? Maybe arcane facility? Yeah. Yeah, we'll research arcane facilities. Don't worry. It'll, it'll calm you down. It'll calm you down. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just some arcane facilities here and it'll be just fine, okay? Product wasted. Have you donated any gold? No. <laughs> I, I... I haven't. Um, please also do not kill me. Um, that'd be... That'd be rude. To kill someone. Um, you know, for, for further sage advice, come to me. Um, you know, like, I, I will tell everyone else, like, hey. Killing is rude. Don't do it. Time to get some... Arrow fleet fur pants. Wait, they got fur? Do you guys get fur? Where's the fur part? Is this fur? Sure. Um, sure, whatever, man. Um, how are you looking? Time to trim trees soon. Those were the small animals just looking at next to big stuff. <laughs> I feel guilty and terrible when I kill actual flies. Yeah, but, but those aren't people, so it's different, right? <laughs> like, that's where I draw the line, you know? Like, flies, yeah, I, I don't do that. But people, like, those really piss me off. <laughs> okay, getting some of the con game. Yeah, I mean, really, it's, it's a bunch of chilling and advancing a bit of stuff, you know? And uh, we got a bit of a passage here, you know, one that might work. Um, Maybe make a little little something over there. Oh, would also need to go into the ancient danger eventually. I've killed no people. Yet. Speaking of killing people. Can we, can we improve for Geomancer sentries? Sentinels, so they take a little less mana from him. So he can still cast and whatnot. A blissful life from Cause Lord. And, um... Make that region... Well, maybe poison, actually. Weakened limbs. Increase the minimum and maximum severity of level of poisoning. Severity levels cause reduction in fighting and moving capacities. Hmm. 10% per level. 10 to 40%. You know what? Let's weaken some limbs, actually. I... And you expand your mind a little. I think we get a thing going, yeah. I think we get something going in here. And I hope you took those arrow fleet pants. Okay, listen. You can't just do that. You, you cannot just take those away, please. Come on. You got a robe. Put the pants down, do we? Do we put the pants down? Equip the tribal war again, which, by the way, is kind of better than what you had before, but still. What if you were the pants? Yeah, it's just really shit. It's just really shit. Oh, well. <laughs> Someone's gonna be happy with them, I guess. But yeah, I am gonna check if I have any eggs. No. No egg. No eggy. No egg. Male rooster. We do have roosters after all, and a bunch of hen. Egg progress 100%. And fertilized. I'm just saying, could totally put in the egg box. Just putting that one out there. Deeper understanding of magic. Oh. Well, get a deeper understanding of diseases so we can cure the plague and blood rot. So whenever blood rot happens, we can get rid of that. No more blood rot that'll ever terrify us. It'll be now just fine. Now, if you have anything attacking us with Scarcia, we can actually cure them and tame it 
most likely. And look at those little dryads slowly sprouting and growing. Which, speaking of sprouting and growing, why are we in the circle? <laughs> um, begin roll change. I mean, is there anyone who would need a roll? Who is the tree hugger? Dewey's kind of a bit of a tree hugger, isn't she? But she's also, you know, kind of doing a lot of other stuff too. Um, use loom? <laughs> Eight on plants? Five. Eight on plants as well. Maybe cost lord, yeah. Um, cost lord, what? How would you change if you were to be tree hugging? Uh, you couldn't handle anything anymore? Can't cook, construct, mine, smith, tailor, craft, or quarry? Um, would that be bad? <laughs> Are you good at any of those? You don't do mining. Cooking sucks. Animals, you're right, but, uh, Crafting? You don't do that. W medical stays, right, so... I think medical stays. Well, overall, I don't think you'd lose out on that much. And yeah, it's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. We're standing in a circle around you. Well, very um, scary music, please. Alright, so now you can... Uh, select connect a tree. Farming command. Offer guidance on farming techniques. Boosts the farming abilities for everyone nearby. The effect remains attached to the cast for 24 hours. There you go. Cool. Yeah, I don't do anything anyway. No, I'm more useless than ever. Damn right you are. But the important things you still have, by the way. You still got the important stuff on you, so it's fine. It really is, actually. But yeah, lovely little spa we got. Now, how much wood do we have? 311. That's good, that's good. 311. I mean, what we could do is a little fence around us. Like a normal fence, not a low fence. Pearl? 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 Oh, pearl. Pearl. Pearl right there. Neat. Yeah, I am... Like, it's, it's not a wall or a barricade or anything like that. It is simply a fence. Nothing more. And nothing less. I can expand it by one more. There we go. A little nicer. And then uh, a bit of a fence gate here. Fence gate there. And one here. For ease of access. So when we get attacked from the top. You know, at least there's a fence. It'll impede the enemy slightly. And I don't want to have fortifications meant for war up there. Yet. Um, a little fence is good, I think. Arcane furnace, mana storage, or portals? <laughs> portals aren't going to help us, sadly. Go for the mana potion thing at the bottom. Yeah, there's a lot of pollution too, which, again, we'll need to get rid of eventually. Eventually, we'll need to. No effect? There we go. You 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 cast it. Uh, magic. Uh, what's the name of the mod? Looks fun. Well, it's uh, Rooms of Magic. Quite literally the name. Simple as. And it's fun, yeah. We played with it a bunch of times before. Like, we did a Morrowind playthrough multiple with this mod. And we also did the um, Warhammer one with this. We played this Skaven. And actually beat the game by nuking the moon. And to be fair, as the game, we had an absolutely asshole way to dealing with enemies. So, so many spike traps everywhere, dude. It was just not fair at that point. Sam! Mr. Grouchy for Better Coalition is making a request. She wants you to take care of two cougars. Yeah, sure, you can give me Sam. Parts arrive. Parts of what? Like we got two little cougars. Quasimodo and another one. Scott. Good old Scott. 
Uh, I hope they're gonna eat rice. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the cougar will eat rice. I'm sure they will. Hungry hatched animal. Uh, well, sounds like you're gonna get eaten by a cougar. Yeah, 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 it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. Again, giving me um, Ashlander vibes right now when we play the stones, you know. It's getting there. For sure. Make a light. Make a light. And the gate's somewhere in here. I will just make a torch down there anyways, you know. One in this corner, and one in this corner, and one in this corner, because we can. And one way over there. What was that sound? Some die? Ah oh, no. Oh Lin! Did you did you get rid of your toxicity? You did. Congratulations on curing yourself. I love I love the baseball cap on ya, buddy. Looks great. <laughs> it looks really great, dude. Um Coyote, could you do me a favor and um you know not wear it? Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, that's a redneck tribe like Yeah You see the other day I, I kinda cured myself from blood rot and I, I was able uh, to tame a few dryads down the road. That was quite beautiful. Uh well as you can see, we already got a cool a chlor dry it. It's pretty good. And, well, I do some stuff about trees sometimes, I reckon. Mm -hmm. Ooh <laughs> yeah, yeah, just redneck tribal guy, dude, you know. Just, just who he is, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I reckon uh, I'm gonna be going and it's gonna grow a tree or two. No, no. I reckon... Uh, only on the top. I think someone just got eaten. A chicken. Like some chicken probably got eaten because cougar. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we got we got those two. We got those two up there. And it's the only ones. No, wait. Got another one down there. That's about it, I think. The Pollux trees. Yeah, I think that's about it. Give or take, why is there so much blood? Oh my, for the sentinel died. Oh, look, look, look at this little guy. <laughs> look, 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 look at this fucking stupid ass. Uh, yeah, looks, looks really cute. like him. like him. Two out of three. One out of two. One out of four. Three out of three. It's good, it's good. Life's good. But, uh, you know, I think I'm gonna call it here. As it's getting late, I need to do some other stuff still. And yeah, we've been going for quite some time after all, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gem lizards like Dark Souls. Yeah, they look like that. They do look like that. Yeah, they do. But um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today. It was a lot of fun playing Rimworld. I'm glad that no weirdos showed up in today's stream. I guess it's not Kanshi, so you know it was that. Baba Yusaki. Don't call me a sucky. <laughs> don't call me a sucky. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> kind of cute, but also like... What, what, a sucky? <laughs> uh, anyways. <laughs> yeah, guys. Um, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, well, tomorrow... We... Um, again, a little change of plan for anyone who hasn't seen it. As on Saturday. Again, tomorrow. Um, we'll be playing Lethal Company, you know, and then you're already seeing some of the people we'll be playing at, in chat right there. Um, again, I, I believe it's only four players tops, so yeah, it'll be Sneaking, Daz, and Mike, hopefully. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's, it's, I'm looking forward to it. So uh, it's been a lot of fun for the little bit we did play. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it, yeah. It's it, it. It looks a lot of fun. It looks it, it looks a lot of fun, and I, I want to stay away from it so I don't spoil myself too much by playing the game naturally, I guess, and you know keep like 
I want to be a novice, you know, when we when we play this game tomorrow. I want to be a novice. I don't want to know anything about. I want to have authentic reactions, make authentic mistakes, and so be like, hmm, it's a slime. I want to lick it. He <laughs> so it's that, yeah, yeah. But yeah, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it a lot. And um, how far are we? Ninety-one percent. Sheesh. Shit. All right. Well, see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Take care, everyone. Until then, bye-bye.